Ready. Let's go. This show fucking stinks. And the fact that you listen, we are very, very thankful for it. AJ, you never cease to amaze me with your toxicity, pal. You got a couple of these? God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Fuck, fuck, and cut. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to our humble abode, the Thunderdome. On this People Are Being Way Too Nice To Me, Tuesday, May 2nd, 2023, the program starts now. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday! Okay. <laughs> right. Come on! Yeah, very, very nice Come you guys. On. Okay, everybody's being way too kind on the internet and in real life. I do appreciate it. I have just completed another trip around the sun. I'm very thankful, Woo. very grateful in this upcoming year. Um, hopefully, obviously, uh, will be the year that I meet my baby girl daughter. So, like, everything's awesome. My wife's kicking ass. You people that I get to work with every single day are the greatest people on earth. And uh, I get to do the coolest thing of all time for a living. And that is speak into a microphone and say dumb stuff about sports. So I didn't plan on leading the show with this, but let's get it out of the way. Thank you all so much for being so kind to me. Let's fucking enjoy this life. Yeah. And uh, thank you for everything, everybody. We have some surprises today that are coming, surprises to me. People wow. behind the scenes have been cooking things up. Mm -hmm. One surprise that happened to me and I believe some others here, the Toxic Table at Boston Connor and at Ty Schmitter here. You boys look awesome. Oh, you do too, Pat. All black today it looks fantastic. Oh, thank you. Yeah, put the boots on for the birthday. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Look one year younger. Yeah, well, I don't know if that's the case. People are saying I'm aging like a goddamn president, but this does make me about three inches taller, and that's not a bad thing to have. No, not at Especially all. Especially on your birthday, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just I mean, feel a little not? bit taller, chest out a little bit, peacocking. Hey, yeah. why is your birthday better than every other day? Well, it's just your mindset. It's a good day. This has been a fantastic one. Everybody's been far too kind, including one half of the hammer. Dad. Cowboys Tone Diggs. Tone, you look great, pal. Thank you. Tone posted a picture of me and him getting ready for prom, his junior year, my senior yep, year. That was sweet. That was awesome to go back down there. That was right outside of Diggs Paradise, uh, which oh. is his backyard. Yeah. Uh, Paradise Diggs, sorry. And it was a cool time. How about the all white? That was Jersey Shore time. Those were looking, those were looking really cool. Your hair was sweet. Now. Yeah, it's been a lot of nostalgia trips here with a lot of uh, the pictures that have been posted. CFO Phil Maines is in the house. That means any giveaway that's about to take place, <laughs> going to have a little bit more pressure that's on it. That's right. Because CFO Phil's not going to be pumped. He posted a picture of this one time uh, when we were trying to go to a Pirates game and a storm happened. And for some reason, it was like 25 degrees, raining, and there was really nothing to do. Nice. So we just got hammered in the parking lot because it was really our only day together. And that led to me meeting Pittsburgh Elvis, apparently, Ooh. and buying a <laughs> McCutcheon hoodie. That was the first time Kutch was on the, the team. I bought that hoodie just strictly because it was so fucking cold. Mm -hmm. At one point, I was wearing socks on my hands. That's how cold it was <laughs> out there. But we had a blast. It's been a lot of fun um, reading and seeing all the people that I've met throughout my life, texting me, reaching out to me. Birthday's fucking cool. At some point, we're gonna have to move on. To do that, let's talk about a man who was fly by nature. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Talk about a man who is a guy who spent four, how many years? 14. In 14 years Jeez. at corner in the NFL. He's a rapper, too. Got bangers out. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's also too incredibly kind of a man to me today and every other day, Pac-Man Jones. Yeah, yeah. Pac, good to see you, pal. Man, happy birthday, man. All right. We cannot start the show without saying this. I know we're going to have to do it again when AJ come on. Let's go, guys. No, 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 no. We are not. <laughs> we are no, 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 no. This ain't. What? What are you saying? Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Turn off all the Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pat. Happy birthday to you. Hell yeah. Thank you, guys. Good idea. That's a good idea, Pat. That's way too kind. Let's go. Yeah. Thank you, guys. That was way, really nice. <laughs> everybody wanted to hear that. <laughs> everybody wanted winner, to hear winner. that. Winner, winner. That's what everybody wanted to do. So thank you for doing that. Thank you for coming. Also, surprise of the fucking day. Here. Hell yeah. Stanley Cup champion from NHL Network, That's Hockey Talk, and the MSG Network, mm -hmm. which is a network that covers the uh, the Islanders, the Devils, and this man's New York Rangers. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Ruppers. Yeah. Yeah.
<laughs> Thank you. Hey, happy birthday. We just sung it to you. Yeah, you said it enough. It's, yeah. it's yeah. going to be a great day. Glad to be a you part of it. You gave me stick taps over there, too. Yeah, stick yeah. taps. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Boys passed, passed out the twiggies. Uh, yeah. So, got Bubble uh, twiggies. Yeah. Rupp, great to see you. Thank you for coming out here. No. I did not know Rupper was coming out here. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess there's going to be uh, maybe a, another one of those types of situations happening. But as soon as I saw you, I was so incredibly pumped. We have a, a thing over the table so you can't see it. He's got these teal chucks oh, on right now. Baby. Standing at six foot five. Yeah. Yeah. This dude's fucking go. hilarious. Bro. There we are. Yeah. Damn. Great vibes to the office, bro. There. Thank you no. for coming. No. All right, now, before we dive into hockey, which we will definitely need your advice on and insight on, because you've played there you've won the stanley cup championship mm -hmm. which is not easy i mean lord no. is not easy no, no it is no but speaking of another sport that's in the middle of their playoff run we got a chance to take a trip down memory lane last night mm -hmm. yep. ladies and gentlemen houston harden is back dude. Yeah. Yeah. What? james harden is back to mm -hmm. being houston harden the guy that was so electrifying that he could literally show up 65 pounds overweight yep. fresh out of a las vegas strip club mm -hmm. documented publicly <laughs> yeah. and say i don't want to be here what? and get traded boom no problem and go be a superstar at another place and then say Ugh. This ain't working for me either. Boom, go another place. The reason why that can happen is because how fucking good he is at basketball. If James Harden wasn't an absolute dog, dog on the court, none of this shit could happen. Right. And then he talked about how he led the NBA in assists this year. Yeah. Did anybody know that about James Harden? Yeah, I don't yeah. think when so. you're talking about the people who lead the NBA in assists, go look it up. You're talking about, oh, these people are the ultimate teammate. These people are so selfless. These teams are setting people up. This dude led the NBA in assists this year because he knew that Joel Embiid was the guy. And then last night, Prime time. Mm -hmm. No Embiid. Mm -hmm. What do you need? Ooh. Step back three. James Harden was back in Houston last mm -hmm. night. It was amazing to watch. And what he wore into the arena, almost better than the whole thing itself, Pac. Oh, love the outfit. I think I could have pulled that one off. That, yeah. that was yeah. a pretty dope outfit. But Sweet. coming into the season, we was talking about how James Harden was slowing the game down and it didn't match up with Embiid. Um, can he play with Embiid? Will he score the same amount of points that he's been scoring? James Harden have did nothing but come through for the 76ers. Mm -hmm. You know, about this guy? now with Embiid been out. Last guy? night he reminded us he's one of the best scoring yeah. guards that's in the game of all time. And, and yeah. it was a clinic last night. And I enjoyed remembering that Harden's hilarious. Yeah, like if you just look back at how he has handled situations. Oh, yeah. He is hysterical. Oh, he yeah. retweeted that one from the uh, from France Boom. a couple years ago. <laughs> yeah, that, and a little baby, I believe, yeah. yes. at the fashion show, walking toasted into, way oh. too high. Yeah. Holy fuck! There's a lot of people. There it is. There's a lot of people. <laughs> oh, up. Wait, well, let's go back. Did we know all these people were going to be out here? <laughs> let's go back. I, we didn't. Go, oh, baby. Oh shit. Well, uh, the, uh, did you call these people? We kind of got to go. All right. Oh, so. Fuck. Uh, hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, hey, hey how y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> so I, uh, James Harden's dog, though. The NBA playoffs have been a lot of fun to watch, and obviously you uh, just back-to-back -back nights of yeah. Boston just getting oh, their mm -hmm. hearts ripped oh, on. Yeah. Those yeah. fans have shown up in the garden. They, they have. continued to do it. They've shown up in the garden. Absolutely. They've gone crazy. They had yeah. to zoom in of the most Boston kid I've ever seen. He was doing a horse walking. It's going just nuts. Like, so, like, the most Boston thing I've seen. Yeah. Loved everything about it. Bullshit chance, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Teams just haven't shown up back to back. No, no, What's no, morale no. up there? Got to be pretty low. Is everything okay? Is everything going to work out? Are the Celtics going to be able to come back? So coming off a game seven overtime loss, you really don't think it can get worse. And then when <laughs> the team's up by 12 with about four minutes left and they blow that lead, it, it does. It does get worse. So if you think you're at bottom, if you think that your sports. Uh, hold on, hold on. I didn't plan on doing this, but. You think you're at the bottom? Can we run that Bill Belichick video real quick talking about Mac Jones? Just because sure. it does seem like it has been a rough couple days sure. here yep. for Boston. Let's just get it all out of the way. Mm -hmm. This is him talking about the starting quarterback for the New England Patriots. Uh, I wanted to give you an opportunity to, uh, if you wanted to, to clarify sort of your feelings about Mac Jones. There have been some well-published reports that yes. you were shopping him um, that you know weren't uh, refuted by anyone uh, from the Patriots. And also, you know, Cam Newton, when he started in 2020, you declared him your quarterback. After you drafted Mac Jones, you declared him your quarterback at the league meetings. You didn't even mention Mac by name. I'm just wondering if, you know, how do you feel about Mac? Is he your quarterback right now? Um, how do you view him going into year three? Yeah, well, I'm not going to respond to the anonymous quotes, Greg, so. Hell yeah. So I mean, would you like to? Is can is is Mac your your quarterback as of right now? 
Yeah, I mean, look, Mac. Uh, you know, Mac's been our quarterback for two years. And <laughs> Hell yeah! As I tell the team every year, each player, each coach, you know, we all have to reestablish and prove ourselves every year. That's what this league is. So that's that's for all of us. Twenty twenty three is twenty three is twenty three. Oh, okay. We'll see how we're 23 very, goes. Mm-hmm. You're very complimentary of him going into last season and the last training camp. Um, I'm still what? Still view him the same way? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> so we got the Bruins game seven loss, mm-hmm. Celtics loss without him beat on the floor. Yeah. And then you got basically Bill Belichick yeah. saying yeah. quarterback position. Oh, we don't. We'll see. We'll see. We'll get Blake Is Boston game. okay right now? I mean, that Mac thing was a reach. I think. Mm-hmm. I think you can admit that. What? Ah! Okay. I think you can admit that, too. The guy hates him. Belichick said absolutely. Uh, He's still, you know, praising him. And when he asked, is he the the quarterback? He said, yeah, I mean. And then went on to explain how, guess what? Okay, good. So things are looking up. Here we go. Things with the Patriots are looking great. But Okay. So Boston's good? Yeah, we're we're okay, but it's May. How are everything looking with you? Yeah, that's a good Uh, question. uh, Once again, that's the question. Like I just said, (laughs) Patriots are great pack, man. Boston Bruins, yeah, they're dead. I'm just asking about my buddy, man. I'm just trying to make I, sure. I, right. I completely understand. I'm saying, I, 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 I do. I am thank making you. sure you wasn't going to jump off a bridge a Th- night ago. Thank you very much. That was Bruce. another was jersey. Okay. Yeah. You thank wore you. a Celtics jersey here last night. Thank you, know. you very much. You know what happened in that situation. Uh-huh. I'm just trying to make sure my buddy's okay. Yeah, well, I appreciate true. that. Check great. on your friends, and I do. Absolutely, and you should check on your friends more. Yeah. You know, thank you for doing that. Yeah, that is great. I mean, you're saying that here, but you haven't called me since Saturday. But once again. I, I don't oh. take that personally. I understand oh, what you're so saying I to the public. You? I didn't text you? Nope. Didn't t- actually, yeah. you only text me when you realized yesterday around 1 o'clock that the Bruins lost. Uh, that's when <laughs> He's I got He's been busy. He's my got journey. Uh, He's absolutely. These kids racing. Yeah. And look, once again, I did not bring that up either. Hey, but I thought I, I think I text you where you okay after the loss, man. Okay. We I mean, I can, friend, I'll pull I my you. phone out, Pac, man. I, I can guarantee you didn't. But oh, well, it's okay. That's he okay. cares. He just checked on you. I know he cares. I know he cares. Anyways, the Boston Bruins losing was a heartbreaker, but yes. not your fault. Not the city of Boston. And we will always remember, at least for as long as Pasta's jersey is up there, mm-hmm. yeah. it was the greatest regular season, season in yeah. NHL history. Yes. Yeah. So that's positive. Celtics got nothing but time to make this whole thing yeah, up. Of course. Yeah, and I mean, MB, it feels like time's good. And B's got a tear in his knee. So uh, absolutely, Houston, James Harden is back. Let's see it five times, and let's see us get bounced, and then we'll be worried. Okay, in the NBA, uh, Joker on the west side over there yeah. is a bully. Ball. Yeah. Okay, he is rude whenever he's playing basketball. He gave a guy an elbow. It was fantastic. I, mm-hmm. I mean, fantastic for me watching. Not the person has to right. uh, he was receive hurt. that. Right. That would suck to play against that guy. You you play a little pickup in here with AQ Shipley, mm-hmm. okay? Just play the two or the three or something yeah. like that. First bucket. He's just going elbows, spinning, yeah. body backing you up just immediately. And he's not – you play pickup with some people, they're going to try to get by you, wiggle by you, shake you a little bit. They're looking for contact. Mm-hmm. They are immediately trying to run into you. Joker is like a football player that is incredibly skilled yeah. Yeah. and ready to body – he's going – Man. That'd be tough for a seven-game series to beat yeah. that fucking guy. Yeah, especially if Jamal Murray's going to play anyway. Like he does, he is, he is mean, and it, mm-hmm. I think that's why everybody loves watching him play so much because then he'll have like a no-look yep. pass over his fucking head. He's electrifying on the basketball court. Well, he's just relentless too. Like I think last night Jamal Murray only had like ten points, so it's like yeah. you know he was the star of the show in game one, and then he basically you know he plays not great in game two. And they still, like, it, it's, you know. Whatever Win by 10, 95-87 or, or something. Exactly. So it's like if these guys both put it together on the same night, like, it's just, I mean, granted, I, I know how good the Suns are with Durant. And, Do you and hear what Butter. the conversation is right now? Do you hear what it is? What? Back pack here is probably as well. With this series or the other one? This uh, this particular Phoenix Suns team. Mm-hmm. I'm Kevin Kevin Durant fan. Big fan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Enjoy the Suns. I'm actually high right now, he said to David. That's right. I respected that. Mm-hmm. I appreciated that. And I respect everything he does on the basketball court. Love Devin Booker. Okay. Love Chris Paul. Mm-hmm. Love the team. Love I- Ishba, I believe is the owner. Yeah. Ishbia. Yep. Ishbia. Matt Ishbia. He's yeah. very nice. They're saying that when you just get rid of your entire like uh role players, yeah. you're in trouble. Yeah. And I think that's starting to like 
I think me as a casual fan watching more, I'm seeing people I've never fucking heard of doing things. Oh, yeah. Like on a regular basis. For sure. And I think sitting at that Suns Clippers game, there was like six, seven guys that were going into the game that I had no fucking idea who they were. No clue. And they were pretty important pieces of the entire thing, whether it was picks and movements or on defensive side of the ball doing whatever. And you don't even talk about that. People were saying that the Phoenix Suns deal to get Kevin Durant got rid of a team that could potentially win. Are they only saying that because the Joker's right there? Or is that like the real deal? Is Are they going to have to reshape that entire thing over there? Well, and then Chris Ball, you know, he he hurts his groin last what? night. No so like way. He, he might not be 100% healthy, but like you... He's you, a floor general, He, he is a yeah, floor general. He's a floor general. Who occasionally gets groin injuries and hamstring injuries. Well, yeah, when you're playing a professional sport. That's, that's going to happen. More than you, other you watched people. it live, though, and you saw, like, the amount of intensity and the energy every it's possession so takes. Like, it's very hard to do that for 40 minutes when you're not getting any spells and the other team's got guys who they can rely on coming off the bench. Go ahead, the, Zach. The Suns have superstars. They don't have a fucking roster. Like, this is what the Lakers were early on in the season – when they had all these names. And now the Lakers have a roster. They got guys that can play role plays, know how to play defense, calling out switches. Shoot. Only the time they shoot the fucking ball is in the corner when LeBron Oh, you got the Lakers it. over Golden State then? Oh, yeah. We'll talk about that later because I'm quite sure we're going to get to that before the end of, end of the show. Yeah, LeBron and Steph. Yeah. 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 Legacy. Yeah. yeah. They're both Who's the GOAT? That's right. This is the conversation. And I was wrong. <laughs> Last time I was talking shit about the Warriors, <laughs> they won game five that they had to win. And they fucking won Game Seven that they had to win on the road. So, yeah, on the road, right, and I was talking shit. To and he put about. fifty up, yeah, yeah. yeah fifty in other people's rims. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, what size are these hoops? I don't know, they're not mine. But uh, that shit ain't happening with LeBron. LeBron, and way he's way too smart of a basketball. Caruso player. Caruso called him a genius. He did to, mm -hmm. to to let things facilitate like that. Like they they just gave up, man. That was that was shit. It was over with. One step, da da da. And fifty, yeah, fifty piece in your grill. Hey, speaking like of, they didn't want to play no speaking more. Speaking of da da da. Saw Junie, da da da. Yeah. Like a good 10, 15 yard win. Yeah. In the 100 meters. Yeah. He's going to be a track star or what? Yeah, probably something. He got he got in his gym. You thought he going to probably be able to kick the hell out of a soccer ball. <laughs> yeah, I'm worried about my wife right now, actually. She's getting kicked from the inside. <laughs> I'm like, I honestly, I have no idea what, like, I don't know science well enough, but like, I don't know if like my kid is necessarily the best to just be kicking you. Yeah, it might hurt me. You know what I mean? It might yeah, be a little bit that's... different. But Junie's flying, dude. Remember, dad ran 4 2 8. Yeah. He did good, man. He got to finish all the way through. Yeah, you're yelling at the f yeah. finish. Yeah, move your ass. Move your ass. Hurry up. I love the coaching. It gets real intense. There's a lot yeah. of yelling out here. A lot yeah. of yelling out here. Yeah, yeah, this was fun, man. This was How old? How old? This was uh, kindergarten, five, six and seven-year-olds in this race right here. I think Junie ran 18, nine or something like that. Or he was a second and a half from... Doing really, 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 mean, really. What do you mean, second and a half from doing really a well? A second and a half. So I Google uh, what the six-year-old ran last year in AAU Junior Olympics. Smart. Down in Orlando. Yep. And I put it with Junie time. It was a second and like, what did I tell you? It was 1.5 1. 1. or something yeah, like that. 1.3. So I'm like, shit, we, we ain't that far off for this was a cold ass morning. It was raining. Ohio. You know, like, yeah. Just woke him up. Slow like, track. Like, slow where track. Where are we at? You know, slob and shit everywhere. So, yeah, he did an unbelievable job. Man. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. I'm pumped for him. Yeah. Looks he, like he's got work ethic too. You have his ass running hills. He's got his ass running fucking hills. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's smiling. But yeah. he enjoyed doing it, man. Which is I great. He got a chance to see me play ball. He see all the other ones in the house playing ball. Like, he don't stop, bro. Every two seconds, he run around the house with a fucking headband or something, saying he's somebody. That's awesome. Yeah. I love everything about it. Mm -hmm. He's going to go win that thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. 100%. Second yeah. and a half? Come on. Hey, he won't race in Pittsburgh, though, I was told. Yeah, yeah no nope. chance. Scared. No, I'm going to race in Pittsburgh. Heard he's a little worried about the Too many thugs in Pittsburgh. Bro. <laughs> yeah, it's too many thugs in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is such an interesting place, dude. We were back there, obviously. <laughs> you had a great time, I think, right? Yeah. I did. I had an unbelievable time in Pittsburgh. That's probably one of the best time I ever, well, the best time I ever had. Shout out to my boy. Let's Appreciate go. it, Nick. That's I baby enjoy Frankie myself, getting married also in Pittsburgh that day, joining us on stage. And now it's time yeah. to talk about the other sport that is lighting it up. Two game sevens back to back evenings. Mm -hmm. yep. Now, last night, the Rangers got knocked out by the Devils. Oh, oh, boy. So many that. khaki pants got grumpy in last night. So yeah. <laughs> that is such a shame that the Rangers got knocked out in the first round. Same with the Bruins. That's a shame. <laughs> Penguins haven't even, we didn't even get to play four more games. No, you know what I mean? Yeah. No. So we, you guys definitely beat us, you know? 
Pat, what about Go Boat? Oh, yeah, we did. Go Boat's got a limit. Go Boat's got a limit. Go Boat's got a limit. I don't know. Let's dive into it. Uh, joining <laughs> us now, Stanley Cup champion Rupper. Rupper, you work at the NHL Network. Obviously, you cover this inside out. You know the game. You look so fantastic on TV, too. Oh, yeah. God. Suited, booted, Clean. yep. cleaned up, dude. You crush it. Um, when we're thinking about this particular playoff series, who should we be thinking about going? And in the East, it seems like underdogs are winning here. Is that our actual thought or no? Yeah, so, I mean, I'm, like you said, it's supposed to be my job kind of talking about this stuff. I went 0 for 4 in first round. Oh, What's well. this guy here for? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so what? tough, That's gonna be tough go. Mean, what tough go. So uh, <laughs> it just Stop shows that. you. We can't have everybody listening yeah. to everything yeah. you say. You just went 0 for 4. Yeah. This guy's in the middle of the coldest streak of all time, and this is sport on ice. So. Oh, 0 for 4 in the Eastern Conference picking winners mm. in round 1. But No, think, no, you're due. But you're I think due. that shows yeah. you, though, it's shows you what crazy shit is happening in hockey, man. It's nuts. I, I honestly, sorry, Connor. Whatever. <laughs> I, there is room up there for other jerseys in the near future. I'm just saying because they they Bobby. left some room up there. So I don't know if the Celts are going to be joining it soon. Oh, 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 oh I'm just saying. <laughs> just get on with the fucking but hockey. All, all I'm going to say though Let's is. Let's go back to basketball. I, Jesus. I am shocked. And I remember here. Here's the thing. We're, we're sitting there and, and Pac, you were at the table and uh, AQ was at the table and I had uh, I had D Butt next to me. And he leans in because he's a he's a Panthers fan, right? Well, and he goes, okay. And he goes, uh, yes. He goes, I heart. doesn't watch hockey. No, he is. The fucking no, guy doesn't watch hockey. He loves the hockey. I don't want to hear about Panthers. Eba being a he, Panthers he fan. He says to me, and I just met him, right? So he goes, my do my Panthers have a have a chance here, and I'm thinking, and I, I don't want to come across as being a dick, <laughs> but I was just like, just met him, honestly, from Ohio. No, they don't, dude. They have zero yeah. chance. And like, <laughs> like that, like Pack, like that's how Matt lopsided Fowler. this was. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I and I love that team. I mean, Matthew Kachuk's one of my favorite players, or if, if not the <laughs> to Chuck, as uh, the best. Uh, great, great Twitter handle too. Rubber, just get over the to fucking Chucky, hockey. Hey, to Chuck E. Cheese. Hey, oh, they, that's a good one. Pretty good, one, right? Pretty good. Pizza, yeah. Pretty good. Hey, you know that guy in the back there? Uh, since we have been doing a lot of look back, yeah. that dude was actually that's Chester. Chucky. Yeah. Yeah, he was. Yeah. That's sick. That guy was just joining us right now. Diehard Panthers fan. Uh, Darius J. Butler. D Butt. D Butt. How high hey. are you flying right now, pal? You're on the golf course, hey. obviously. Hey, Panthers. Can you guys hear me or what? Yeah, can you hear us? Yeah, loud and clear. How are we doing over there? Hey, great. I, I'm happy to see that you're watching Florida Panthers film. <laughs> yeah, clearly. It kind of showcases how big of a Florida Panthers fan you are. We're talking to Rupper here about the Bruins getting upset. Maybe the biggest upset in the history of hockey is what they're saying. How do you feel about your team, D-Butt? You know what? I go back uh, a few weeks ago at Nick Nick's royal wedding. It was. I mean, unbelievable. And the table I had, me, Pac-Man, Rub, AQ, Billy. I mean, unbelievable table. I asked, well, hey, well, what do my my Panthers got a chance? Do we got a shot? D but I'm gonna be honest with you. Hell no. <laughs> Bruins could lose their top four guys. They did. Verbatim is what he said. They could lose their top four guys and still win this thing in a runaway. But you know, Panthers, we're underdogs. You know, big cats, this is what we do. Haven't won a playoff series <laughs> in, a, in a long, long time. Mm -hmm. But here we go. We got Pasta's jersey up in the rafters. Yeah, that's because you got yeah. great, great regular season. But here we go. We're rolling, baby. And uh, by the way, Phil hates the Maple Leafs, so um, yeah, we're going. We're going. We're rolling hard, baby. Okay, Phil does hate the Maple Leafs. I learned actually, which we're about to dive into. How's the golf game going today? Hey, shot my best round ever, eighty-nine. Wow. Here we go. Out take Hell yeah. Brad out here. What's up, Brad? How you doing? Pat McAfee show. Hey, how, you doing, how you doing, pal? What's your name, Brad? You watch the Panthers series? Yeah, Brad. Did you watch the Panthers? Um, I had to work that night. Oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He doesn't know how many nights there were. That's a shame. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's all right. Brad's okay. He's a golfer. The guy's got it in. He's good. He's good. Right. Guy. Connor Absolutely. has something to say to you back uh, about the games, I believe. Yeah, D, but, you know, hats off to your Miami Heat. Uh, who's the captain of the Florida Panthers? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> They're all captains. A dog. We know Swaggy's a dog. Absolutely. Two, yep. three. We don't care. Hey, we don't care about captains. We don't. We, we don't even have C's on our chest. We just go out there and they play. They do. They Let's do. go, cat. <laughs> That's right. All right. We appreciate you, ladies and gentlemen. Debo. Uh, Thank you, buddy. Yeah, Debo. That's Debo. right. 89. Exactly what you were saying. Yeah. So that goes to the lopsidedness he even bought in. He was like, well, this is the guy that I go to that knows hockey. Like, that's an interesting thing that we have around here. We have people like, oh, we have a question for, uh, like, offensive line shit. Okay. Yep. It's got AQ. Mm -hmm. We got a question about anything. Let's go to this person. Like, we got Shams. 
is yeah. normally our basketball yeah. person. Our hockey person has become you on That's Hockey Talk. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you know this, but when you're talking, you're basically shaping, like, yeah. our thoughts yeah. on how hockey's mm -hmm. going. It's gospel. To hear you on Air for Four last year is not... not <laughs> okay. Don't want to hear that. Not necessarily fantastic. But to, everybody had Bruins by law, oh, right? Yeah. So yeah. that upset is historic or no? Yeah, no, it is. I mean, it's you're talking about... I, I guess the only one thing you could, you could throw in there is that the Florida Panthers won the President's Trophy for the best record in the NHL last year. The President's so, Cup Trophy. Yeah, the yeah. President's <laughs> Cup Trophy. So the, the fact that they were kind of fighting to get in the playoffs this year, yeah, I mean, it wasn't a great season for them but they also have that pedigree of being the top team in the league last year right so uh, you got to take that into an effect as well but man I, I i didn't see it i would have bet the farm i would like everything on the bruins there and it's it's crazy let's go to the west the kraken got sweet uniforms yes they yeah, do they're, great color they're only in their second year right yeah, yeah. his shoes everyone's doing crack out there Dude, <laughs> I don't only once. it's hard not to watch them and be like, sick but, uniforms. But on that night, too, like that's how big that game was. And then you had game seven following up with Colorado, Seattle, and like everyone on Twitter's not even talking about it. And you got Colorado who won the cup last year. Ow. This is a huge upset, but no one's talking about it because of the Bruins. Uh, getting knocked out, you yeah, know, so it, it kind of gives you, yeah. Well, bigger, gives you we that. don't know what the Kraken are going to become. They might become the greatest hockey organization and program ever. I hope so. The Seattle Kraken Junior Leagues might be the best ever. Oh. The little cracks. Yeah, the little cracks. <laughs> <laughs> little crack cracks. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They have a chance going to be great, but their jerseys and They're them nice, winning yeah. early is a great combination to build fans. Yeah. My wife likes the Kraken. Now she's a Penguins fan, obviously. Sure. Well, that... Probably won't last, you know, once Crosby hangs it up. I think that's what Rupper was referring to as far as jerseys in the rafters. That's not. That was not what he was talking about. He was talking about We're talking about the greatest regular season of all time. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're right. Crosby can't go up there. He doesn't Exactly. Have now, if that happened, Crosby, no way Crosby's letting no. the boys lose in the first no, round. No, 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 no. You think no. Sidney Crosby you is You guys always let... lose in the first no, round. It's hard to not win the first always. round, all right? It's I, hard to win. It is. Not uh, if we won the most regular season games in history. We'd be going in as a wagon. Yeah, you don't right. even make it to the first yeah, round. Every Shut the fuck up, dude. All right. <laughs> Everyone wants to be hockey town. I get every it. Every time the Pens win it as a wagon, they won the cup. Okay. Bingo. Yeah, just never the President's Cup. Actually, cool. the one time that the, the Wings went as a wagon, the Pens won the Cup. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Remember? Oh, remember? Sorry about oh yeah, remember that one time the Wings beat the Pens? No. Yeah, that one time. Yep. Take a hike, dude. Hey, in all fairness, in all fairness. The fuck. pens are dead. I know, Rob. Jeez. <laughs> no, 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 no. Say, yeah, stop. Stop. Say it, Rob. Well, the, 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 the hockey world's talking about if this is the biggest upset, and it's going back to 93. 394 Tough season. Don't talk Toughly. About, don't talk it was about San Jose one. knocking out Detroit, which was it that's deemed the biggest upset. Oh, 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 oh nice. Good oh, no. I, I, I wasn't even alive for that, so it doesn't count. <laughs> Me neither, but you always talk about the things that happened when you weren't alive. You know, when you're talking about the Red Wings. Yeah, true. So this is certainly something that we're going to have to remember. Yeah, I, I didn't know yeah, this little fair. piece of hockey history. Yeah, at all. I heard the uh, Wings uh, coach is a scumbag, too, Vasilevsky. No, he, you're he, talking to Gumpy too much. No, that no. doesn't hey, count. Well, hold on. So I, I, we, I want some opinions on this. And, Pac, I yes, want to ask you this. Yes. So assistant coach in Tampa, mm -hmm. they win back-to-back -back Stanley Cups, go to three straight Stanley Cup finals. He gets hired. The assistant coach gets hired as the head coach of the Detroit Red Wings. Okay, Detroit doesn't make the playoffs. Tampa's in round one. So the Canadian broadcast hire and bring him on set. And they're asking him, you know, to break it down as a coach in the league. Oh, he no. starts letting out state secrets. No way. About independent studies that they did in their franchise in Tampa about what their goalie struggled with. Uh, that boy, that guy won you two Stanley Cups. Wow. Like, is that oh, is that wow. dirty pool? Oh, you good with man. that? Like, where are you at with that? Um, on media though, but like, like on a network, you can't do it like publicly. Now, if it was my team that is on, that I'm on right yeah. now, and I'm doing it, hey, look, guys, these are the things I think that can help us win. But public saying, hey, look, this is what he was doing. No, nah, you can't fucking do that. I feel the same way. I, I would be. I, I think my natural reaction. Yeah, that, and I, that's fucked up. And that sounds like it's out of a movie, by yeah. the way. So as you were saying that, I was like, yes, this sounds out of a movie. This sounds. This happened recently. Yeah. So he, when? So it, just the other day, before like Game Six. Oh, he, this is he came out last and, week, and, oh, and wow. he came out and he said. Uh, Derek Lalonde, he's the head coach uh, of the Detroit Red Wings. Derek. And, and he said, Derek. well, because uh, Vasilevsky's been struggling with long shots, right? And not seeing him uh, almost like a Ricky Vaughn situation. What's he, short side? Got to get side. some glasses or something, okay. you know? And so he said, we actually ran independent studies when we were in Tampa, and he was the <laughs> bottom four goaltenders or starting goaltenders league with battling through screens on long shots. So I – 
it just that was an independent study they did inside the team. Mm-hmm. So I think a lot of people in the hockey world are like, why are you letting that out now? Right. It's not like you're playing. They're playing against you. Right. You're just yeah. offering this up to the media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The media thing is my. You know, like that's Rupert. Shouldn't every team know that though? Shouldn't everyone do their film and actually know that that's the case? Yeah, no, that's a good point. And everybody would know that. We know from watching oh, Vasilevsky. If there's a way no. to beat no scumbag Red Wings, coach. if if there's a yeah. way to beat oh, Vasilevsky, it's long shots it. in traffic. But you can say that about any goal he's getting traffic. But I think the point is, I feel like it's a little bit embarrassing that you basically were saying we we did a study about our player. And oh, and oh, sorry, the, the kicker. He said, because of this, we oh. changed our defensive f- situation, the way we format our defense. So that's kind of like, and the guys in the middle of the playoffs, and they're like, oh, my team had to change yeah, so defensive that guy coverage. Have a microphone. Like, no, come sure. on, man. I, like I wasn't. Yeah. I, I didn't like that. Uh, unless he's got a little bit of a, you know, a gripe or something, which it yeah. doesn't seem like he should. Right? No, no, he's, no, got he's got a, he's, he's got a ring for both. He got a ring for each hand right now. So maybe he's just maybe he's just not good in the media. Maybe he didn't know he shouldn't have said that. Do you think that's the case? Or do you think he did it on purpose? Yeah, and anyway, well, Gumps was making uh, was having fun with it too because then as soon as round one ended, he's going overseas to coach in the uh, in the you know world championships or whatever. So it's like team? he, he was team? like what brought team? he was like brought in. I think he's coach is he team can I don't even know if he's team. Oh, oh, oh tough uh, look. Oh, and, but but Gumps is like he was a hired he was a hired gun. Came in round one, just saw through that Tampa got eliminated, and he's out. You know, not even doing the rest of the playoffs. Oh, this is his only duty, which yeah. is kind of give out all the state secrets from Tampa. <laughs> That's sense. crazy. Uh, in my ears, Zuda just told me we have a surprise guest what? on the line. Oh, wow. Ooh. I've been told it's from the football world. Excited to see who this particular person is on this. Holy oh! shit! <laughs> Happy birthday, Pat. <laughs> Dude, so cool. I remember, I remember when you were just a young baby in 2009 when the Colts drafted you, and now look at you now. Man. Grown adult wearing tank tops <laughs> proud of you bud <laughs> thank you man if i made you proud i know i did something you know yeah, these yeah. tank tops <laughs> have really become pretty simple to to shop for this is uh this is really cool to see you man how are you doing how's life you're always cooking you're always up to something what are we doing right now well uh, it's funny you ask uh I, I just left disney world i was with phil sims pat i think you'll like this phil sims was the first super bowl mvp to say I'm going to Disney World after the game, right? The most famous Super Bowl commercial ever, yet he never got to go to Disney World. He never had his parade. So I met Phil today for uh, Peyton's Places, and uh, we gave him his parade 36 years later. So I had my Colts jersey, which I'm not going to lie, Pat, is an aggressive way to walk through Disney World because (laughs) some people look at me and go, that looks like Manning, but, like, why would he wear his own jersey? So they kind of leave you alone. Now it's a it's aggressive, but it's actually pretty effective. There's no way that guy Peyton would be wearing his own jersey <laughs> no, no. at Disney World. There's no way he would do that. Like it's like, look, I like the guy. I'm a fan of Manning. I'm not him. He's a good looking guy, but clearly I'm not him. Like you sign it, you know, it kind of adds to the disguise. But uh, I think the long neck and the big forehead kind of give it away in the end. <laughs> No, there's a lot of doppelgangers out there. Oh, yeah. well, I'm assuming that you uh, got a. You got, remember Aaron had that guy. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers had that guy from like Germany or whatever that looked Twitter, exactly dude. like him. He was on Sunday Night Football for like 45 minutes. Yeah. That uh-huh. guy. He had an absolute crush. Uh, that Peyton's place is, is remarkable. I was very lucky to be on one with Jeff Saturday at the Indy 500. Seems like you're just doing incredibly cool things. Is this what you just assumed you would do when you retire? All right, I want to go do awesome shit. Well, what's awesome? Uh, well, what was the first ever helmet that was used? I want to go tell that story. Is that what you're doing? Is that how we got to Peyton's places? It's incredible, it seems like. Is is that what you aim to do? I mean, never. I never knew exactly what I was going to do You know, while I was playing. As you know, I was kind of all in uh, on the football thing. But uh, it's been fun to stay close to the game. And, you know, the NFL and NFL Films, Pat, they had so many stories that they wanted to tell about the history of the game but never got to do it. And so this is kind of a way to do it. So – you know, spending the day with Sims, hearing about Parcells and hearing about, you know, he was 22 for 25 in that Super Bowl. I'm like, Phil, what the hell happened on those three incompletions, right? Explain yourself. There's no excuse for that. So uh, just fun, uh, fun talking about football history with some of the greats that have been a part of the game. But more importantly, Pat, how do you feel? Do you feel 30? What are you? Three, three, four, three, six, three? six, 36. I'm fucking old, Peyton. Oh, yeah, dude. 36. Yeah, you're old as fuck now, too, pal. Mm-hmm. 
I gotta not get fat, Peyton. I get fat, dude. That's, this is what happens. I get so comfortable eating, and then I don't like focus on like tre like cardio. Growing up, you know this. I mean, but you are. This dude used to be running sprints during punt period. This fucking guy. Weapon. It was awesome. We're talking about right across the field, holding the ball like this. Hell yeah. Up, full form, yep. sprinting right across the field in an indoor facility, and I'm supposed to punt balls. Okay, this hits the roof, hits Peyton Manning. I'm fucking gone. <laughs> yeah. Okay, is that is that what we're doing? But cardio has always been like a punishment for me in my eyes. So it's hard for me to do that. I get, I'm going to get fat. I don't want to get fat this year, Peyton. That's goal for 36. I think that's the only the only difference right. that I feel. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, the fact that you put my name and Sprints in the same sentence is a reach. But uh, <laughs> I would encourage you to, to do a little running. You know, let, let's not get fat. Let's stay fit. I, I mean, I need to be able to play golf with you. Uh, you know, me and somebody owe you and some uh, – me and a partner owe you and Eli a, a rematch, uh, if I recall. So, uh we got to get that done, so don't get fat on me, Pat. Uh, stay liquid, stay lean. All right, you because uh, I got to be able to walk that particular nice course too. Mm -hmm. That is, you know, hey, there's a lot of. I didn't expect that much. I don't think whatever I was uh, looking at it from beforehand. Your golf game's phenomenal, though. You uh, are, yeah, you're a player. Eli is too, I, though. Oh, uh, Eli's uh, Eli's better. Eli's improved since he retired. I'm 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 uh, I'm the same. You know, Eli's a true. He's a true New Yorker now. I mean, you know, he, he he summers in the Hamptons. I'm like, Eli, the fact that you're using a uh, season as a verb, I don't even know you anymore. <laughs> Southern kid from New Orleans, and now you're summering in the Hamptons playing golf. So uh, he's taking a big step up since he stopped playing. I'm dead average, as always. No, dead average is like a four or five handicap, obviously, <laughs> able to do his thing. Uh, this. I'm a a 5A, Pat, to 5 at altitude, which <laughs> that I'm trying to establish, it doesn't really carry to sea level. So, anyway, that's what I... <laughs> hey, you love Denver. I'm happy you found, like, a home out there, it seems like, that you've really enjoyed and taken in as your own. You had a lot of success there very quickly. This Nuggets team's the real deal. Joker's a bully, dude. He's a fucking bully. He's elbowing uh, people in the face every single series. Do you go to those games? Yeah, I went Saturday night. Uh, uh, went to the Abs uh, Sunday night, unfortunately, for uh, 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 you know, great, great run last year. I uh, came up short uh, Sunday. But, no, look, the Nuggets are angry. I, I like angry teams. I don't like playing against angry teams, guys that are mad, that are frustrated from the year before. And they're using that. They're channeling that. So uh, watch out. Watch out for the Nuggets. Um, I think they're for real. Do you own any, like, soccer teams or anything, like J.J. Watt? Or... Do not. No. I mean, but I am willing to learn, uh, I guess. <laughs> How about him? That was a big news yesterday. Oh, yeah. Huge, Huge. News. Hey, that was worldwide news. They were yeah, covering yeah. that everywhere. Oh, yeah. Hey, JJ, good for, kid from Wisconsin. Yeah. Owning something. Owning, nice. Owns a fucking... Nick, um, I'm excited for JJ and his next chapter. I've been talking to him, and God, what a run. What a player. I mean, he hit me He hit me in Houston one time. I'm, I'm telling you, I still feel it. And he's like... He's kind of polite afterwards, but he's like... I mean, like, he knew he got me good, and he's like... That was a good one, huh? I'm like, yes, that was a very good one. <laughs> well, don't do it again, but uh, I'm excited for him in this next chapter. He's going to do some cool things, and uh, he's an absolute stud. Anybody talk shit to you after they hit you? I assume you were uh, a picture that they would want on their mantle. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like sacking Peyton Manning. Anybody talk shit, or is everybody, like, real cordial? No, you know, uh, I mean, I didn't really engage anything. I wasn't good at it, like, my dad never taught me how to talk trash, so I sucked at it. So I wasn't going to start it. Um, you know, uh, the one big hit I remember, we played the Dolphins one time, and I think, like, Taylor hit me from the front. And this defensive end, I want to say is Bromel, hit me from the uh, – uh, no, Taylor hit me from the back. Bromel hit me from the front, broke my jaw. So, you know, he got fined, like, 2500 bucks, which, like, Back then, like, he had that in cash in his pants. He, like, pays the F right then. And, like, you know, he's, he's cleared on the fine. I'm like, yeah, yeah that's going to do a lot to him. Anyway, the story is he appealed his fine. He didn't agree with the fine. And he wanted to know via his agent if I would call in on his appeal 
to the NFL to try to get his fine reduced. <laughs> I'm like, well, I can't speak. My mouth, my <laughs> mouth, is my yeah. I'll I'll call in. I like to increase that fine to like 200 grand, buddy. Thanks a lot for the fun job. <laughs> Oh, the thought of you actually having to go right through the wire, mm. you know, to Roger Goodell to explain the case. What a time. How many of those shots you take? Broken jaw? How many games you miss? None. Yeah, I didn't miss any. I mean, uh, the... Uh, What's your problem, uh, dude? Hey, hey, seriously, let's talk about this. You know, because, like, the Iron Man thing mm -hmm. gets brought up. You know, you're super cerebral. People have seen you avoid hits, mm -hmm. you know, and they're like, oh, look at him avoid hits. It's like, uh, how many games have you missed? Uh, none, ever. But you've taken a lot of shots through the whole thing. Did you just feel like you had to play through a broken fucking jaw? Like, why is that? Do you think that's just how you've always been, or... Because it's vastly different nowadays, I think. I think it's yeah. like doctors wouldn't even let you do things. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, obviously, I mean, with the draft, uh, you know, just the other day, uh, uh, it's funny. I was thinking thinking back a lot uh, to my rookie year in 98, 25 years ago. Uh, was not very good that year, Pat. Um, uh, through 28 interceptions, which which we you know, talk about still, uh, is a record that I would like to get broken. I feel like. This might be the year, you know, you know, I mean, my advice to these coaches, play Young, play uh, Stroud, play Richardson, let them learn. But if they throw 29 picks, that's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, yeah. That would put them as, as the new rookie record holder. But anyway, the one thing I did do well that year is I took every snap and I, I learned a lot and I kind of hung in there. So that just kind of became something that I wanted to do. I wanted to be in there. You know, I wanted my lineman in there for me. I wanted to be in there for them. Uh, you know, my dad got hit a lot, uh, but, you know, didn't have, you know, great protection, but he was tough and he hung in there. So um, I guess he kind of passed that on to me. He didn't pass on any of his speed, unfortunately. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, when I got injured, uh, uh, my um, uh, in, my four, in my 14th season with the Colts and not being able to play that whole season, that was the hardest part because you, because you want to be in there for – you know, for your teammates. And uh, I remember being in my hospital bed in California, watching the Colts play the Texans. You were in that game. And um, I don't get too emotional, but I, I, I kind of cried for the first time just because, uh, because I wasn't out there playing. So uh, that was a tough deal. Yeah, you were fully invested, man. We were very lucky to be your teammate. I think everybody that's ever played with you thinks that. So we appreciate your commitment to the game. And also, like, I saw Kenny Pickett the other day was shotgunning beers with Luke Combs on a stage. He had a suite with a bunch of his teammates and offensive linemen drinking beers with him. I'm right. like, that's fucking, that's like it being a teammate right there. Like, that is building camaraderie. That's building trust. Like, you were always a guy that, like, wanted to be a good teammate, too, which you didn't have to be ever. So, you did good. Well, you did good. Well, Big four. Like did good. I still think about, I mean, that golf tournament, uh, that golf trip to French Lick. I mean, who knows? Uh, who knew then that story would get so much coverage with you spreading the gospel of the uh, of the red 18? I mean, I'm telling you, I saw some college kids the other day. You know, they not, they don't ask me one question about football, about commercials. All they want to say is the red 18 story true. Just tell me it's true. I'm like McAfee. He he has added a few bells and whistles, but the facts are the facts. Now I've tried that. 20 other times and I missed but the one time I hit McAfee was there to spread the word so uh they were so fired up to hear it. yeah I've withheld some stuff I've you know <laughs> yeah. you know done some other stuff it is man it was remarkable it was my first time like fucking hanging out with you. I didn't know why I was invited I didn't even have golf clubs I had to borrow golf clubs from somebody mm -hmm. I had to borrow golf clubs to go do this it was like well I'm not saying no to this it was like All one right. of the first weekends I was in town hey do you want to go golf uh yeah how how's this work uh, we'll just have a bus. We'll do the whole thing. I'm like, yeah, this is awesome. Thank you for this. I'm going to do my thing. And then it was a blast. Like from literally beginning to the end, it was a great time. We're on this bus, go down, have fun, golf. It's all set up. This dude sets up everything. He's like literally, 
You are the fucking, you are, you are a superhuman, I think, because how hands-on he is with everything. Like Omaha right now, Omaha just created some new collectibles, king of collectibles. I think Drake's on there. I Christ. think, like, everybody is on there. Yeah, it's this guy's fucking company that's doing it, and I assume he's a massive part of the entire thing. Incredible. Uh, everything you do, we go down there, and then that's how the night ends, was like, the I'm like, this dude. Yeah, it's a move. <laughs> this dude is a fucking superhero. So that, it was hard to... It was just hard to ever forget, and you've always been incredibly cool. Can I talk about uh, how much time do you have? I, I didn't know you were coming on. How much time do you have? I'm good. I'm good. I'm I'm I'm, uh, I'm, I'm heading to the heading to the airport from uh, Disney World. I'm going to wear my jersey in the Orlando airport. See if I can just cruise <laughs> right through it. Uh, you need not. You need not be going through that Orlando airport. No, no. That is one of the worst airports on earth. I think we know which airport you're heading to. I think we know. We've uh, we've potentially been there as well. We got a few more minutes. Um, we you, when you were talking about uh, playing every snap and gathering more information and learning and learning. I thought immediately about Aaron Rodgers, and I'm excited to get your take on Aaron going to the Jets around that young team and how good they can be, especially if Aaron can play pissed off, mm -hmm. which it seems like yeah. what is happening. But he broke down one time where he said, on this one play, he saw a defense, and he remembered the way the team was aligned from like 2008 or something like mm -hmm. that. And this was like 2018 maybe or 2019. And he said, oh, I remember this from like my first or second year, and that guy's going to come here and do that. Is that like something that you – is that what you had as well? And is that something where only a few people have that, or is that just kind of a part of being a quarterback there? Well, I mean, somebody like Aaron who has played as long and has had so many reps, I mean, his recall – is, is going to be incredible. Um, yeah, I felt like I could remember just, you know, kind of random, unique plays, a third and five against Baltimore, you know, in the second quarter that, you know, uh, something happened. They double covered Marvin and they kind of had him bracketed. So same deal. Like, you know, eight years later, I'm like, Marvin, you know, Buffalo's playing that same coverage that Baltimore did eight years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. And, and Marvin was the same way. So it's nice when a quarterback and receiver can – speak the same language without having to draw it up. Uh, I'm excited for Aaron and the Jets. Um, let me tell you why I think it's going to work. The okay. fact that he has the same system that he ran in Green Bay with Hackett calling the plays, he's going to be able to play so much faster. I mean, Pat, having to learn a new offense uh, in your 18th, 19th year, it's almost impossible because you have to unlearn your whole – uh, unlearn your old offense, right? Uh, you saw it with Brady. He goes to Tampa. They're kind of making him learn some different language. All of a sudden, week six, they're like, hey, maybe we should just call the plays that Tom used to run in New England. You know, oh, okay, let's try that. Boom, they go to the Super Bowl, right? Favre went to the Jets. He had to learn a new system. He struggled early. He goes to Minnesota. Same system in Green Bay, plays fast. When I went to Denver, they took my playbook and said, hey, we'll run all the plays that you like. We'll okay. add some new ones. We'll work together. So the fact that Aaron doesn't have to learn a new offense, a new snap count, a new formation, he's going to play fast. He can use his incredible athletic ability. I see him playing well early uh, next year, and uh, it should be fun to watch. Okay, so they said we'll learn your playbook when you went to Denver. I remember it was like the rumors were – Hey, they kind of gave Peyton the key to the building over there, and nobody really understood what that meant I, I, outside of our building. It's like Peyton's brain is a great one. The fact that they chose to use it, was that a piece of, like, the deciding factor to go to Denver? Because wasn't there a couple other teams that were in the, in the play of trying to get – because we it, cut Peyton Manning, by the way. Oh, yeah. People yeah, need to remember that. That. that was an eye-opener. <laughs> I'll tell you. I, that, was a, yeah. that was a real eye-opener. <laughs> Peyton Manning just got cut from the team? Holy fuck. Uh-oh. This is – that was a big deal. That's what uh, that's what Eli asked Draymond Green this last year on a Monday night show. He said, Draymond, how would you talk crap to Peyton? He said, I, I wouldn't have to say anything. I'd just say, Peyton, you got cut. I'm like, wow. <laughs> that's a good – thanks for the reminder, Draymond. Eli enjoyed that. Look, um, I think the fact that Denver w was very collaborative and understood that, right? And I think Elway understood that, like – I'm telling you, the longer you play, the harder it is to unlearn your system, right? Brady, New England, right? Charlie Weiss, uh, uh, McDaniels, O'Brien, it doesn't matter. Same system. Indianapolis with me, Tom Moore, same system, same language. Uh, you want to screw a young quarterback up? Change coordinators every year. Three right? times. Just, just, just completely screw them up. But, I mean, and so 
you know, if you have the same system, it's hard to unlearn it. So Aaron, the fact that he doesn't have to learn a new system, it's going to work. But, but but Denver met me halfway. They said, Peyton, we'll put in the plays you want. You circle the plays you want. We're going to add some plays that we think will be good at this point in your career, which I appreciated, right, coming off an injury. So it was a collaborative hybrid offense, and I think that's the key, being stubborn and hard-headed and saying, no, no, no. You, you know, these are the plays you got to learn. If you don't want to learn it, get out. It's not going to work. So uh, I think the Jets have a good good setup with Hackett there and, you know, good good credit to Robert for, you know, kind of allowing that to happen. Yeah, Salah looks awesome. He has his hoodie on yeah. in chilling. the back, so just like sad. chilling. He's got to be pumped. Joe Douglas is pumped. Woody Johnson, nice fresh dap up on yep, his way yep. into the building. When he walked into that building, he had those sunglasses on. Woody Johnson was there. Some guy we don't know. Not sure. We don't know who yeah. the second guy was. That'll be trainer. Pretty powerful, though. Has to be. Up yeah. Pretty powerful up there with Woody. He was dapping him up. And then it was, uh, I think, Salah. Hackett, Hackett. Yep. Joe Douglas, mm -hmm. I think, was the way it all went. But that was just like five people in the building that he had to beat. Let's see if we got this. Woody first. Yep. Hey, pal. Shoulder. Hey. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Johnson Johnson, I'm not <laughs> taking the vax. Still but. hate you, but. This guy. We don't know who he is. He looks awesome. Salah, big dap. Loud big dap. dap. That was a good dap. <laughs> and then who else we got here? Hackett. Oh, uh, oh no, we missed yeah, a guy. this guy. Hackett's in the back there. there Day ball looking. Big hug. And then Joe Douglas, how we done? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. But those are just like six people. Yeah. The building is equipment room, trainers, chefs, doctors, ticket sales people, right. business people. An NFL building has so much range from profession inside of it. Production crew, content crew, now social media crew. You name it. There's people everywhere. Did you feel, and I thought about this when Aaron was throwing his first pass that they put on social media in slow motion. Did you feel like even though you're paid many, you had to reprove yourself to like everybody? Like, hey, this is their first time seeing how you operate, you know? Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. And look, I think Aaron will feel that way just because, you know, you did something somewhere else. It, it doesn't carry over automatically. And and you want to I mean, I think Aaron wants to be the player that they think he's going to be or that they saw. Right. But you feel compelled to do that. I mean, for me, you know, I come to I get to Denver. I'm coming off this injury and I'm trying to tell people like, hey, I just don't feel the exact same. And, like, nobody wanted to hear it. I mean, Von Miller, you know, tags this PFM. I'm like, you know, I mean, my middle name's Williams. You know, it's Peyton Williams. Like, no, it's PFM. I'm like, oh, okay, I got it. And so all of a sudden you feel, like, this pressure to, like, be the player that Von, th you know, thinks you're going to be. And and so, yeah, I imagine Aaron feels that, but I imagine uh, that he'll be able to follow through on that as well. It makes him better, I think, don't you? For sure. No. Look, I mean, look, being uncomfortable at this point in your career is a good thing, right? I mean, getting out of your comfort zone and, I mean, Tom did it in Tampa, went down there and, you know, changed that, you know, got that culture going right and, you know, kick butt right away. And so, um, uh, you know, I think the Jets are doing their part to make them uh, as comfortable as they can. But look, he's, he's wearing a different number. It's a different uniform. I mean, the first time I put that Broncos uniform on, it was weird. I'm like, th these are not the colors that I'm used to. And you just feel different, right? And so he'll feel all that. But I think, you know, going back to the same system and the same language, Help. being able to know the offense, Pat, as well as anybody else in that huddle is such an advantage, right? There's nothing worse as the quarterback when you're having to ask somebody, hey, uh, uh, what route are you running here? Like, that's a bad feeling, and, and your receivers don't want to see that. Aaron's going to be the master of that offense starting now, and he's going to be able to help the young players. So uh, that's a real positive, I have to admit. All right. Well, I appreciate the hell out of you for taking time and chatting with me here on this day where, you know, I came I came into the world, you know, Peyton? Mm -hmm. And it's yeah. been a dumb life ever since. I'll, t I'll promise you that. <laughs> this is the proof of it, actually. <laughs> Well, I'm honored to be uh, to be asked to uh, FaceTime in on your birthday. I don't know who else is uh, who else is on the list, but I'm honored and uh, I appreciate your friendship, pal. And hope you have a great birthday. Hey, wait till you see my golf game next time, dude. Yeah, look out! Wait till you see it. I'm getting hot. I'm getting hot out here. These clubs are working now. You're the man. Hey, the question is, have you learned to tie a tie since that trip we took down in uh, <laughs> South Carolina, uh, or it was down in uh, Florida? Florida, yeah, yeah, I think. Florida, I, yeah, South. 
Have you learned to, have you learned to tie a tie yet? No, yeah, so that's a problem. And <laughs> at that one place, not really a lot to just like use phone, you know, wherever too. Yeah, so the really nice course. I didn't want to in the moment to keep the phone just away. Just live. Mm -hmm. You know, right. Enjoy. you don't get to do yeah. that much anymore. So not even like a chance to just like let me YouTube the shit out of this thing real <laughs> yeah. quick. It, I was left for dead out there. I had no shot. That thing would have been a bow tie, as in like a bow <laughs> on a wrapper if I would have had a chance. Eli was a gentleman, absolute scholar, just like you. Archie seemed to have done a great job alongside Mama Manning. I appreciate you, ladies and gentlemen, Peyton Manning. Yay! Hey, that was cool, man. That was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I had no idea either. Really cool. That came out of nowhere. That was sick. Rupert, I was planning on having more hockey talk. I apologize for making you sit up here. Hey, fuck man. Balls. That's 100. That was cool, man. Yeah, there was hockey talk in there. He went to the ice game. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Can you can you imagine though walking through Disney World and seeing oh. a guy wearing a Peyton Manning jersey and then trying that that battle in your head? Like, no is way. this that? No, he wouldn't wear his jersey. Oh, Maybe another was, Mickey Mouse character. Yeah, yeah. Pittsburgh Elvis. <laughs> Maybe if it was Russ Wilson, like, Russ, yeah, uh, that could that'd be Russ wearing. I almost brought it up. <laughs> yeah. I almost brought it up. Mm -hmm. But then I started piecing it together. Well, he's in Denver right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's not put Peyton in a spot here. Probably smart. Talking about Russ, because as you just heard him say, he's not showing up at training camp in his jersey. No, no, it doesn't sound like. But it. Russell was ready for work, wasn't he? Yeah. Supporting the three, I guess. Hey, I, 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 I don't get it. I've never seen nobody else do it either. He was. Great football player, Peyton Manning? Great football player. The greatest. Just because he knew football inside out or what? Bro, you, you can never get a get a, a, a tell on him. He was switched to play so many times at the line of scrimmage. You know you off. He throw a quick hitch. You go up and press. He check into a fade. Um, he's in, in an all-out blitz. He check into a screen. He was one of the smartest uh, between he worked so hard. him and Brady. I think he was, this is just my opinion, of playing against the two. Um, he was way more smarter than Brady. Brady had a, a little tad be bit better arm. But oh, gotcha. the smartness, I don't think it's a, a smarter football player that's played the game than... The amount of work he put in to do that, though, yeah. it was just nonstop, full life. That's why whenever he retired, I think a lot of people kind of knew him and saw him behind the scenes, like, what is this yeah. guy going to do? Yeah. What mm -hmm. is what his whole life is like? Mm -hmm. We're watching film. We're getting better. We're working out. Right. We're texting questions. We're watching yeah. more film. We're finding this out. It's like, all right, got a commercial shoot when? Next Tuesday. Okay. I need this set up at the hotel. Yeah. I need this room set up here if we're going to do that. Like, it was full commitment all the time and you kind of heard him talk about that he wanted to be the teammate in the player that Vaughn was putting him up to yeah. but also he hears what everybody else is saying about him too so like that public pressure almost puts him in a position where he has to work harder yeah, yeah. It, like it, it makes him work harder because he's obsessing over little things it's like in you know this guy's not expecting this he's a great man Kirk Herbstreit right mm -hmm. the notes he takes on his board. Oh, it's unbelievable. Ridiculous. Still to this day, because he feel like he feels like he has to do it mm -hmm. to do a good job. He does not. The amount of work he puts in, he feels obligated to do that amount of work. That was what like Peyton what Peyton felt like, I am cheating everybody. If I'm not during the down period, special teams periods, if I'm not running sprints right here, they're paying me too much money or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like like everything was just like unbelievable. Me getting to watch him was a massive part of me becoming like the human I am, so I was very thankful he stopped by. Well, that was cool. Clyde Christensen has, you know, come on here and actually talked about it to you about, you know, him having to have his phone at two o'clock in the morning on because you never know if Peyton Manning is going to call him with one play that he just saw on film. Clyde Christensen, quarterback coach for the Indianapolis Colts for a long time, also went on to become quarterback coach for Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. He also had uh, Andrew Luck, obviously, with the Colts. Yeah. Do you have Big Ben? I think, no, that was mm, Bruce. That was Bruce Arians. Yep. He. Clyde was not supposed to be a coordinator. He is just quarterback coach, quarterback, actual guru, mm -hmm. like in the room with him. Mm -hmm. And he was like with Peyton, it was just like, I have to figure out the answers to these questions that are coming. And if I don't, there's going to be hell to pay. Like that is just, yeah. and the hell is just going to be more questions. Well, I need this. Mm -hmm. We need this. We need to figure out this. It was awesome to watch him work. That's why when he went to Colorado and they said, uh, Denver, when they, and they said, they, he, they gave him the keys to the building. It was like, yeah, you would kind of, <laughs> I think you kind of have, like, sense. that's the right move. Unless you hire the best humans at every role, like, it's going to be hard to find a better human for that role than fucking Peyton Manning. You got to remember, he's been in the NFL since he was. Forever. Like, yeah. This big. He's been, like, Roger Goodell's been in the NFL a long time. Like, yeah. Peyton has too. Like, yeah. Peyton has met everybody in the NFL, known everybody in the NFL for a long time, knows exactly what he should do. Great. Great leader for a team. Let's get to a break. Hour two will be on the other side. That was really cool. Uh, I survived another trip around the sun. Hell yeah. How about yeah. it? Let's Hell go. Yeah. Everybody's being far too kind. I appreciate you all so, so, so much.
This is going to become one of those times, though, where I've met so many incredibly cool people. Like, I don't want to spend, you know, when I go home with the wife, which mm -hmm. I can't wait to see her today. Mm -hmm. She loves these days. Hell yeah. That's why she's going to be such a good mom. Mm -hmm. Like, she really cares about, like, the little things. I've never been around anybody like that. So it is like, uh, it is such a cool thing, like how much, but I don't necessarily want to be texting every human. Mm -hmm. So I feel bad, like a terrible person. It's your birthday, yeah. dude. You, this do is not, just like, you do not have to do that on your birthday. This is just like back in the day when people would turn off, like. Just enjoy the text. Yeah, wait a day. look at it. Boom. Yeah. I, I, I think it. those are coming back tomorrow, tomorrow. maybe a couple yeah. days. Bingo. Uh, Sunday. Maybe a few days. Yeah. 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 Or you just in your notes section. Type up like, thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. Yeah. You copy that paste. and you just have it ready to go and just boom, paste. paste That's still going to be too many, man. Is that not worse, though, than. No. Yeah. No, because it's your birthday. I mean, what do you, you know, like that? That's so you used to have to turn off the Facebook wall back in the day. See, there you yeah, go. that's what, yeah, exactly. Don't, just, I, I thank you all. You just thank like you it. all so much. I'll like it, but it's like, hey, it's your birthday. I should, you should be celebrating yourself and doing what you want to do on your birthday. No, but I want the, I want those people to know I appreciate them, though. They know. They know. Yeah. They know. They know. They know. So many, so many people have that number anyway. No, that's not true. It's too yeah, many. Got to change the number. Yeah, so actually. many people have my number. A long time. <laughs> I've had this number a long time. A lot of really cool messages. And I start typing out like a response. Like, man, it's great to hear from you. I hope you're good. <laughs> and I look up. It's like, oh, it's been six minutes. Oh, show is in 15 minutes. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> and then uh, go run back down. Maybe take a pre-show grumpy. Sit down. Somebody. Oh man, great to hear from you. Hey, how are you? They hear Bruce four minutes. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, the show's about to start. Yeah. <laughs> you can really get trapped in there. Oh, yeah. But it is great to hear from everybody. For sure. So I would like to use this moment as like a, hey, thank you all so, so much. I love you. There you go. Maybe just retweet yeah. this clip like 10, 15 times yeah. today. Copy, yeah. copy, Paste. tweet link. Yeah, boom. Mm -hmm. There you go. Into the, yeah. hey, thank you all so much. Honestly, great to hear from you. You're fucking awesome. How you been? Hope you're good. <laughs> Hope we get to see each other again. Have some drinks. What? Enjoy life a little bit. You're very busy. We're all very busy. What? But we're all going to enjoy life together at some point, and I can't wait for that day. Speaking of, AJ Hawk joins us on the other side. Hell yeah. Two Ohio fucks on this particular program. Yep. Thought we were going to have more hockey talk, Rob. That's... I do apologize, Rob. Hey, there's no apologies. You just went over that. No apologies on your birthday, man. Amen. Dude, all right. Amen. We're good. Should we all do right. it again? He's right. Do not. Be a friend. Tell a friend Happy something nice. Birthday. Take five. Bye. What an honor, what a dream. Being a part of game day was a joke. Being on the field for this is a joke. We continue to live the dumbest life of all time. Hey, we're all in the game. We're not going to be alive. We're going to be alive. We're going to be in 2023. We are live. From an empty Mercedes-Benz Stadium. All the off-season workouts, all the sickness, all the puking, all the commitment, all the dedication. <laughs> we got four teams left, coach. What's the vibe of that locker room getting ready for this game? We're going to swing as hard as we can in this game, and CJ's our leader, and he's going to lead the way. Hell yeah. Yeah, oh. we're going to try to make the most dumb television on earth this evening live sure. from this field right here in Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Darius Butler, yes, nine-year NFL vet, played at UConn. That team stinks, but they're coming oh, back. Okay. Stanford Stadium. Right, right. here. And this man right here wearing a wolf t-shirt underneath a sport coat. Mm -hmm. He works for me full time. But what are you excited about this evening, Connor? I mean, pal, like you said, I have the IQ of a goldfish, so I'm not really taking all this in strictly because there's so much. The moment is huge. You know where you make your money, and this, and this cottage level is the red area. Georgia number one. 120 is where Ohio State is ranked, which is nuts. Max Duggan is a dog. Let Duggan cook. Right, Connor, good job, you guys. Yes. Kirk, we say dumb stuff on the internet you guys. every day. You guys. Yeah, out there, Coach. What? 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 In the boots. In the Come on, you're on ESPN. How about it? How about it? Didn't say fuck, didn't say shit. <laughs> I was close, but I didn't do it. That's a win. That's Let's a go. win. Right? Oh, that's that's electric. Look at this, Look at this. Hey, coach, I don't know if you headbutted one of your guys or not, but hey, cut yourself, you are awesome. I got, I got a six year old son, man. I mean, it's a. They're going to have to rely upon those. Dogs. Dogs. Kate Starr was a tight end for Ohio State. Yeah. Number eight. He's like fourth generation farmer. Sponsored by John Deere. Yeah. Okay, and they don't just put that deer on anybody. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Oh, 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 yeah. 
There's going to be billionaires barking. Okay, there's going to be billionaires barking. Grown folks in khakis barking in unison. Wow. wow. So much that's got to become a thing next year. <laughs> no, I'm serious. This is supposed to go. I can't do that. <laughs> bro, 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 Yeah, that was great. Yeah. <laughs> you alright? You alright? You alright? Yeah, help him up. Help him up. Spill anything? Nope. You spilled your phone. Could have been worse. Could have been much worse. The college football playoffs are about to kick off in Phoenix, Arizona. Oh. My name is uh, Peyton Manning. That's an Ohio fucking wet dream, not just a dream, dude. Did you see AQ Shipley stacked on top of Q, on top of Cole? I feel a shot coming. Sorry, Taylor. Oh, I told oh, you. Foot, 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 fake punt in the fourth quarter is being described by a lot of people as maybe the greatest timeout in the history of college football. You know, we've had two punts faked on us this year. We are very aware and know that people are going to try to steal possessions. Connor, what quarter is it? I believe, Pat, if I check my left hand, it is the fourth quarter. Snap down, hold, the kick is... Looks good. Get it, catch oh, it. Oh. Well, I, I would be remiss <laughs> if I didn't acknowledge your great catch under the goalpost. I want you to know when I yes. saw you make that, yes. I, thought, I thought for a second, is he going to return it? I had envisions of kick six when you <laughs> caught that ball, so don't do that to us uh, anymore. But. Show. Yes, 
every day. It is somehow this time. Wow, what a game. Let's put on a drink. It was a good time, man. From all of us to all of you, Happy New Year. Enjoy the hell out of your evening. Hey. Why? Let's go. This show fucking stinks. And the fact that you listen, we are very, very thankful for it. AJ, you never cease to amaze me with your toxicity, pal. You got a couple of these? God damn it! <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Fuck, fuck, and cut. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to our humble abode, the Thunderdome. On this people are being way too kind to me, May 2nd, Tuesday. Hour two starts right now. Happy, Happy birthday! Yeah, yeah, we're not doing that all three hours. It's all right. We've, we've never, never, we've never oh, made it. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, boys. Oh, we just have making a switch. The Toxic Table is here. I do appreciate your kindness. Everybody's being far too kind. The Toxic Table is always too hilarious and kind to me. Mm. At Boston Connor and at Ty Schmidt. I appreciate you fixing your collar. Oh, well, you know that. Well, yeah, I uh, I don't appreciate you guys not telling me I look like a dipshit for half. I had no idea what it was. I I know I didn't know what you were doing. You're a man of great style. style. Thank you very much. I appreciate that clip, Taste. that Bill. Okay, I didn't know if you were going to go on with yeah. I accidentally had it folded up underneath. It should be incredibly uncomfortable. It was. probably noticed that. I didn't notice it, and then I was like, "What the fuck is going on with the back of my?" I head? thought you were doing some chops. You look properly jocked. Uh, I'm trying to probably do chops and look jocked and not look like crop, but it's <laughs> it's harder than it sounds. Okay, well you're looking great. Dude. Hey, you pulled it off. <laughs> hey, thank thank you guys. If I there's ever it. if there ever comes a time where that is in, just tucking your things down. Yeah, yeah. you're yeah. gonna pull it off. So good. And I won't even know it. Ty Schmidt, the uh, Las Vegas Golden Knights are doing their thing, huh? Yes, they are. Tomorrow night, baby. What do we got? What do we got? We got the fucking Edmonton Oilers. So, ooh. you know, make, good luck. make Jesus big. Oh, boo-hoo. Make Jesus. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. We're not scared. We, we got Jackie it. Aces. Got fucking Jackie Aces and Stoner scored three points in his last game against, uh, you know, fucking Winnipeg. So, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, me too. Because yeah. I picked up the Las Vegas Golden Knights as a team for the playoffs because yeah. the Pens didn't make the playoffs for the first time in 16 years. Other notable teams that are no longer in the playoffs. Playoffs, the Boston Bruins. Oh! Uh, one half of the hammer, the Cowboys Town Diggs is here. The 14-year NFL icon and rapper Pac-Man Jones is here. Yeah, Appreciate man. you, Pac-Man. You look great. Uh, and joining us live from an attic in Ohio is a college football national champion, a Super Bowl champion. What? He's not a Ryder Cup champion. Mm. We will be talking about the President's Cup here in a mere few moments. Nice. Hey. He is the champion of Ohio, though. Yep. Ohio's finest. Father of 10, COVID survivor, all-time leading tackler for the Green Bay Packers, A.J. Hawk. Oh. A.J., how you doing, pal? Great, man. Happy birthday. Let me get out of the way so you don't get pissed. So, yes, absolutely happy birthday. You deserve it. Thank deserve you. All deserve all the warm wishes and all the nice notes you've been giving. Should we sing with AJ? Thank no, yes. we are Let's not saying AJ. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody yeah. on, we have somebody on with us. We have somebody, we have somebody on with us. We cannot do this to the person that's <laughs> waiting. The rubber. I do appreciate Ruppers in the back. I believe there's another surprise they're coming this hour. Really? Is what I've been told. Wayno? Potentially in the hockey world is what Whoa. I was told. Wayno? Wayno? I don't the know if Wayno is going to be here, boys. Wayno's I, I, I don't know. Fucking Sid's coming? I don't know. Oh. Maybe Mario. Anyways, Rupper is here. Everybody's here. Everybody's being too kind. You are uh, always too awesome. We appreciate you. Thank you for the kind words. Um, I thought... You know, just because I did not know Peyton was going to be on the other side there in the first hour. Mm -hmm. Actual surprise. Planned by Phil and boys putting show together. Appreciate everybody for everything right now, including this sweet new fat scooter. Hell yeah. That thing is a golf cart on two wheels. Goes up to 28 miles an hour. Put the bag in the back. Sit on the incredible, comfortable hammock seat style. Mm -hmm. And go 28 miles an hour around the course with a cooler, with a divot thing uh, uh, on Replacer. the other side. Speaker. It, speaker. On, this thing is awesome. I don't know how many courses are going to allow me to uh, have this, but I'm pulling up with a trailer, not just a golf bag. Uh -huh. okay. That's right. This thing is going to be making rounds on some courses this particular golf season, and I'm very thankful for everybody being far too nice. That is awesome. Joining us now is a man who uh, very recently, news broke. I think today. We're not 100% sure when, but we think today that he is the brand new Copton of the 2024 President's Cup team. Hell yeah. He's a legend. U.S. Open champion. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Furyk. Yeah! How are you, pal? I'm doing great. How you doing? Okay, you're obviously a man that knows your way around a golf course. How many courses am I allowed to just show up with that thing and actually get it onto the course? This is a gift from the boys, and it might just have to be a little round the house, front yard, backyard type thing, or will this work if I go to a golf course? 
You got a good. I, you got me on that one. I, I'm I'm guessing they're gonna make you sign a waiver just so you know. Like, oh, uh, fair like enough. You crash, hurt yourself. It, you know, it's not gonna be on them. So you're saying I show up with this with a waiver. I won't it sue. Might, maybe that would help. And then boom, we pass it over. <laughs> We're out. Done good. deal. Okay, Jim. Thank you good for out. that. Also, congratulations, Zoo Captain of the President Show. Yeah. Big deal. Thank it's you. a big deal. Congratulations, Western. I feel like I should be like rolling up my sleeves or something here. You know, like uh, you don't see a golfer's arm. But. Oh, the golf tan. Hi -o. I had a, <laughs> I actually get a tank top tan when I'm out and about, Jim. It's a little awkward, a little uncomfortable, but you know, I wish I could get a golf tan, but I'm just not good enough at the sport. You are though, and we got a team of twelve. Let's learn about the President's Cup a little bit. I think we all know about the Ryder Cup immensely oh, yeah. because it is America versus Europe. The President's Cup is the United States versus every other continent. I guess, is that kind of... Every other country outside of Europe, absolutely. We take on the rest of the world. Okay, how many teams in total, and how long has this been happening? And we're winning it, obviously. We're winning? This is going to be, I think, the 15th playing, and uh, or close to it, and the U.S. has had a pretty good lead. I think we're like 13-1-1 one, and one, or 12-1-1. One, and one. Welcome oh. to the Thunderdome, world! <laughs> Welcome to the Thunderdome! Suck it. I like that. Okay, how is how is it play with, like, who are some of the golfers that we're going to have? Obviously, Jordan Spieth is going to be on the squad. The boys, do we have a, is it a one of those events where we're, all the stars yeah, are we're, out? We're, yes, absolutely. We're still 15 months out, so the team won't kind of round into shape until about next summer. You'll start to get a good feel for who the team is. I get to put some guys on the team as a captain's pick, uh, which is fun, but also extremely stressful. Uh, and yes, you're going to have the uh, the 12 best American players uh, on the PGA Tour in this event next year. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I, I get the honor of actually captaining the best players, which is a lot of fun. Hell yeah. You get two best friends and everybody else hates you. Boom. <laughs> uh, that's good. Go ahead, AJ. Sorry about it. Jim, you mentioned that. So you get two captain's picks. How does that process work here for the next 15 months? You're, you're, are you used to like having guys reach out to you a little more than they might? And, and who, uh, I guess, is it just your discretion, whoever you think deserves to be on the team? Meals, why? Yeah, I think you look at it from a lot, a lot of different ways. Uh, who's in great form presently? Uh, you look at the golf course and how it'll be set up. You know, horses for courses, trying to pick guys that'll play well. Of course. Uh, there, there's a number of, you know, you look at your pairings, you know, is there someone here that I need a good partner for that, you know, this guy's going to be perfect. Uh, and we haven't really quite decided the, the format yet. It'll be more than two picks. I'll get at least four, most likely of the 12 will be captain's picks. So oh. uh, this year at the Ryder Cup, Zach Johnson's got six at six qualify, six captain's picks. So really it's, uh, you kind of round it all out. Um, I don't know if you're an unpopular person, but it definitely is a little stressful because you affect uh, at least a third of the team. Do you cut promos here night before the uh, matches, morning of? Uh, what all is the role of the captain? Are you, are we saying, hey, listen, boys, we need to make good wood today. Mm -hmm. All right, we need to find <laughs> our greens today. Wind is howling. Okay, let's play conservative. Let's play smart. We got to lead. Do you have those types of roles, or are you just along for the ride when you get to Montreal after piecing the team together? Once you get to Montreal, really, it's, you know, it, it really, I'll, I'll be up there. I'll look at the golf course. Uh, I'll get an idea for setup. But once the team rounds out, it's really putting pairings together. Um, when you're looking at captain's picks, you're, you're kind of, you're relying on the guys that have already qualified for your team. Hey, you're out there every week. Which guys do you want to see? Which guys do you trust? Who do you want on your team yeah. uh, to round it out? I ask uh, a lot of opinions from the assistant captains. And, uh, but more than anything, one of the cool things about the President's Cup that you don't see in the Ryder Cup is you get the matchup pairings. So the other captain's going to be Mike Weir. Maybe the first day Mike starts out, hey, I'm going to put out this guy in the first spot. I get the match. Okay, well, I'm going to match that with Jordan Speed. Oh, what's the plan? Will you, you go good versus good there, or will you? Uh, what would your plan and then, be? And then I'll put number two down, and Mike gets to match it. So as players, we were always looking at, all right, who had first pick? And you were trying to see, all right, did my captain match me up against him or – Oh, wow, that other captain thinks that guy can beat me? Like, everyone's got a little chip on their shoulder and, and uh, on the pairing. So that's kind of a cool thing about the President's Cup. Okay, so I think we just heard your strategy there. We're going best versus best, second best versus second best, third best uh, versus third best. Is it – what is – I like that, by the way. How, oh, yeah. how you, mm -hmm. That's good for TV, too. It's a. It actually, we do the pairings live on TV. Every, after every you know, golf channel have it, you, after the matches – end in the evening you go back into the room you get there and you start you go back and forth pairings it happens really fast but uh it's it's, it's a cool process and 
I think it's one of the, the things about the President's Cup that really separates it from other events. It's up in Montreal in 2024. Mm -hmm. We can't wait to see the United States team kind of do their thing. When you're talking about building the team, I believe the elephant that is in the golf course that could not fit on my new mm -hmm. golf scooter. No, guys. it couldn't. No. Thank you, guys. Could carry it, though. Thank you, guys. Maybe. You bet. The elephant in the golf uh, community is obviously Live Golf. Is that involved right. in the President's Cup, or is this just a PGA event? So this, well, this event's run by the, the PGA Tour. Okay. Uh, and so both teams, international team and the U.S. team, if you're not qualified to play on the PGA Tour, you won't be qualified to play mm -hmm. in the President's Cup. So okay, hey, uh, that's probably going to eliminate uh, your questioning there. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying is, like, I think that's good business by the PGA, by the way. If this is a good idea marketing-wise, it is. 15 years they've been doing it it's successful. That's bringing more money for the players, which we all want, right, Jim? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm a player. Absolutely. How's that, how's that whole thing working out though? I think it has become like over the last year or so, these, what are they heightened events or yeah, elevated, elevated, events, elevated yeah. events or whatever. Designated. Designated, designated, designated event. But as a watcher, as a person that like on a Sunday or Saturday when I'm at home and I'm turning on, like, I like the thought that I'm going to see the guys golfing on those things. These designated events with more money and everything like this is all good. Golf is in a great spot. It feels like Jim. I agree with you. I agree with you. I think, uh, you know, competition's always good, right? So, uh, you know, the Live Tour came out. They paid a bunch – they paid a few players to go, you know, a bunch of money to go. And the Tour, uh, you know, they, they elevated their game as well. And so uh, the money that these young players are playing for is amazing. And uh, and I think as a fan, you want to see the best players playing against, against each other as, as often as possible. So the designated events allow uh, the, the best players on the PGA Tour to play against each other more often. And – for more money and uh you know if if you're not yet qualified for the designated events you have that opportunity to uh it's a, it's a big motivator you know uh, you have the ability to play well during the year and, and hopefully elevate your status and get in those events it's good business by the pga i yeah, appreciate he's... it because it's good business it just seems like a good idea and the fans will benefit from it so i love it let's talk about your game a little bit jim tiger all right yeah jim this isn't exactly a president uh question about the president's cup but i've i've got to ask since we got you here i absolutely love watching you swing a golf club um did you ever have like a swing coach growing up yeah. or like how, how did you kind of come about like, cause you know, cause obviously out of the park. Yeah. Your, your swing is so much different than most guys you see on tour. My, my father was a golf pro and a teaching pro. And so he's, uh, he's still uh, to this day, he's my, uh, he's my teacher. And so uh, my dad realized early on, I'm not very mechanically inclined. Like I can't fix a damn thing around the house. Uh, just not the way my brain functions. Uh, I play golf by feel and, and trying to see shots. And dad realized that early, so he didn't try to really change my swing. It was just naturally very upright uh, and rerouted on the way down. And he didn't want to change it, but we tried to refine it, tried to perfect it. Uh, we really worked on my fundamentals. And uh, I was lucky, I think, to have a teacher that recognized that about me. I, I think a bad teacher is one that takes every pupil and tries to make them swing the same way. Amen. Preach. A good yeah. teacher, Preach. A good teacher realizes – your natural talents and tries to make those better. Go ahead, AJ. Do you have any cool uh, or unique uh, team building activities you're thinking of uh, implementing? I know you guys are always big on ping pong and everything in the team room with Ryder Cups and President's Cups. And do you have anything unique you think you're going to bring to kind of bring the guys together? Uh, you know what? I just found out I was going to be captain, so those will be coming up in the future. But, uh, <laughs> oh, it's just you know, a brainstorm. I'll, I'll bend it's just a brainstorm. We got, we got some ball. ideas. We got yeah. some ideas. I'll bend your ear. What, did, what did the Packers do to, uh, to team bond? There we go. Man, uh, play paintball. That's the whole situation nice. NFL teams do. Skeet shoot a little bit. You should do some trust falls, ropes courses. I don't know. Yeah. Underwater situation somewhere. Do something <laughs> scuba it. dive with them. Love it. Adversity. Maybe go to Japan together because they don't speak any yeah. of our language. So I did a USO <laughs> tour with like six do, do guys you? on a team. It was great. We became yeah. – oh, you're literally all you got. Mm -hmm. You got no other language. You can't even read the signs to know where the fuck you'd go. Like <laughs> you are all you got. So you got to be around each other. And you, you, you show up in some situations where it's like, hey, train's leaving in five, okay? <laughs> and we are nowhere near train. And we might be stuck here overnight. This train done. And you got to really battle through some adversity. Easiest way, if you want to, Jim, I think we all, it's all kind of sitting here, we don't say it. Yeah. Need to get the boys hammered together, right? You know yeah. what we need to do? <laughs> need to get an open bar. Work. Get, get That'll the, work. Get the families that'll in do. there. Yep. Kind of learn a little bit more about each other. A little music. Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be yeah. the camaraderie you need. Perfect. Why not? The Jim, unique, thing, unique thing for us is our team doesn't really round out. We don't have all 12 players qualified for the team until about three weeks before the event. So oh, it's, a quick, uh, it's a quick deal to 
try to get everyone together, maybe go, you know, hopefully go up, play some practice rounds uh, beforehand, kind of get the guys together, have some fun, some team building. But, uh, you know, these guys know each other pretty well to start with. Talk. Uh, Could you imagine Spartans. Hootie, though, playing? That'd be oh, pretty cool. Hootie playing. Well, uh, oh, what time. a time. Yeah. What a time that would be. Three weeks, tough to put the whole group together. United States, though, taking on the world. Let's win that. Yeah. Let's go. yeah. Hey, Love it. Let's win that. We appreciate you so much. Good luck out there, pal. Thanks for having me, guys. Appreciate it. Hey, uh, Tone wanted to ask about Tiger. Why well, is that? If he's healthy, is he always considered a potential uh, captain's pick? We have to ask that. Mm -hmm. That's a great question, Tone. I'm still on. We're still asking this question. No, ladies and gentlemen, Jim. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is that all? What happened? Oh, oh is that all? Is that a no? Yeah. Like, yeah, I sent him on the way out there. That's on me. Well, Tiger's usually like a, doesn't he always he was, like, he's like an assistant captain a lot for these he things? He was at the last Ryder Cup because I don't think he was healthy enough to play. It's like, is I don't he gonna think be people are expecting Tiger to make the President's Cup, are they? I, I, that's he's what I'm just saying. Doing that's 24, that's what I'm saying. Captain's pick. Yeah, he'd have to be a captain's pick, like, unless he won, like, you know, the U.S. Open. Yeah, he's not or making it on. Is he there. still going to do it? Is he? He's okay. not even playing. He says he's only going to play a certain amount of events a year. Like, he can't make it. Dave. Yeah, well, watching him at the Masters. Yeah, but he loves playing for his country. Yeah, I, I, but he does. He got Tiger. So do I. I'm yeah. not going to make the mm -hmm. team. Yeah, but we yeah, got but Tiger. Like, we got um, – he's – Just yeah. having him there. Captain's picks, you don't have to make the team. They pick you to be on the team no matter yeah. how you Do play. all of them have to play, or can you, like, ride the bench out there? No, you they could be, like, to, an assistant and, captain. So, like, in the, and I know in the rider, I'm sure – I'm pretty sure it's the same in the President's Cup on – first couple of days when you play as pairs you don't have to like some people go out in the morning and the afternoon or some people just go out in the morning but on the last day when it's singles yeah, yeah everyone plays yeah we do apologize did not do enough research on the president's cup no like, yeah rider's the big one i didn't realize what it was felt yeah. like we learned a lot we were very confused definitely but hey big deal 15 years let's yeah, go yeah we're 13 one and one huh gonna be an That's awesome event should maybe be called the united states president's cup that's a good country. idea you know what i mean yeah well all the other well, those countries. other countries like they don't have presidents. They got prime ministers. They Certain got, you know. Chancellors. Yeah, exactly. Did we create this? Sounds like it if the PGA is running it. Huh. You suck it, world. Who the hell did we lose to? That's a great question. Yeah, that's the world. Yeah, it was but, here at the, it was at the, at Muirfield, close to, you know, where the memorial is. I don't know how many years ago, but not too long ago. Did you go? No, but I heard it's kind of weird because there's, it's 12 on 12. They're like, the course is, there's not a whole lot of guys playing golf on the course. So they said it's, it's cool, I guess, but it's just. There's not a lot of golf being played compared to a normal tournament. Oh, they have to love that. That's probably a good thing to go to, actually. Yeah, yeah but you're good telling to see a lot me of stuff. we lost the President's Cup trophy in Ohio. Are you shitting me? That's where we lost? Did we lose? I don't know. I, I, I have no idea. Oh, I thought that's where you were saying go. Oh, I did you, you go? Support America? Was. Citizen? <laughs> I did not go, no. Wow. Sorry. Mm. That's why you didn't win face of Ohio that year. Yeah, I guess so. You're I right, can't man. believe you still won, actually. True. I'm kidding. Without going and showing support for the United States. This is, we only we don't get this opportunity a lot. We don't ever. Where in sports we're allowed to say, our country's better than yours is. Yeah, mm -hmm. I enjoy it a yeah. lot better too. Boom, thirteen one and one. Those are a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah, killing them. Especially whenever you got friends in in Canada. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. Around the world. Yeah, it's like hey. Wait, so sorry about Ryder it. Cup. What's that, pal? Ryder Cup. Who who are we playing against in Ryder Cup? Europe. The president. Europe. 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 Okay. Right. So it's United States and Europe at the Ryder Cup, and then the President's Cup. Is United States and everybody else but Europe. Yep. And they're every other year. Oh. So, like, Ryder Cup this year, President's Cup next year. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah like, let's go. Like, Jason Day. Jason Day can't play for the Ryder Cup because he's not an American citizen, technically, or he wasn't born here. He's Australian. So, he has to play President's Cup. Correct. Boom. Yeah. Got it. How do we tie one of the cups? Huh? For 13 1 and 1, how do we tie? They don't have a winner. So it, I believe, like, well, now I'm, going, ba a storm I'm going based off a of Ryder Cup again. If you have the Ryder Cup, like if you are the team that has the cup going into the next one, you have to beat. So like it'd be like 14 and a half to 12 and a half. And if it's like 14 to 13, you still retain the cup, like, or you tie type situation. You have to beat them by more points than to take the cup. You got to beat them by more points. You got to earn it. So, yeah. You got to earn it. So basically, I beat them by more points than they beat you by the last year. No, but it's hard. To <laughs> it's just confusing. I don't think I fully understand it, but I know it's us versus the world, and we're going to win. Sorry yeah. about it. Again. Yeah. He had a cool right. hat, yeah. too. Four, 14 times in 16 attempts after this one's over in 2024. Yep. It's how many? He said 15 months out. What did he say? How many months did he say? Yeah. yeah next summer. Summer. next summer, we're going to find August, out. August. Happy we had this announcement. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big deal. It's a <laughs> big deal. Thank you. <laughs> the boys are buzzing about it. <laughs> That is kind of crazy, though, because, like, there could be a guy who wins, like, I don't know, 
four events this year and then just plays like complete hammer dog shit next year. Not even on team. It doesn't make the team. Like yeah. John Rom right now. Yeah. Could somehow no he'll be nah, on the team. Well, he's, he's on the other. Oh team. no, he's not. He's, on, he's not even in this. He's, oh, yeah. the European he's in the Ryder Cup. Cup. Shit. Yeah. yeah. Fina just won one. Yep. Yeah. He'll be on. He Fina will be on. He was on the last Presidents Cup team. Yeah. Finau's a dog, dude. Mm-hmm. Beast. I'm a big fan of old Fina. Yeah. Is he gonna be on the Ryder Cup team? I, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, he's he's on the last one. one. He just won in a uh, tournament with no fans. They played a COVID tournament in Mexico this yeah. weekend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was there was nobody there. Mm-hmm. Why was no one there? What happened? I have no idea, dude. I, Is that I've a never new tournament? Seen, have we seen that? I don't I don't know if I've ever seen that before for a PGA event. It, Sunday, nothing. That was a John nap. John Rahm is there. John Rahm's number one player in the world, isn't he? 100% yeah. nap, that one. Oh, yeah. There Tony, was no shot. What Tony happened? would not be on the team right now if we, as we're speaking. Tony Fino? No, it's Sky Scheffler, Homa, Spieth, Cantlay, Morikawa. Cantlay? Based on points so far this year. But we, got uh, a whole yeah, year. we got a whole year. I'm being told months. right now we have a uh, hockey guest that has shown up. Ooh. Who's got the dangles? Is I'm very it? excited for this. I'm very pumped for this. It, it. Lights are done. Okay. Zito just took the lights down. CFO Phil's got his phone out in the back. Is it pasta? Bill's pacing pretty quickly. We, we took the lights oh, my oh, God. Lord O! Oh, my God. Holy Lord O's God. here. Uh-oh. Fucking Lord O! Wow. And Mike. And, and Mike. Mike. <laughs> Good hair, Mike. And what up, dude? Oh. Keep putting. No way. Fucking love when. How's it feel to be back in your hands, pal? Beautiful. Yeah. Been too long. Been too long. Hey. Nice. Can you booze out of it? Wow. Okay. Can you booze out? Did you hear AJ? He said, can you booze out of it, rapper? I'll get the mic. Uh, yes, can you hear me or no? Yeah. Yeah, you can. All right. So I just learned that since I'm here and won the cup, that I can hold it and you could drink out of it. Would you like to? Hell yeah! Oh, yeah. Drink out of yeah. it. What? Yes. Like yeah. yeah, we like yeah. to do that. All right, yeah. let's do it. Yeah. Like do that. Let's Holy go! Please, oh. Happy birthday to me, dude. So happy, happy birthday, happy birthday to you guys too. Happy birthday to everybody right here. So wow. since you want it, you you're allowed to pour it in, pour it in people's mouths. Are we boozing in this thing? Yeah, I put in tequila. Nah, what? give me a Jack and Coke. What? Yeah. Jack and Diet. Put a whole bottle of booze in there. Right, pouring or is he yeah. scooping? He's, I think he's, he's pouring. He's pouring. Oh, nice. It's concoction. All right, so how's this? Uh, it's going to be a bit of a mess, huh? We're going to have a little bit of a... Foamy, little foamy. Remember, when, Pat, little... remember when Bobby was slurping it like a dog? You could do that. Yeah, you think maybe I get a spoon, too? Maybe I eat this out of This is sweet. Home. Hey, thank sweet. you for the Lordo, pal. Where's the camera, we're going to get this on the right shot. Right? I think right yonder. Right here's yeah, right, there. right yonder. All right. Hey, hell yeah. Hey, this is uh, incredible. Far too kind. Stand the cup champion rubber here. Yeah. Come on. Huh? Tipping up a Lordo stand here. Drink right. it in, my friend. Come on. Right. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Wow. <laughs> what? 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 Sweet oh, neck yeah. from Lordo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Goes down yeah. smooth. Let's go. That was ice cold. That was awesome. <laughs> you only get it once. You only get it once. That was you awesome. We, we have to do that. That was unbelievable. Damn, Jack and Phil's clean there. Hey, thank you for the Lord. <laughs> Blood, sweat, and tears. That's you know it's clean. clean. Mike's handling it. Hey, man. Me, Sid, you know, all the boys. <laughs> no big uh-huh. deal. This is what we do, you know? Birthday, just chug beers out of Lorda. You know what I mean? Just all of us hockey aficionados. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All of us hockey historians. Sure. Right. Just... Chug some beers out of Lord I want to right. say birthday. This is awesome. Thank you, Mike. Hell yeah. And I believe that's the, uh, is that another one? That's another that's, handler? That's the handler of Mike. And Mike's the handler. That's Mike's Mike handler. handler. Yeah. Okay. Hey, okay, shout out to Mike. Matt and Mike. Matt and Mike. Matt, Matt Mike. is the other handler yeah. of the Lordo, I believe, right? We well, just has never come to our particular places. Right. No, never. But they're, they're a tag team, I do believe. Yeah. Oh shit! He was here. Everybody's saying, "Jeez, so we." Matt was. Happy birthday, Matt! <laughs> Happy birthday, Matt! <laughs> Mike, Mike, was was Mike was on the show. Mike was Mike in the was show. Yeah, yeah. Mike was in too. Matt didn't say a word. That's why. No, Matt was good guy. I remember great Matt. Guy. Matt was great good guy. guy. Is that the wrong? AJ ain't that right? AJ. Great guy. Unbelievable guy. Are you kidding me? Was he there when you drank out of it last summer? Uh, I was. I'll let him answer that one. <laughs> <laughs> What's oh, that mean? He was Matt. You guys. Like, Big Mike was there. Hey, when AJ was Matt. chugging the beers out of there? No, Matt was not. Matt either. was not. You were there? Yeah. I was the how about how nice his house is, dude? Yeah, that's nice. yeah he did. <laughs> yeah, five overall, bro. Jack, right next door to each other. 
Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, they got a whole compound. And Waxy, don't forget Waxy. Yeah, yeah Uncle Waxy, <laughs> Uncle Waxy across the street. <laughs> See his name on every sign out there. That's right. Hey, thank you, boys. Thank you for the Lorda. Thank you, Lorda. All right, let's take a break. I think we should uh, maybe answer some phone calls on the other side. One eight three three four three two three six six three or one eight three three four. Dado. 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 We got to get you guys some beers. This is fucked okay. up. Yeah. This is fucked up that you did this to Connor the day after. Well, Boston Bruins put together the greatest mm -hmm. regular season in hockey history. Congrats. Yes, we did. Congrats. They were hoping Thanks, AJ. to hold one of these. Mm -hmm. But instead, they got the President's Cup trophy that people drink out of nobody cares. Yeah. Plus, it was two days <laughs> after. You drink out of this one, though. Everybody cares. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. That's yeah. right. Two days, not one day after. Pens weren't in it either, okay? We're dead. Yeah, exactly. Hey. I thought there was a chance when I heard Hockey Surprise with Peyton Manning showing up. Mm-hmm. Like, Lordo, obviously. <laughs> I mean, yeah. can't top it. No. Yeah. And plus, who would I be if I didn't want to see Lordo here? I wouldn't be a hockey fan. True. I'd just be a big, fat prick. <laughs> You're not fat, dude. Come on, dude. No, no. If if that were the case, I would be a big, fat, some people would say cunt. I wouldn't. <laughs> but There's no reason to say it with Lordo here. I, I would, in the presence I of Lordo. I, in England, that's what they Yeah, would and say. Australia and everything. Yeah, right. You're talking about in England. I wouldn't say it, though. What's happening? Another Lorda? The unification. Yes. Oh, oh yes. yeah. The You're the father. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you are the father. Okay, Lorda. That was child support. It's your baby Lord out here. Got your number. Yep, that'll stay. <laughs> well. This is smart. All right, let's get to a break. Let's get some beers out of Lorda for the boys. What? And then let's return to uh, people being way too nice to me. Hopefully, not that much more of this, but it is a good time. A lot happening in the sports world. Hey, mm -hmm. fifth-year option, the NFL deadline, 4 p.m. NFL executives get a little perturbed about the conversations happening uh, around the draft. Uh, that's right. We'll talk about that and more on the other side. Uh, this is the Pat McAfee Show on Tuesday, May 2nd, 2023. Yeah. This is the coolest day uh, in a long time, and that's Baby Wardo, and that's the OG. Hell yeah. Oh, gee. I just drank beer. What? Right. Right. Right here. What? Right. Me, Jack Johnson. What? Sidney Crosby. What? Gino. Moose. What? Ovi. Mac. Mario. Me, all the boys. Joe Sakic. Mm -hmm. Boom. Francis. Zidane O'Chara. Sergey Fedorov. Barrasso. Heiserman. I mean, we're talking the people that have put their suck holes on the top of this thing. Hey, Jay. Mike Rupp. Ooh. And I just yep. got to do it. Fuck and you Mike got Rupp. Rupper got the, Rupper was the one assisting you. That's another. That's another. Check that off the list. Yeah, just a man who would absolutely dummy you. Yeah, if he had to. W oh, stupid. So stupid, apple. Bit, bro. Hell of an apple there from Make you look like crop. Thank you for this, Rupper. That was cool, <laughs> thank, man. Thank those guys. That's going into the Twitter bio, probably. Hundred percent. Drank out of house beer. Out of Lordo. Yeah. Uh, that was more than one beer, bud. Oh, yeah. Didn't yeah, spill any of it beers. either. Not a drop on the floor, not a drop on you. That was impressive. Hell, yeah. We had good teamwork. Still got though. it, man. You still got it. Come on. Let's go. 36. That's right. 36. 36. 36. All right. We'll answer some phone calls. We'll talk about some more shit on the other side. Enjoy some more Lordo beers. And right. uh, you all are the coolest people on earth. Take five. Bye. Bye. Well, nonetheless, as of February 1st, uh, Pat McAfee is officially a contributor with WWE. Hey! I want to see Pat McAfee tonight. I've been preparing for this my entire life. It's time to toast the boys and toast the brand. McAfee's wanted to drink beer with Stone Cold forever. Stutter! Stutter! There's a point in my life, all I could think about doing was professional wrestling. McAfee closing in on another WrestleMania victory. Oh! First, we're going to have to get the OKs, obviously. And we did from people high up. They were the only people that knew for a while. There was like three people that knew in the whole world that that was going to potentially be a situation for a little bit. The city of stars, Boston Connors here. We will be there tonight. Nobody's supposed to know we're here. It's going to be tough. And if you're a man that's only known for wearing tank tops, you kind of got to cover it up. Are you ready to march here? No. I didn't see you. Hey, I'm Pat. Nice to meet you.
Yes, sir. Just hanging in the back. One second, one second, one second. Here you go. I put this on my face. I couldn't see shit. Who's on the game here? Nobody. This is you until you go out. Come on, dude. Let's go ahead and take a look around. There's some bunk beds there. You know, there's a shitter and a shower here in the back. He sat in that bus six, seven, eight hours, oh, nine, yeah. ten hours. I'm turning down that thing. Holy fuck, what a view that's gonna be. Hell yeah. Look at all these fucking people are gonna be there. Just waiting, you know, for an opportunity to potentially have a WrestleMania moment. It's ridiculous. This is awesome. WWE is just like the best at operating. They take care of the non-obvious. So we're very thankful to be here. And tonight should be broken. Hell yeah. I think there's like three people in out here. Are we not supposed to come in here? No. Yeah. All right. Four now. Four Look now. at you. Yeah. Fucking say a word. I'll see you at uh, SoFi. You're going to be in LA? I don't know. George is, uh, you know. It's maybe, a loaded question. George, we don't know, George. You don't know. Maybe. Okay. What's up, son? Oh, nice. <laughs> As soon as I saw George showcase that yeah. tight end university tank top, I knew there was a chance old George about to do something special. Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me, boys? Welcome to WrestleMania! You know, the night was getting late. We weren't sure. Yeah, we, we didn't know if a moment was going to pop up where maybe my services could be utilized. I haven't been in a ring since SummerSlam. Okay, like not even in one. All I wanted was the biz to have an opportunity to have a match. Just a oh, WrestleMania so. match. Yeah, yeah good guy. Stand there. And then the Miz mentions, I sent out an open challenge, and we go, Oh my God. There it is. And I put out an open challenge, and no one responded. Why? Because I'm the Miz, and I'm awesome! Hey. Let's go! I have walked out into a stadium as a WWE superstar probably a million times in my head. WrestleMania was missing from the back of me in the front back of me show. And I'm thankful to the WWE Universe that said hello whenever I came out on that massive fucking stage. By the way, there's only two announcers undefeated in WrestleMania history, me and Pat. You're a legend, dog. You're the oh, best, dog. Hello, Miz. None of us saw this alleged open challenge that you said. But good news. This is my WrestleMania tank top. If you still would like a match, why don't you let me beat your ass right here, right now? You all want to see the Miz versus Pat McAfee right here, right now! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! I'm the host of WrestleMania, and I cannot make matches official. Miz, I do believe your tiny balls are showing. <laughs> tiny balls. Tiny balls. Baby meat as well. There's 80,497 people here. Somebody has to be able to make a match official somewhere. I am the dog father and the host of WrestleMania, so I feel like I could make that match happen. Right now, we got a ref. We got you. We got you. Let's get cranky. I'm out. Distracted in the ring. Kittle just took out Miz. Kittle telling McAfee to go 
got a tiny bow strand on. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. <laughs> You're sitting here all day. Oh, I wanted to text you earlier. Right. I was told not to text you. Money, of course. Nobody fucking texts you. I was told not to text you. Dude. You got a hell of a show. I'm so thankful to the people at the WWE. It was a super cool night, oh. super cool moment, and I'm very thankful for it all. 5.30 a.m. Sunday. This day started 6.30 a.m. Saturday. So much cool shit happened in between now and then. Joke of an existence. I'm very thankful for everything. Let's go take a nap. Why? Let's go! This show fucking stinks. And the fact that you listen, we are very, very thankful for it. AJ, you never cease to amaze me with your toxicity, pal. You got a couple of these? God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Fuck, fucking cop! Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to our humble abode, the Thunderdome, on this awesome Tuesday, May 2nd, 2023. Hour three of the program starts right now. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday! No, 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 That's no, no. Hey, we didn't. That's hey, the last one. Yeah, we yeah, didn't choose. No, unless, unless there's another intro no, video. We no, didn't no, no. choose to run that intro video. We made a deal. Last hour, yes, that, that was the last one. Well, that no, no but that's, 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 yeah. that's not how deals work. You see who's here, okay? Don't be making a bad impression, <laughs> you're right, on our would. stage guest, Lordo and Baby Lordo. We're mm -hmm. respecting why it is here, okay. Lordo. By the way, it was delightful to chug a brew ha out of there. Mm -hmm. Uh, the boys, <laughs> you know, dude, the toxic table is here <laughs> at Boston Connor and at Ty Schmidt. One half of the hammer, Don Cowboys Tone Diggs is here, Pac Man Jones is here, Mike Rupper is here. Yeah. That's AJ Hawk. And we've had a hell of a Tuesday here. There are some yeah. things happening that we have to talk about around the NFL. AJ, did you hear about what some NFL executives were telling insiders about Howie Roseman? They said, all right, everybody fucking relax. Mm -hmm. Peter Schrager had a breaking news that some NFL executives around the NFL are a little bit over hearing the praise that's being heaped upon Howie Roseman for what the Eagles were able to do by drafting pretty much the entire Georgia Bulldogs uh, team, trading for another Georgia Bulldog, making their team so much better, seeing Seemingly, we don't have a clue if any of these guys are going to be able to be great in the NFL or not. Overnight, after making the Super Bowl, with all the moves that Howie's made, this guy's a fucking genius. Yeah. Yep. Remember, just a couple years ago, he was just a guy who does taxes that's running a team. We need to get him the hell out of here. Joe Douglas was the guy that did all the shit here. Why do we have this guy doing this thing? He now is the cock of the walk. He is the talk of the town, right. the bell of the ball, right. and some NFL executives aren't happy about it. AJ, do you do you do you agree with them? Are we mm. over hyping Whoa, Howie? Wow! Or are these NFL executives a little bit jealous that maybe another team is getting to do whatever the fuck they want because of the way they set up their roster and the way they've done everything with ownership that they're able to do what maybe they dream of? What do you think this is, AJ? What do you think this is? Well, I mean, I think jealousy plays a role in a lot of things. No envy, jealousy, what? but also what? didn't Dregs have to? come on and like give some context to it or did he clarify his statements didn't he say like oh this is getting blown out of proportion no nah, what he said the first time we know mm -hmm. that's the truth yeah, yeah. Right. Well, yeah, it's not like it's like anything you don't if something happens that you are like uh, you say you i don't know it's just not your thing but then you see the reaction other people have that's what pisses you off is the reaction of other people love something that you think is so stupid. Agreed. It's almost like that. Completely. And there's always going to be ripple <laughs> effects to every single thing that's said but howie roseman's getting praised pac man what are you thinking about it pal um, the Eagles did a hell of a job, bro. I like, you, you can't get mad at what the Eagles did. Last year, they went and spent all this fucking money to see if it would work. It worked. Yep. This year, they went and got two guys that could have been top five draft picks, and it's going to make them better, regardless of what anybody talking about. The Eagles have done a hell of a job these last two years. Do you they, think they all the be. other NFL executives are just jealous of how good they've done? You think that's of course. Cool? Uh, these professionals in the NFL, they don't get jealous of other people. No, yeah, they, no, they, no, no, they wouldn't be that petty. Pick. Why we ain't talking about C.J. Scrubs? Why we ain't talking about the kid yes. from Alabama? Why we all got to talk about what the Eagles doing, the Eagles doing, the Eagles doing? Because the Eagles, what they have done the last two years have been working. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. They're like the team. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In the NFC. Mm -hmm. yeah. One the Niners Eagles. are there, but what are they doing at quarterback? Mm -hmm. You know, right. Brock Purdy coming out of his surgery, we think he's going to be good. If he's good, Niners are a problem. Mm -hmm. yes. We absolutely agree. And who knows how that championship game between the Niners and the Eagles goes. If literally 15 unfortunate things don't happen sure. yeah. to the Niners in the first quarter. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, what is unfortunate? Quarterback can't throw a football anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Devontae Smith caught a ball, but he didn't catch it. Oh, Bosa got like a tendon snatch or bruised, mm -hmm. literally from a punt play. Mm -hmm. Fred Punch. Warner blew his shoulder out. Uh, no, that's all hap that all happened. In like a five-minute span. In the first quarter, boom, 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 boom. That's a tough thing to happen in a championship game, but it's not the Eagles' fault no. that that happened. So we have to praise the Eagles. But in the NFC, they're the team. They've seemingly got better and paid their quarterback. Maybe this tax man over there is what everybody should be doing, A.J., yeah, but the Eagles now, we know like the expectations. We obviously know the Super Bowl with Doug Peterson and, and Foles. But now, let's say you go two more years and Jalen doesn't get a ring. We're going to be asking what's wrong. Whoa, everyone, whoa. Assumes, everyone assumes they're the next like Chiefs, I feel like. Especially in the NFC. Like That is kind of to AJ's point. Like I think we can all agree, especially with the 49ers quarterback situation, Like the Eagles should go to the Super Bowl yeah, right. at least, definitely this year. And then, you know, maybe. What did the Patriots do? How many championship they games or something? They went to 11 or 10 straight AFC championship games. So, like, that is the that's the standard. And then. No, they, no, that's the gold standard. That, that, yeah, yeah that's right. the, that is that's the top of the top. But that in the, the Goldman standard. The gold, be there it is. The gold S2, that. C2 standard. That's the cognitive right. test. Let's be honest. The NFC. Conference is see too. It's not like it's the AFC. It's trash. It's trash. It's tra you can say it stinks. Like they should win. I'm sorry to say, but you never go into an NFL season like this team should dominate. Yeah, uh, they should do. dominate their side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I agree they should. And on the AFC side, we're talking about a lot of teams being lot. great. Too None many. of them being the Cleveland Browns, though, Rupp. <laughs> never. Oh, <laughs> never, suck never, it, never happened. Ah, I, I, don't know. I apologize that that's how our show operates, yeah. too. That's a damn shame. But I feel like you're a pretty big NFL fan, right, Rupp? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, even with that statement you said, being a Browns fan, I'm a Oh, right. You don't know fan. shit about football if you go say you're the Browns, bro. Come on. You, the but you told me, Browns? you told me, you told me at Nick's wedding. The Browns. You said, you, I, I said, who's the team? If I'm a free agent, what team? And you told me, you told me I should jump on the Cincinnati. It's in Ohio, right? Which I guess yeah, is an Ohio fuck. Yeah, but I can't do that one. No. Okay. You know? so, so you can't jump ship in the state. Yeah. No. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, hey, when they thing? have a season. Do you follow the NFL though? You feel you Yeah, I do. Please don't go with the Browns. Well, he I have to. Too. I've been the Browns my whole life. It's like my longest memories as a kid going. They to might get good too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, they hey, just paid a that's in my blood. You uh, know, uh, they I'm just paid a quarterback more money than they paid anybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Time. you got Nick Chubb and Amari Cooper. Yeah. All those Nick Chubb is good. Dog. Amari Cooper. Dog. Sounds like Pac doesn't like Amari Cooper. Cooper. Well, okay. I'm, I'm, good to, good to know. What is this all about? Yeah, you have beef with the day. market. Fly Stop this shit, Connor. <laughs> what? No, I didn't say it. You, hey, you I said play it. hard, and we had a good game. Oh, we, we I won didn't the know. Game, you know oh, that, right? so you think he's trash. I'm, I'm just saying, when I played against him, he didn't have all, what's your, I think, 30 What's your yards. problem, talking buddy? Oak, think you talking to Oakland? I'm just asking. Yeah. How did I do him, AJ? You was on my team. Well, first off, I dogged him that game, didn't I? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So, this does hey, sound like okay. a little. So it is a bit of It does sound like a little. So, hey, Pat, Pat, you need to get some footage of Pac in that game. He was on top of Amari Cooper. So I, I got punched in the face by one of their big linemen trying to run down and see what was happening. Um, oh, it was amazing. Like, I remember seeing the whole situation now, like running down. Pac's on top of Amari Cooper, kind of like about to slam his head down to the ground. And... I remember afterwards, Pac telling telling Marvin, everybody's like, "No, you don't get it. I let up. I I stopped myself. Like you got I'm serious. Wait till you see it. And if you see it, Pac it's somehow like you guys started where you run down the field. I don't know how it got chippy, or whatever. And then somehow you're on top of him on the ground, and you started to like slam him, and his helmet came off, and you actually stopped. Like you, it was honestly it was very impressive restraint that Pac showed. The film love you, AJ. The film, <laughs> yeah. the film made up for your excuse. That's good. Yeah, and great teammates like AJ. Yeah, and we awesome. end up fucking. We was supposed to lose that game, and they was talking about Derek Carr and all that mm -hmm. shit that game, and we we end up winning that. Was game. that a playoff? No, nah, it was no. deep in the. No, it's week one. Yeah, how, <laughs> how did it lead to that though? You didn't just fall on top of Mark no, Cooper. So no, the play was already gone. Like the play was already down the field. Okay. He like turned. He was so frustrated because I was on his ass that game. Mm -hmm. It's middle of work. Like yeah. he turned yeah. back and fucking. Come at me. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with me? Like, he tried to hit me again. I'm like, oh, so I take off running. Like, he tried to catch up with me and hit me again. I'm like, all right, two times. Okay. This third time, I got to show you what's really going on. So, <laughs> you know, I smacked the shit out of his ass. Which quarter? Which quarter was this? Which quarter? Uh, I don't even remember what quarter was. I got I a picture out somewhere of myself. Like, do you Pac, have? There's a great picture of that. Yeah, you I do have Pack, I think, is on the ground. And there's, the big, there's a big fucking head like this. Is. Like, hey, you better yeah. chill the fuck out, bro. It was awesome. Yeah, AJ, you said game. there's a like a poster of it. Of it? Uh, here it oh is. yeah, I had a picture of the guy's big left paw like punching me in the head when I came down here at the end. <laughs> Look, he stopped. See, that's impressive. 
Can that, you go back to the rest of the play? <laughs> yeah, we need the rest. See, nah, this is the part just, before uh, the game. I mean, this is certainly. could have slammed his head against the, yeah. against the what, ground. What year was this? Good. What year was this? Oh, this was Pro Bowl year. This is like 15, Vine year? This is, like, yeah. Yeah. is this 15, Cooper's rookie yeah. year? 2015. Yeah. It's Vine? Was? Is that Vine yeah. going on at that time? Probably around uh-huh. there, yeah. That's yeah. like the perfect length. Yeah. yeah. It's a great yeah. Vine. Yeah. That thing to go yeah. Holy shit, look at what Batman did. Ain't nobody going to see what led up to that. No. Nobody's ever going to see what led up to that. Ever. No. Did you and him have That's a great play? fucking clip right there. <laughs> yeah, it's literally, that's, yeah. yeah. That's what the we're saying. Clip. I just yeah. play hard. I remember, though, Pac, I remember in the moment, he packed like, no, you don't, no, Mark, you were telling everybody, like, no, you should have seen what I could have done, honestly. And we're like, oh, okay, I don't know. Let's see. I don't know. And then we saw him like, wow, you were telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm already made yeah. up since then, though. Yes, goodness. Yeah. Hey, do you, do you initiate it when you, or. No, you, he initiated. No, I'm just saying in general. <laughs> like, when you got that matchup all day, are you in your position? Are you, are you like, I want to know in football. Ball league. Do you initiate oh, you it, or you just you just you just if he's gonna act off, I'm you're with gonna whatever. Act off. I'm with wherever how the game go, but I'm trying my best to make you. He's talking shit. He's I'm talk- talking shit. Ninety percent of the time, I get out the. I was on a Zoom. I was on a Zoom, okay, with some of his college teammates, <laughs> and they were telling the story. I had not heard this story that like before the game, there was a very solid chance that fight was gonna happen, and it was a part of the plan. Like, yeah. hey, this is just a part of the plan. Yeah. We are going to go talk shit to this team. He used the mental warfare. Yeah. As- another good one. I have another good one about Pac for that. If you know, if you remember Pac, I believe I'm I'm correct here. You We got in a somewhat of a, almost a brawl pregame against the Steelers at home, and Pac was out there leading the charge. And I, don't, I believe you weren't dressed that day, and you were in street clothes. Too, but they're trying to fight day. their whole team. Yeah. Yeah. He was trying to fight their whole team in street clothes. <laughs> Always been like that? Always been, Always like, been like that. that. Like, I'm rhyming for who I'm rhyming for. But, yeah. I used to take the game magazines in college and just look through the starters. I was like, ah, oh, let me check his background and, like, read about him, see where he's from. I'm like, all right, this is my guy. I'm going to fuck with him the whole game. <laughs> like, That's 90%, awesome. 90% of the time, it worked. It worked. And I had some guys that poked back, but I was always up to whatever whatever it led to. So... I signed up for it, but like and that's, you don't have like, a lot of guys up there just mossing you either in college. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah, you're number yeah. six overall. Yeah, exactly. For a reason. What a yeah. time! It's much different now. I feel like this doesn't happen much anymore. No, yeah. ever. It's a lost art. Everyone's like Miami playing. was Kevin Winslow game. I was I was fucking with him what the whole game and he couldn't take it. Kevin, Winslow. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin. Yeah, yeah. He Big Kevin. Kevin. Yeah. What's he doing? Kevin. Yeah. Wow. What is Kevin doing? I don't think Kevin. Kevin exactly. I think you know. Kevin Winslow. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Is that the dad from that show with Steve Urkel? What happened? You Carl fall. Winslow. Jeez. You got it. Oh, it's great. Hey, happy we got that cleared up, though. Yeah, yeah. That's like so a factoid that we uh-huh. just dropped into everybody's <laughs> brain right there. What, you and him got into it? Oh, yeah. That was West Virginia. Smack shit out of him, too, in the game. <laughs> yeah. He deserved it, though. I thought all the shit that no. everybody this dickhead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He deserves a lot. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, me and Mari cool, but fuck this guy right here. <laughs> uh, totally. Uh, Albert Hainsworth. <laughs> yeah, fuck him, too. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 there's no reason to do all this. Yeah. No, I'm just you saying. You want to keep going? Like yeah. Kellen yeah, yeah, Let's move Mike along. All right, anyway, so that's what NFL executives were saying about Howie yeah. Rosen. <laughs> <laughs> they, were, uh, right. they were upset about it. Somehow, we have found a couple million more viewers of the Super Bowl this mm. past year. Nielsen mm. did a re-audit, a oh, re-review, nice. a recount, mm-hmm. and found two million more average viewers. And we have a big question here. Now, <laughs> them doing this is so interesting. For just for two million or whatever, or a few million in the grand scheme of things, was it worth even open, opening up the discussion of how accurate Nielsen ever is mm-hmm. and how numbers right now are in such an interesting place whenever it comes to media and views and what matters, what doesn't, impressions, everything like that. Everything's kind of being made up. But now you got like streaming services, numerous ones. Yeah. And unless Nielsen has the in to their streaming service, how do you have any clue what number of people are watching that on the streaming service? It's like the amount of connections that they would have to have. And I would assume maybe they do, but then all those people would have to be telling the truth too. And they're the only people that know because they own the platform. You go through this entire modern digital age, pretty much. There's been platforms lying about the numbers since the beginning. Massive fraudulent lawsuits come yep. up yeah. to different platforms through the podcasting area, through the, the video era, everything like that. Because whenever you're charging these companies a price for them to advertise and what they're getting for what they think they're getting being completely different, like that became a big deal. This has been the digital stage 
kind of biggest nemesis, I think. Mm -hmm. And now it's kind of hitting into the mainstream because the mainstream is becoming much more digital. How will they be able to keep track of how many people are watching Thursday Night Football on Amazon? Because Amazon had self-reported numbers. Right. And then Nielsen had reported numbers. It's like, how the fuck do you know? Are they different, how, too? Because Amazon... Don't they have the tech? Don't they have the tech now that they can see exactly who, like how many people are watching? They could, yeah. But then... Well, those people, Nielsen? are they together? Are those people with two, three the Nielsen, people? I'm saying uh, not Nielsen. I'm saying like YouTube TV has yeah. the ticket this year. They can, if you can see exactly how many people are watching on YouTube TV. Bingo. And I'm not saying YouTube TV will do this. I'm not saying anybody will do this. I'm just saying this has been said to be done potentially in places. Well, here's the people watching, right? We have the digital numbers right here. How many people are with them while they're watching? Probably mm. two, three people, uh, right? Yeah. At least five X's. And then X's. what did the uh, social media accounts do? How much videos uh, were watched? How many impressions were on that? Oh, how much did the YouTube do? Uh, yeah, you can't believe anything. Can't, because the amount of things that you can pull from to be a potential number is vast, mm. more vast mm. than it's ever been. So I think them even announcing this, like I appreciate them correcting it. I'm sure it's 100% right. Yeah, yeah definitely yeah, now it is. I'm sure it's 100% right. But what took three months? I, a re-audit, I guess. I don't yeah. know. I wonder if they actually invented an AI to go AI. back and count them. Because that feels like the most accurate way to do it now. I, honestly? Legitimately, yeah. Not even. So what happened to Google engineer who yeah, was a part of the. godfather of AI uh, who invented the Google. Sweet not Blake. Sweet Blake. Sweet Blake. No, Sweet not Blake. Sweet Blake. Oh, Different. Oh. Possibly Sweet Blake's brother or son. Uh, or, you know, father. But uh, this guy quit Google because he said AI was actually just, it was too much now. And he's the guy basically. I've been trying it. to find them too. You've been trying to find AI? Yeah. I heard you've been yeah. trying to employ them. Mm -hmm. yeah. You've been trying to buy them. Yeah. Real yeah. estate. Thank you. I kind of know who it is. He keeping it up on this <laughs> Look, show. I, I do know where and who AI is. I don't know. But I, I can't share that. In day. He, uh, I don't know. Hey, Honor works hey, for the CIA. AI, AI told me not to. AI said, what don't tell say, Pac-Man. Can I invest in AI? He's like, where do I meet AI? <laughs> <laughs> How do I get to him? Hey, it's a real deal. Oh. Oh, I, feel, I feel like they do have personalities. Yes. Because they do have flavors. Mm -hmm. We've listened to the bangers they've put out. Listen so to Drake good. all morning. We AI listen to Drake. AI Drake uh, all Brady. It's my favorite morning. fucking song right now is yes. a AI Drake song. Drake, Drake so needs good. to immediately rip that and just put it out. Yes. yes. Yeah. And so you guys thought that was AI. That was me, motherfuckers. That should be the <laughs> title of the song. Right. Yeah. And just put it out there. But I guess it is going to become quite a problem because it seems to be great at everything. Graphic designers. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You need something, AI, whip it up for you real quick. Yeah, heartbeat. Right. Dirty. I don't love it, dirty. It's gonna miss, it's gonna miss that human, human uh element, yeah. which yeah. is like the it, soul of a something, or mm -hmm. like a mistake, maybe, or a, a little indifference here. That will definitely be out. But god damn it, it made great designs yeah. for those cities at the NFL draft. Also, the amount of time it takes. It's like, you know, a lot of things like, hey, we we need, you know, this graphic designer to to build this whole thing for us. Like, okay, yeah, I'd probably take Three weeks to a month, like, like, well, let's pop that into AI. Oh, it can get it can get me this whole thing done in fifteen minutes. Hey, okay. dirty, want to let you know, you always have a place with us, pal. Yeah. Okay, appreciate you, boss. But I do feel like mm -hmm. your profession is going to have some stiff competition. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, in good run, Gertie. In the next couple of generations, <laughs> I think there's going to be some stiff comp out there. Honestly, I it'll think. never be. Can as we work good together? As uh, the real thing. This thing came up in like a minute and a half. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I, I, we, we Ooh, should find, Dallas is cool. We should yeah. find out how long it took them to make these. Jeez, that's yeah. the big I don't, thing. Right. I don't think it takes very long. Yeah, I seconds. think they upload. Yeah. So there's, there's how do we know one they weren't made previous? That. Because the NFL actually. <laughs> who the fuck owns this? <laughs> yeah. How do we? How do we know who owns this shit? Like, intellectual property. Anybody use these pictures or what? NFL. Anyone? They NFL put all the rookie first round picks in front of these. So there's an AI bot in Discord where you just send like a description of what you want, yeah. and they will just give it to you in like under like five minutes. Like it's insane. Is that just... Chat beat GPT? Oh my GPT, God. but yes, whatever it is, GPT. Oi, oi, oi! How about it though? They got it all, man. Yeah. They're AI. gonna have wait till their sports show comes this out. Oh man, oh, so much better than ours. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what we need to. We should just start asking AI, like, hey, what, what should we talk about today? AI. Hey, what do you think the world would like to hear about from sports yeah. stooges today? And then AI. boom, boom. So, boom, boom, so boom, boom. technically, we'd be employing an AI. Yeah. We win. Right? Yeah, exactly. True. And now there's an AI in Massachusetts that can uh, tell you if you have... Uh, an AI in Massachusetts? Yeah, they invented it in uh, Mass General Hospital, and it can tell you it's between 86 and 94% accurate. They can tell you if you're going to have lung cancer within the next year.
Well, that seems easy. That's, how do we get that? You just got to download it? What yeah, the fuck no, do we... It's up there. It's, how does how's this work? Is it in a cloud? I got to fly up to a cloud? It's got to be cloud I Yeah, I believe you have to use it in Massachusetts. And I, I, I think oh, so you guys put a geolocation on AI? Mm -hmm. How does yeah. that even work? Wherever the hell they created it in the lab in Mass General, I think it's just still there. But I assume because it's kind of new, uh, this will hopefully lead to a lot of different types of cancers. This, is, just... this is that um, Today Show clip. Where they go, what is the internet? Yeah. That's what we're doing right now. Oh, yeah. Sure. This mm -hmm. thing's moving pretty quick. Oh, too quick. Making you, bangers. Yeah. So you said they tell you if you have cancer. Lung cancer, specifically. Only lung cancer. What do you yeah. got to do? You just got to look at it? It's looking at you? It is going to say, uh, what? I, I, like, all right, in 10 years, cancer. you about to die, motherfucker. No, no. It, <laughs> we see, don't need that negativity out of these animals. No, I'm just asking. It's stopped. I would be though. fucking a... a, a Fucking mental wreck. Bro. Yeah, that's what we're saying. We don't yeah, need that. We don't need it. Hey, stay away from the AI. You're going to fucking have... I'm not sure if it's body scans or blood, uh, but no, they it's very, very new, but apparently it's All legit. right, well, hopefully AI will make the world better, right? That's what it's going to oh, yeah. do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Keep it going. That's oh, what it's going to do. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us now is a surprise guest from the WWE world. Really? What? I don't know who the hell it is. Uh, in the first hour, it was uh, Peyton Manning as a surprise FaceTime pop-up here, 207 Eastern Standard Time, Tuesday, May 2nd, 2023, Lordo. OG, yeah, mm -hmm. baby Lordo, baby of OG Lordo. Right, drank a beer out of here earlier. Right, right. it is Michael Cole. Well, Connor, it's not Peyton Manning. Sorry to burst your bubble, and it's not Stone Cold Steve Austin. But I guess right. you have to be stuck with me for birthday. No, it's the Peyton Man. Manning of commentary in WWE's oh, yeah. his W W E. History, pal. It's great to see you. I'm pumped about this. Hey, happy birthday. What are you, 55 now? Oh! oh. This fucking guy. Guy's got jokes. Hey, relax, guy. Okay? I'm 36, though. I am hey, 36. Hey, Connor, by the way, not hockey team. Just shut anyway, up, Cole. Um, I thought it was Sam <laughs> Roberts. I was pumped. Turned out it was just Cole. Hey, Connor, by the way, nice <laughs> basketball team. Oh! oh. Pew, 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 pew. Hey, he's cool soul patch, prick. No, it is. It's gone. <laughs> hey, when it's did gone. You... I'm a new image. Why'd you get rid of that? To... Yeah, that's something. Realize it was 2023. Whoa, <laughs> Connor. It was his look. The, the the honest to god truth is the lady that was shaving my face one day uh, just shaved it off. Been... <laughs> did your favor? Yeah. Didn't All leave right. it there. So. I didn't grow it back. Well, there you go. that That's happened true. to our CFO. CFO Phil had a mustache oh, oh my God. and a full flavor saver. One of the best. <laughs> so thick. And the barber was like, all right, we're going to cut it off. And we're like, no, please do not. Yeah, leave that. Leave that thing on there. And then it somehow got shaved. And we believe the barber was looking out for the bride. Oh. oh. But I don't think. That doesn't. I don't think that barber understood what was sitting right in front of his fucking eyes, though. I don't think he did. That was one of the greatest mouth decorations I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. yeah. We're talking thick. It was. It was a great mouth decoration he had. How are you, pal? I appreciate you, man. I I'm great. What are you doing? Sorry for the uh, internet. Um, I'm up at my property, and um, oh. it, I, we really don't have much internet or anything up here for that matter. I think we still use landlines for our telephones. Okay, so let's talk so. about that. You bought a property. Um, this was yep. goal. I don't want to tell too much of your life story. I'll let you do that someday. This was goal though. Have been working in the WWE has missed like one week or two weeks or something like that. Jeez. In like 26 or 27. How many years? 26 years. 26 year. years straight. Yeah. 52 weeks a year. Jesus. Okay. Shows on the road has missed like two. 26 years. Mm. Okay. Think about that. This guy's one of the greatest workers of all time. So he wants to dream. You know, to get away, to get a piece of property. Mm -hmm. You ain't going to be able to fucking go out there, dude. No you way. Are, you are, there's no way you're going to be able to stop ever. Is that you? Are you realizing that? You're not going to be able to stop ever, pal. Uh, uh, well, I'm going to have to stop or else uh, I, I'm going to be married 30 years. So if I want it to last longer than that, I'm probably going to have to stop at some point. But now it won't be anytime soon. I still got a lot of I still got a lot of work to do with this company. Uh, you know, I mean, there's still a lot of stuff to do. I, you know, still a lot of shows to call. Um. Hell I yeah. told somebody um, that I would, you know, I'm 56 now. So 60 sounds like a pretty good uh, age to maybe slow down a little bit. Hmm. Okay. Four years. But when he comes 60. Maybe. Oh, yeah. 65. Oh, yeah. Yeah, still got it. Still got the fastball. Still got the end. You're in better shape right now than I think you've been long. You look very good. AJ, go ahead, pal. Yeah. But yeah. 
Oh, sorry, Mike. I know you're going to go on, but you do look great. But I want to know what you're going to do when you're done. You don't seem like a guy that's just going to go hang out at your property. You've, you've lived such an exciting life up to now. There's no way you can just go hang out, can you? Oh, I think there's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be pretty easy to sit on a chair and watch the sunset with a bottle of Jack Daniels. I think I'll be in good shape with my dog, Nick. I'll be in good shape. Yeah, well, I, I sure. think I, I've had this thought too, Cole. And, you know, anytime you get older, you start to think about things, no matter how old you are. And now, granted, you don't do that whenever you're teens, 20s, I don't think. You start doing it once you hit 30, you feel old. Bro. Right. I didn't think I was going to make it past that, honestly. With well, I, was, I was living awesome. I was having a good time yes. all the time. And I didn't think I was going to make it. If I die, cool. We accomplish a lot of good stuff. And now I'm like 36, baby on the way. I'm thinking about, like, everything and what I want to do, what I don't want to do. And then I think about, like, my dream was to get to an island and just fucking disappear. Like, I'm just going to go to an island out of nowhere disappear nobody ever sees from me again for like 10 15 years and i drop it out of nowhere just because i think that would be hilarious like that is i think that's a hilarious thing to do and then i start thinking like will i be able to do that i go on vacation to hawaii i'm like four or five days in i love the time with my wife if i can figure out how to work and hang out with my wife at a very nice place i'll be back in there you won't be able to disappear the more and more i've thought about it won't be able to happen i don't think cole i i fear that yeah. Pat, you're, you know, you're, I'm t about 20 years older than you. Um, I've been on, on the road nonstop for 26 years. Uh, I mean, 52 weeks, every week on an airplane, away from home, away from seeing the kids grow. I've got uh, a grand, you know, I've got a couple of grandkids now that I want to, I want to spend some time with as they get older. That's awesome. Um, and your priorities change as you get older. And, you know, you're going to, I know a lot of people have said this to you, but your life is going to change drastically in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, and AJ, you can speak to this. Uh, you know, those little ones come and they really change a, a lot of perspective in your life. And, you know, I, uh, you know, I raised two great sons and um, I was really happy at the way they turned out. But, you know, in retrospect, I wish I had spent a little bit more time at home with them. So now the fact that I have some grandkids, I want to be able to uh, spend some time with them, bring them out to the ranch, um, you know, have a have a good time with them. And I want to be able to do that. And I, I think now at this point in my life and everything that I've accomplished, it's a little bit easier, you know, seeing the, uh, you know, seeing the end of the road as it might have been when I was in my mid thirties, uh, enjoying life. It's just, it's just a different perspective on everything. On everything. We got to work together again, though, don't we? I mean, at some point we got to do that. You know, that was so, fun, dude. Hey, Cole, that was fun, man. I want to let you know. Because this is a shit show anyways. I mean, they've said happy birthday to me too many times. Yeah. They fucking sang it earlier. It's disgusting. <laughs> it, was, it has been an absolutely terrible program today. I'll never do that. You know that. Come on, dude. Do I sang cool. happy birthday to this man. What was that? Every week? So every week. <laughs> every week. It was awesome. Every week during the commercial breaks, it would go viral. Yeah, it was awesome. I enjoyed I enjoyed the hell out of work. You're you're awesome at what you do. You've been a great person for me, man. Honestly, you need to know that. And not just for me, but for a lot of people. We need to work together before you retire. But you got ten years, fifteen. At least. Oh, yeah. you you got so much left. You're 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 Hey Pat, I'll make I'll make I'll make a promise to you. I won't get out of this full time until you and I can at least have a uh, a little bit of, of a run left. Um, okay. Now, if you're gonna push, if you're gonna push that off till you know, till I'm 75, well, no. we're gonna have to retalk. But, right. you know, oh, whoa, 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 uh, Tone has a question for you, Cole. Yeah, I was gonna say you'll be busy, right? Because you bought the Branch Davidians property, and you're turning that around. That's the ranch that you bought. Yeah. The yeah, that's what I did. I, you know, I missed it so so much. Uh, you know, what when I children, covered all. Man? When I was there, hey, if you go back and look at that Netflix documentary that Here just came out, yeah. there's actually a scene of a press conference where, if you pause it, you can actually see a, a young Michael Cole what? in the middle of the group of uh, with my old uh, with my uh, mullet and um, uh, mustache. Hell yeah! Didn't you talk to him? You talked to Koresh, right? It was an audio, it was a radio yeah, interview. I did a radio interview with him. Uh, I asked him one question and he went on for 45 minutes. So I wouldn't really, I don't toot my own horn about that because it wasn't really an interview. What was your question? So. <laughs> yeah. What's that, it like? Is that what you did? I, honest to God, Pat, I don't even rem remember what I asked him. It was on national TV, on a, on a national radio on a Sunday night. I asked him the question and he went on for 45 minutes. Did you even give up? Oh, oh, wow. Whoa. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> hey, great performance. Right. Go, Cole. Got everything you needed out of him. That's right. Got everything you needed out of him. But this man goes from Bosnia War 
to interviewing David Koresh mm -hmm. to a fire river. He was on a river that was on fire. That's worst case scenario. Yeah. Drowning and burning to death. <laughs> okay. No thanks. That is that sounds like a blast. <laughs> then he's dropped right into the attitude era of the WWF at the time, and then they become the WWE. WWE. And uh, I appreciate the hell out of you, man. You've become a great friend of mine and very, very cool. I, I can't thank you enough. Hey, I love all you guys. You know that. Pat, have a great birthday. Um, I, you know, I'm sure I'll talk to you during the week, but uh, obviously good luck uh, to you and your wife on everything that's coming over the next couple of weeks. Your, your life is about to drastically change in an unbelievable way, and hopefully you and I can do business together at some point. Yeah, you're damn right. I can't wait for it as well. Connor has something on the way out. As you said, you love everybody over here. Yeah, Cole, love you too. Uh, not even you know pulling any chains here, but how pumped are you about Rodgers? Uh, um, I'm excited. <laughs> what? Whoa. 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 Whoa hold oh, on. Disgusting. What was, what was the that? Are you what? high? Is this guy high? What was the pause? What, what was is that? that? Are you high right now? Was there a technical glitch right there? What happened? You're at the ranch? Yeah, I, I think it, it cut out. Uh, you guys didn't hear me say that I'm really, really excited about this opportunity for the Jets. Hell yeah. Uh, oh. There we go. Hopefully it comes to fruition. Hmm. Um, what do you mean? You know? I mean, fruition. It's already coming for fruition. Yeah. 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 Well, you've been out on the ranch. He's there. There. Number eight. Dude, it's May 1st. I've been a New York Jets fan for 50 years. This guy doesn't even know what day They were I'm three starting years to think old. He's not excited. This guy's doped up. I'm yeah, three he, years I'm old. Starting. I was doped three up. years old when they won the Super Bowl. All right. I have lived through the butt fumble, what? the Rich Coke <laughs> the Brett Favre situation. Allegedly, 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 allegedly. Allegedly, allegedly. allegedly. So I've lived through all that. Um, Aaron Rodgers is one of the greatest ever, and I hope that uh, he can pull a Brady and what he did in Tampa. Um, but you have to understand something, guys. As as a Jet fan and as a Mets fan, which I am as well, oh, um, it is me too. weekly torture. <laughs> yeah. The Jets fandom is certainly one that's been tough for a long time. Had some playoff runs there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rats yeah. and Sanchez, yeah, ready yeah. to do it. Just never yeah. And then the Giants yeah. win a bunch, which a is tough to kind of experience right. throughout the whole thing. But the Jets are back. I believe they're going to do very well. I heard a little optimism out of this normally pessimistic guy. Yeah. yeah but did you hear that a little bit? That was great. That was I'm cautiously, cautiously optimistic that they're going to turn things around. Uh, I really are. They, they've got the talent. There's no reason that they can't do it. So we'll see what happens. But, again, being a Jets fan, uh, you're just waiting for the other shoe to drop. All right. Well, let's hope it doesn't happen. I'm very thankful you joined us. I'll talk to you soon. You're the fucking man. Happy birthday, guys. Or, Pat. <laughs> guys. Happy birthday to you, too. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Happy birthday Lordo. Right. Let's get to a break here on the other side. <laughs> we'll answer some phone calls on the 5 Hour NG phone line, and we'll do some giveaway stuff. Have to for the birthday. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We got a hockey one because Rupper's uh, here. What? Yeah. This one's going to yeah. be a fun one to watch. Oh, shit. I assume Pac-Man's going to get involved with the Why? moonshot. Mm -hmm. Why not? It's Ooh. birthday. It's birthday. Let's have a time here. It's your birthday. Hell. It's your birthday. We it's listen birthday. Uh, 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 we were listening to uh, Get Rich or Die Trying this morning mm -hmm. yeah. while we were playing Thunderball. Best best rap album of all time. Yeah. Five? I totally agree. One of them. No, I that's not what <laughs> No, he said best. I said I like, said best. You said top five. No, you I'm just saying it's unskip. No skips. No skips. Mm -hmm. There's no skips. Pack, you're wearing that chain today. You got to say it's the best. Everyone's yeah. a bang. I, when I say five, I'll be talking about 50. Shout out to Green Light Gang, man. Yeah, shout out. Shout out. That's shout out to you. That's 50. I don't know guys. what we're shouting out, but. It's 50. Green Light Gang. If, and if anybody's pissed yeah. on the other side of the Green Light Gang, like, hey, that's, that's all right. <laughs> yeah, we're we're, that's we're right. with you, too. We're on your side, too. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> no skips on that whole album. No. Yeah. Listen like, to it this morning. Well, like, it's like 21 songs, too. I don't know that. I'm, yeah, it I, ends with 21 questions. <laughs> oh. I just made that up. It does end with that. It does, but I'm just saying. Oh, but what I'm saying is, yes. Yeah, we don't know if that's real or not. I believe it is. Another new 21 album. 21 songs? Yeah, I think it's like 21 tracks. Unbelievable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, Morgan Wallen's new album. Legit. Oh, you love it, huh? I like country music again. Diplo put out a... Uh, also unreal. With... Uh, did, Di did Diplo... Did he meet your... Uh, Parker. Yeah, Diplo. He knows AI, but he he uh, he did one with Blanco, Brown, your guy, and Parker McCollum. Yeah, yeah. Parker McCollum is uh, Lonely Long. Good song. Yep. The one with Blanco, Brown, Banger. Dosey Doe. Banger. Banger. 
Diplo's fallen into the Avicii mix with other yep. yeah. artists. That's Let's awesome. make songs, yeah. which is good for everybody. Well, let's just hope he stops there and fall into Avicii, you know. <laughs> well, Avicii's alive, so. 16 songs on Get Rich or Die Trying. Right? Close. Oh, Close. Okay. Yeah, but you, you were saying it, and I just want to let you know this for future reference. Mm-hmm. You said it as if you knew it was true. Yeah, I, I, mean, I you believe take, you had me hook, shot. line, sick. Yep. Got to take a shot. You got to have conviction. What do you want me to I think it was. I mean, I'm not doing that. No way. <laughs> Can't. No, not a chance. Had me. Not on this day. Not on this day. Mm-mm. Not on this Tuesday. Not on no. any day. That'll continue on the other side with some phone calls on Five Energy Phone Line and hopefully a good time breaking some more news. Hell yeah. Ooh, chatting yeah. about stuff. What? Talking about stuff. Hell yeah. Right? That's the program. Take five. Bye. 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 Hell yeah, Red yeah. Panda. It is yes. time to go on up to the unicycle yes. that has captivated people all over this planet Earth. Oh, my yes. God. Ladies oh, and God. gentlemen, Red Panda is in the Thunderdome. Oh, my God. Let's go. Hi, Red Panda. Thank I'm, you so much. I'm hyperventilating, Pat. I think I'm going to have a fucking heart attack. Mad Mel, could you tell me about the scouting report oh. on Red wow. Panda? Oh Absolutely explosive. You will never see someone with this kind of stability and balance in all your life. Been an absolute game changer for the last 30 plus years. Brings her A game every single time she comes on the court or multi purpose field. I just ah, I look at her go. Completion to Red Panda. He's in the trenches. He's got his eyes on the prize. The okay. ball is going on the head okay. of Red Panda. Two oh, balls go, completed from AQ Shipley. <laughs> this is nuts. Are you serious? This is AQ a can hold more than two points. Two balls. No way. I absolutely love Boom. this song. Oh my God. Oh. There we go, Red Panda. Go oh. One oh. for one. Oh. Oh. Two. If Red Panda goes perfect on a day, we'll give away $50,000. Whoa. It's one person who retweets this video and says something nice to somebody. <laughs> Red Panda, the legend, wow. performing during the first round at the Thunderdome. She's one for one on both tosses from her right foot to her head. Come on. Oh, my God. No way. Oh, my God. Two? No. Red Panda two? stacking Slide. two bowls on top of each other. And oh, oh, she, did she did it! Red Panda! There's no way this should be humanly possible. Nope. No. But what is impossible? It's I'm possible. Yes. Whoa. And whenever you're talking about Red Panda, you're talking about the biggest I'm in the history of I'm possible. Yes. What Hell she yeah. does every single night is not supposed to happen. Uh-uh. There's no way you're supposed to be able to accomplish this. No feat. way. No. AJ Hawk, what you say? How many people can do this? None. Just Red Panda. Five bowls. <laughs> Red Panda oh. take a bow. Hell yeah. Wow. That was awesome. Hey, it was. Hey, that ain't gonna help, Miz. That ain't gonna help. That's gonna do nothing. He was a three-sport athlete at Plum High School, where his volleyball team was in the mix for a section three title. Oh. Making his Red Tahoe debut oh. for the Red Panda. Hey, baby. Hey, 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 hey,
Great putt. Okay, here we go. Our American Century Championship coverage rolls on here from the back deck of Edgewood Tahoe. How about Pat McAfee stopping by, man? Welcome back to the Pat McAfee <laughs> show on this happy birthday, Pat Tuesday. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo! Uh, yeah. Happy birthday. Happy yeah. birthday, happy Pat. Birthday, May 2nd. May 2nd. Happy birthday. May the Rock Queen, the Queen, rest in peace. Oh, it's Dwayne's birthday? Yeah. David Beckham. And WWE Hall of Famer, the big boss man. Wow. Right. What? Goddamn oh. right. Vince? No, no, the big boss. Come on, he, he's actually the one that <laughs> before did this. my time, I suppose. He's the guy that did the slide under the yeah. rope around the mm -hmm. ring post, back in like uh, mm -hmm. Corbin does, who's big baby face now. Yeah, yeah. same yeah. move. Happy birthday, big boss. The man. Night stick. Saw Corbin. Yeah, stick sweet baton. Yeah. Move all yeah. Too. Yeah. yeah, big guy can move. Oh yeah. Happy birthday, big boss man. Happy birthday, Enjoy, big, big boss, boss man. man. Happy birthday, Pat. Saw Corbin. Uh, crying in the ring the other day. It was pretty cool, actually. He was getting some baby face. He was getting yeah. some real love. It was awesome. He was baby facing out there. Yeah. One of these. Yep. Did like, uh, mm -hmm. look at him. Took it in. Is Corbin a baby face? I I'm down. If he's happy, Corbin. He is. Yeah. Rest in peace. Big Boss Man is dead. What? Wow. Yeah. No. We Didn't want to do this. Oh, no. Fuck. We were done doing Ian, this. Sun Tzu, oh. both gone. While we're Dude, doing it, we soon. might as well rest in peace, Jerry, because we didn't do that. Yeah. Jerry Springer, you're Jerry. right. Jerry Springer. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jerry. Ohio. Jerry. Mayor of Cincinnati. He was. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you pay him a little respect? Wrote a, check, wrote, a, wrote a rough check at some point, but he kept past it. Here we go. Sorry. What? Whoa, what? I didn't know that happened. What do you do? I just that? knew him from the Jerry. I'm not trying to say What's your problem? He's a great Jerry. man. He's Jack's been open father. about it. Everyone what? makes mistakes. What happened? He just forged a couple checks like he was Frank Abbott? No, he didn't forge anything. Didn't forge anything. Just used some government funds to pay somebody for services. Oh, well, allegedly. Like, uh, whoa, there's a lot of that. Whoa, we do not need that brought up in this show right now. AJ, in the not, middle of what we're in the middle of. He Fun talked fact, about it. He was a public figure. Anyways, rest in peace. Yeah, Honestly, moment of peace. silence, please, for everybody that passed away, including those big boss man Sun Tzu and Jerry Springer. Moment passed. Hell yeah. Anyways, Connor, what were you going to say before we had to dive into the birthdays of May 2nd? Happy birthday, big boss man. Happy birthday, boss. In heaven. In heaven. Yeah, it's in right. heaven. I bet it's a great day up there. It's not raining. I can tell you that much. It's actually, it was nice this morning. It was it's nice gorgeous. The Doppler was not painting a good picture for May 2nd. No. Last couple of days. No. I was I was eyeing it. Maybe I'll get on a golf course. Yeah. It's not a bad idea. Doppler was just green. Just 
Yeah, just right trash. Yeah. And are. that thing on the golf course, if it's been raining. Oh, oh my. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, my God. You would tear that something. They're not going to let me on no, there. No, no, no. Wait no. till they hear that fucker purr, too. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Hell, yeah. That was a great is it gift. electric? Yeah. yeah, it is electric, but I can Bluetooth mm-hmm. to the speaker and turn on. Oh, sweet. You know what I mean? That would be awesome. Yeah, just let them know who they're golfing with. Mm-hmm. But if that thing goes 28 miles an hour, I can get through around nine holes all by myself pretty quick, right? Yeah. One hour. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm good at golf all of a sudden. Yep. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys for doing that. Yeah. yeah. Anytime. Connor, you were saying something before we had a moment of silence <laughs> and got into what this is going to do at a golf course. I should Bluetooth that. Yeah. yeah. You know what Make I mean? A little, louder. a little purr in there. Oh, yeah. Like a Formula One car. <laughs> hey, it's any 500 month. It is. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. It's about to be upside down. All right. Yeah. And if you want to Anyways, go- weren't you going to say something after the uh-huh, I was gonna moment say of something. silence, the golf, and the Indy 500? Mm-hmm. Well, I was going to say, should we sing happy birthday again? No. no. Okay, no. I was actually going to say that today's show is sponsored by the best ticket app on planet Earth and the moon. Hell yeah. I'm happy you didn't choose the birthday thing. I was about to say, I almost walked off the set, hopped on this thing out the front door. <laughs> no, I yeah, was- it was uncomfortable, AJ. I don't know if you've seen it. It yeah. was tough. I, wouldn't do I did that. not see that part, but that is an awesome machine they have down there. It is. Hell yeah. Con, you got it. Seek Geek. Uh, to help us get through the offseason, they gave us an exclusive link for 10% off any tickets. And for Pat's special day, he, and this is just from the read, they want to, us to sing Pat happy birthday it's one disgusting. more Hell time. Yeah. Don't do not do happy it. birthday yeah, stop, stop, stop. to you. Right. Happy <laughs> birthday. Going, man. Happy <laughs> birthday, dear Pat. Happy, Happy birthday to you. From all your friends at Seeky. <laughs> Definitely gonna crash. <clears throat> oh no. Watch out, Mike. <laughs> Get Mike on the back. Is there pegs on there? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Can you imagine? How are you going to get that to the course? Driving. Trailer, dude. You're going to ride it? Just ride it. Oh, yeah. boom. Yeah. Alarm on. <laughs> <laughs> course right down the street. Just Anyways, thank you guys, and thank you, SeatGeek. Ticket Stooge, no need to do what you just did there. Mm-hmm. But I do thank you for everything. Today's been a very cool day. Allegedly, we have another what? I, you know, not to bury tickets to It wasn't actually on the sheet. I just figured oh. we might as well. Oh, asshole. Uh, I figured we might as well just jump uh, in okay. one more time. Nice trick. Good Good rib. I do like the fact that we got to see if that thing was still working was because once it sat for a little bit, a couple hours. You never know. Still had the juice, though. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Allegedly, I can put that thing up to three. Bum, bum, bum. And it goes real fast. Two. Ha, uh-huh. One. Just kind of casual yeah, arrival mm-hmm. at the country okay. club. Yeah. You know what I mean? What kind was of that? Casual. Ri- I don't know. Honestly, I have not. It was gotten- moving. I feel like I had a pretty good quickness there. Yeah. I'm pretty good on two wheels. Rupper said can't do two wheels, right? Not so much, yeah. Four, yes. Four, four is better, yeah. How about you, Pac? You have uh, bikes? Uh, Yeah, I got two, four, and three wheels. You got three wheel. Nice. Can-ams. Oh, front. Yeah. You got Ducati? One in the front, two in the back. Ooh. No. No, two in the front. Two in the front. Two in the back. Yeah, Can-Am. I remember those. When those came out, they were just like donut machines. Four of them? Yeah. Got four of them? What do you do? You just... I have four. I'm part on a... Octane Outlet, which is a big oh. Can-Am place in Ohio. You're, you're in a biker gang? No, I'm not in no biker gang. You're in a, it sounds like you're in a three wheel. I ride four Outlet. wheelers. I love Banshees. Uh, Ducatis? Yeah. Hold I, on. I'm a Banshee guy. I, I'm like, I'm an old school. That's like an old school four wheeler. Still two stroke. You know what I mean? You yes. the gas and oil. Yeah, wheels lifted a little bit. Are we doing, um, we doing wheels? Take it to the woods? Yeah. Go to the woods? I can ride, ride. You can ride, ride? Yeah. We're talking like I've seen him in music videos. I can white boy ride. Let's put it like this. Whoa. Yeah. Like Travis white boys Pastrana. can really ride. Like I can really ride. We fish tailing out there. We got pretty good one, two wheels. I can do pretty much anything. On the, quad, on, the, on the quad wearing two wheels? Yeah. I'm a pretty good quad rider myself. I really? Have, uh, oh, yeah. I had a couple at the old house. Made trails in there. Mm-hmm. I really enjoy it. Rolled one when I was a kid. Yeah, Ooh. That, that had to be a tough conversation for old Tim with the parents. <laughs> Of the person that owned that thing. I Whoops. Imagine. I was underneath it. That was, that was a tough thing. So I've always been pretty aggressive. I love that type of shit, though. I used to be flying around college on a four-wheeler. Yes. I on scooter. a four-wheeler. Morgantown. Had a little Yamaha. 350. 
Nobody knew you were there. Yeah, everybody knew it was me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had a scooter, same thing. A yeah. little different. The Yamaha 350 sounds a lot more fun than what yeah. I was doing. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, shout out SeatGeek. Shout out SeatGeek. Unbelievable. Got you covered, NBA, NHL, what's concerts. The, what's that, pal? Yep. Sorry, I was just plugging this. Now, Zito was in my ear. I didn't hear what you were saying. You were going to finish the SeatGeek read because we already, already had a happy birthday in there. Yeah, just letting them know what, what stuff is available. You know, SeatGeek has been with us since the very beginning. Yeah. They won. AJ, how about it? How about it? Aerosmith's going on tour. You can get some tickets for that. Their farewell tour. Oh, hell yeah. Farewell? Well, they're calling it, uh, what do they call it? Dream? Are they, it's some kind of play on words. Dream on. Songs, I think. Dream off. Dream dead. Dream over or something. No, Dream dead. No, it's something with it. I mean, Steven Tyler's 75. The guy's doing it. He's still killing it. Don't they do like one last tours all the time? Oh, yeah. Elton John's been doing it for the last 10 years. Did, have you, you seen have, yet? No, I still haven't. That son of a bitch owes me like 1500 bucks. Oh. So I'll be what? looking to collect that. <laughs> what happened what? again if you could remind us I was so fucking excited I mean bought very very good seats to see I think he was at Banker's Life at the time we mm-hmm. talked about it on the program two weeks we did you're very excited yeah Banker's Life so that's not the name of the arena anymore it was when I bought the tickets <laughs> he got uh, like a sore throat or something and was like ah, fuck it I'm not coming to Indianapolis anymore he was in like MSG the next night and then he was supposed to Cancel to cut or he rescheduled to come back here and he just said, Ah, fuck it. I'm I'm not playing any. So you had to get your money back, right? You just didn't get the experience? Yeah. No, I ended up having to sell the tickets for like a third of what I bought them because, you know, no one wanted to to pay that premium to see Elton, you know, when he was kind of just fucking rolling the balls out there and wow. <laughs> oh no. Go Elton, through the motions. Still doing it. I remember Cher came yeah. through town. She was still doing it. Crying. Didn't you see Elton in Pittsburgh? Then you just like stumble into that show? Stumble. No, I was no. there. Me and Z, I uh, actually had to drive around in the uh, parking lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure Ty said he was going to stay in the car. He was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see him in like, two weeks. Yeah. yeah. So I'll oh, just yeah, stay in the, the car. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, because we had to do a run-in to Elton John. Exactly. And we did. And we for did. SeatGeek. Had to get a clip for us at Elton John because yep. SeatGeek, when everybody know they had Elton John, to, it was like yeah. a thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we're there. They get us Elton Tough to get. Oh, yeah. And we're like, yeah, we'll definitely do it. Where, where was it? The casino? Is that what? What else were we doing? Uh, we were there for a uh, pit game on Thursday Night yeah. Football. But there had to be a reason why we didn't want to go to Elton pit John. Carolina, right? There was, far too. Away. Was it dinner? The Italian food? Oh, yeah. oh that, yeah, I think, I think, it, think it, was it was that. Yeah. It might have been. Bill Carr. Bill Carr's hometown. <laughs> yeah. Bro, <laughs> yep. Over Elton John. Yeah. Whatever. We saw him. He came from. Tony was good. Oh, he was good. He was levitating right over here. Yeah. Oh, Rocket man. Shit. Place was packed. How many how many songs do you know of Elton John? You start singing them, I'll start singing along if I know. I didn't claim I didn't claim I know a bunch. I know he's got hits, but I didn't I don't claim to know a whole lot of them. What do you R- Rocket Man, that's one of them. The yeah. guy's a talent. He's a he's a He's an absolute trend center. Hold me closer, tiny dancer. dancer. Come on, bro. What are you talking about? Penny in the jet. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Crocodile Rock. Crocodile Rock. Hell yeah. He's dressed mm-hmm. up. He's wearing like big glasses. He's just fucking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Doing of course, the classic from last year. Saturday. 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 That was for Jeff Saturday when he became the head coach of the Indianapolis Colts. Yeah, and nice. uh, we stopped singing that song after like a week or two. Yeah, after 33 nothing. It became a little different. That was the largest comeback in NFL history. That happened when I was 35 years old. What will happen when I'm 36, I wonder? Awesome stuff. Got a baby Ooh. coming? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That'll be cool. Yeah, Colts yeah. have Anthony yeah. freaking Richardson New quarterback. Now. Yeah. Sent him a DM on Twitter. Nice. nice. He followed me. I followed him. Sent him a DM. He has responded. Says he's going to make a city proud. Okay. Nice. I say, welcome nice. to the city, dude. That's all you can ask for. I say, can't wait to watch you, man. Can't wait to watch you. Honestly, how much better of a pick was that than what it could have been? Oh, my oh God. yeah. Mm-hmm. Exponential. Just at this point. Now, we might look back on this like 10 years. Will Levis goes on to become, you know, some incredible quarterback, which might happen. <laughs> might happen. Absolutely. Not- <laughs> what are you what? laughing so at? Someone what are you laughing at, Pac? What's so. wrong? Jeez. Pac, man. No, no. This kid no. just got drafted. Okay. No, I'm just happy fine. you got. What you didn't want. You wanted Will Levis, obviously, earlier talking talking when we was talking pre draft He was like, oh, I would love to have this. Nah, guy. that's because I was told no. Will Levis was going to be the only one available. Yeah, yeah. Right. Peyton Manning approved. Yeah. Boom. Didn't even get to ask him about that today. No. But I'll tell you what, Anthony Richardson getting drafted instead when all parties were available pretty much. Oh, yeah. I was like, all right, I feel good about that. Because yeah. they felt the same way we did. Hey, nobody can do what that motherfucker can do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nobody can run as fast as him, jump as, as high as him. He can throw the ball naturally. That's what everybody says, natural thrower. It's like, well, can he not get honed in? We saw Josh Allen go from 
not being able to really target oh, people no. to being able to do it because they put a little laser on his arm, yep. on his hip, and he was able to align everything like a golf swing, and he figured it out. He became Josh Allen. It's mm -hmm. like, can that not possibly happen? How about Jalen Hurts? The growth that he had in the crossing routes where he was missing, all of a sudden he starts hitting, and that, instead of being a 15-yard gain, becomes a 45-yard gain. Mm -hmm. It's like there is just like growth that happened with Jalen and growth that has happened with incredibly athletic quarterbacks over the last few years that makes me believe, why not the biggest, strongest, fastest guy 100%. that has ever fucking come yeah. through the combine? Yeah, makes sense. But, and you're going to get to watch him as he, he as he grows like you know like hey th there might be some i mean ballard told us he was like immediately after the first round yeah. exactly like, there it might be a little bit rocky early the guy started what like nine games ten games like he, he hasn't played a bunch of football but it's better than the trey lance route where it's like yeah he right. hasn't played we're gonna you know kind of let him sit behind him and watch and now we're in year three of trey lance and we've seen him play what like six quarters like Hopefully he, you know, stays healthy and everything, but we'll get to see a full season out of Anthony Richardson. You laughed at the thought of Will Levis being a guy. Yeah, here. because yeah. Will What Levis, about Anthony Richardson? Will Levis remind me of uh, Tyson Hill. I put that. Uh, Taysom Hill? Taysom Hill. Got it. Like, I'm not saying that he's not going to be a good player in the NFL, but he's not going to be like a quarterback, I don't think. Hmm. How about Anthony Richardson? I like Anthony Richardson. Um, his guy is, is, is way brighter than the other guy, but I think he got a lot of oh, stuff. Racist, that but... He, <laughs> oh my God! What? Just a little. I'm just saying. Go, what? Sorry. Continue, Patrick. Towards the sky. He was talking about the sky. <laughs> Towards Will Levis, but please continue. <laughs> I mean, you got to call. I mean, that was incredible. Hey, I, I, I got his I gotta athletic say. ability. Is, is <laughs> we're talking about Will Levis right now? Yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> of course we're not. Oh, he's right. Yeah. Okay. Of course. <laughs> Good point. Well, well, well. Is that wow? Interesting. Holy Whoa. shit! Didn't dude. see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Anthony Richardson is awesome. I'm fucking very pumped. <laughs> Bro, his numbers jump through the roof on all elements of what you need to be as a good football so player. Too. The tape don't he add up start? because he didn't have a lot yes. of pieces to the puzzle. But I think he really says good. that, right? No, not only Orshlovsky, Chris Ballard, I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're playing. Like right away, they want to put him in right away? Yeah. 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 Good. I think that's good. Why not? It's true. Like you don't have time to wait around. Yeah, you can learn, I think, from backing up. But then the team doesn't get a chance to learn whether or not you can apply what you have learned yeah. in a moment, you know, because it's a little different. And you don't know either. You don't yeah. truly know, like, okay, yeah, I, I feel great. I feel 100% confident in my abilities. But until you go do it in games, it's still like, okay, hopefully it feels good out there still. It's also, it's not like he's like a pocket passer that's getting drafted where it's like, hey, we need to kind of like bring this guy along a bit. Like he might not be throwing for 300 yards, but like with how athletically gifted he is, like you got to let the guy play. Like, yeah, he might go 9 to 17 some game, but if he rushes for 150 yards and two touchdowns, like right. you'll fucking take that. Well, and for the entire team as a whole, like it's finally, okay, we have a guy that's not just going to be, you know, a trial run this year and then maybe he'll be here next year. Like it's finally like, okay. We got three Years at least. We got at least three Maybe. years with not just Anthony Richardson, but Tony. also with Shane Stein. Don't be a pig. What, what, was, what was the maybe there? Well, I, just, I know he doesn't care as much as Will Evans. That's as I know that. Why? I don't know if that How do you know that? Because he didn't go to the Peyton Manning thing? No. That's uh, not, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't even, I don't, I don't know about He did Anthony go to the Peyton Manning thing. He hit the golf carts one, two, he, and then three was a deep ball, spank, then does the round off backflip thing. Mm -hmm. And Eli, well, you Eli like Manning on a microphone over a full high school stadium. <laughs> Because we didn't know Mary Lou Wrighton was here. Yeah. <laughs> I just watched a video. Yep. Just watched a video literally yesterday. It was awesome. They love him, it seems. Everybody seems to I love him. I was just him. saying, based on reports from Rapport and everybody else and the video of when he got drafted, nobody cares more than Will Levis. Okay? All right. Yeah, you're but, just talking. This is, uh, once again, you're trying to bring up the fact that the intensity. people say Will Levis is super intense. At least he cares. So that's what I'm saying. We yeah. said that about Ken Dorsey. Remember when he freaked out when he lost to the yeah. Dolphins? And he had that full thing, and they said, you should never do that. And we all said, we love that. Yeah, give me that. This guy, guy wants to win. He cares. He cares about his guys down there. His team literally yep. sees anything. This guy's invested just as much yep. as us. Mm -hmm. yep. That is great news. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, can't be a habit. <laughs> okay. No. no. Don't, be, don't be an embarrassment to the program. Okay, don't, don't embarrass the program here. Cannot be a habit, but every once in a while... Hey, we know he's got it there. That's yeah. right. Same thing here with Will Levis, right? Yeah. Same thing with Will Levis. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're going into the NHL um, and people say you're too intense, you know, is that something that's real, you think? How would that even – is that team building that they're worried? Have you heard any of this that I, we're talking about right now? I don't think that would ever be a negative. I don't think so either. Ever. Right? At quarterback, maybe. Well, quarterback, though. yeah. Maybe quarterback? Yeah, I, 
like why, goalie. Why? Because it's 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 more of a cerebral position, and you got to kind of keep your cool and stuff like that. I mean, maybe goal. Yeah. Actually, you know what? No, that's true. For goaltenders, yeah, that is a problem with goalies. You know, a little too intense because yeah. they gotta they gotta be able to even gotta harness it. They gotta right? be able gotta to harness flush out that. the last play, move on, and now that's a good point. I, I, I consider that to be like a you know the quarterback or a pitcher mm-hmm. in baseball would be the goalie. Tell me what great have done that. Just been cool or been the opposite? There's too intense. Opposite. Everybody's too cool. It's Tiger was super intense, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But that's no, different. I'm talking about like quarterback. Oh, you're Got- talking about just you're talking about just football? Yeah. Got it. Jeff Garcia rammed his head into the wall after he scored a touchdown. Remember that? Yeah, that was Gus Farrar. Gus Farrar. That's right. Jim McMahon. Well, Jeff, I think Garcia did too. I think he did too. Garcia might have punted the ball too. He was super athletic. Yeah. Kyle Orton. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm being told <laughs> in my ear, Jake the Snake Plumber. Yep. I'm being told in my Neil O'Donnell was sitting oh, oh, Well, he. You know, John Gruden. The uh, mob got to him. Allegedly. All right. Tony. What? Town. And what? we can't have Tony, that right really? now. Especially in the time that we're in <laughs> Ohio. In the state of Ohio right now, you are not allowed to gamble on the Alabama basketball team. Ba- Why? Baseball. That came out today. Did you what see happened? this? Yeah, baseball. Oh, baseball. I'm sorry. Yeah. Alabama baseball, not oh, basketball. Yeah. I am so sorry. I don't know. They're saying something's up. Yeah, something fishy's going on. Is there a guy from Ohio on the team? <laughs> I don't know. That's <laughs> great. I'm serious. Like, is Ohio, is Ohio directly affected by suspicious this connection? Suspicious activity. Or are they the first ones to acknowledge that they're suspicious activity, you know? Yeah. And what does that mean, suspicious activity? Because that's not good for any sport. No. Uh, in the world of this gambling taking on right now. And, yeah, just weird that someone like uh, someone in Ohio could compromise Alabama baseball, potentially. Yeah, I don't know. Interesting situation brewing in the sports gambling and sports front. Uh, we have another surprise guest, I've been told. Oh, my God. Oh. Football oh. world. Hold on now. Okay. Football world. Uh-huh. Okay. Peyton Manning stopped by. <clears throat> Go. Michael Cole stopped by. Go. Two people that I hold near and dear to my heart who I haven't seen in a bit. Who will it be here? Who could it be? An hour or three. Could, do they like psychedelics? I don't know. Who is it? <laughs> no way. They do. Yeah. Wow. It's a plant, not a drug. What's up, dude? <laughs> Great to see you, man. Hey. Happy birthday, Pat. Dude. 36 years young, buddy. Never looked better. Thank you. Well, I'm starting to get a little fat because I've been enjoying life here for a good four or five days celebrating the birthday. But I'm putting on, that, putting on that baby weight. Yeah, you're Support. right. You're right. I'm prepping alongside the wife for the baby. But, you know, they're saying you're what? Thir- How old are you right now? 39. People are saying you're looking younger and better than ever whenever you're blowing the roof off of mm. MSG. Do you know that? That was the internet comments. I know you try to stay away from that type of stuff. They show you, I think it's a Rangers game. Uh, 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 you're doing that whole thing. The internet's like... Look how young, healthy, and happy Aaron looks. Then at the Knicks game the next day, you're sitting courtside. Jack Harlow's too down. Yep. Alan Lazard's here. What? You go on the big screen. There's stars everywhere. That place popped louder for you than everybody else. How is it been awesome over there, dude? Congratulations yeah. on a fucking great first week, seemingly, in New York. Pat, I'm having a blast. I am having an absolute blast. It's been so fun. Uh, I got here Tuesday night, and so today's like a week, and it's been a blast. It really has. To go to the hockey game, basketball game, meet all my guys, just get to know the facility. Um, you know, I'm starting to look for some places to stay because they got me in the hotel right now, which is great. Greeny. It's like literally two minutes from the facility. But, uh, man, it's been a great week. It really is. Hell, yeah. Hey, how did it how did it feel the first time putting on? I know it's a practice jersey, and you're you're back to your college number. Was it weird at all? Everything's been weird. Everything's been different. It's been change. You're in one spot for 18 years, and now you got a different uh, commute in the morning, different facility. I'm getting lost in the facility, uh, I'm trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go. But man, everybody's been so great. I'm just trying to remember names and get to know everybody. But uh, you know, strength staff's been great. Training staff. Coaching staff, meeting everybody upstairs. It's been so much fun. Get to go to the game, uh, uh, you know, with uh, Brees and Tim and Alan, the hockey game. Then with Alan the next night to MSG. Going tonight with Sauce to the uh, to the Knicks game. So I'm enjoying it, man. It's been it's been so much fun. I can't even tell you. Like you know, just joking with some friends. Going to the the Knicks game the other night. I met uh, Spike Lee, Martha Stewart, and Patrick Ewing, among other. <laughs> <laughs> but and then I'm sitting next to Jack, you know, a couple of seats down. So uh, it's so much fun, man. Just uh, just having a ball. Could you have fathomed that this was what it was going to be like in New York City? Just like I don't know, three years ago, 
Think about that. Honestly. Yeah. And then now, literally the bell of the ball, you're, you're providing hope for a lot of these people. Like, for the first time, long time in the football world, I'm happy you're getting to experience it. I, I, I truly am happy that you're experiencing it all. What do you think whenever you go into the facility, though? Do you have to re, like, start everything now? Because, like, training people, equipment people. I saw the, the clothes you had on. Like, that's a full conversation that has to happen with the equipment staff. What helmet, what pads everything like that. How has it been there? And do you feel like it's like uh, another start fresh moment for you? And who knows where you're gonna go? And how's that been? Yeah, it's been great. I mean, everything is new. It's like the first day of school every single day. There's new people to meet and got to figure out your routine and, you know, where the laundry loops go and, and you know, mail and cleats and weight room shoes and all this stuff, everything's new and exciting and fun. Uh, I'm just pinching myself a lot of days. Just, I, I can't believe, uh, you know, it's real sometimes. So it's been, it's been a dream for sure, uh, just to be here. Uh, definitely feel energized uh, to be in the building. That takes nothing away from the 18 beautiful years I spent in Green Bay. I mean, that was, like, how can you ask for any uh, anything better than that? And, and just such a special place to play. Um, but. Yeah, 18 years, the same spot. You also get used to everything, and everything is just kind of the same old, same old in a lot of ways, which has its beauty for sure. But with everything being new and embracing the change and, and the, just the things that maybe aren't as comfortable as they used to be, it's been a lot of fun. And I think everybody's excited to, to have me here, and it's been fun to meet all the guys. And as guys start to trickle in and get to, you know, get to spend some time with CJ Uzama today, who's an awesome guy, and, and Nicole, and, and, uh, Got my locker next to Allen, so that's some familiarity there. But it's been been fun to get to know the guys, start working with my cadence, and just kind of easing into it all. It's been been a blast, and all the other things that uh, the city has to offer. Um, you know, it's, everything's new and different and exciting, and I'm just enjoying it, man. I really am. Yeah, you're going to be the king of that place, bro. You win, mm -hmm. and it seems like everything's going to work out. You are. And you said it seems like they're excited you're here. The owner was the first person that was sitting at the door, bro. Mm -hmm. You are be loved over there right now. And I think you're going to continue to crush it. I think a lot of people are saying this. You don't have to answer because you come from a place of love. I get it. It feels like a lot of people are like, hey, we got a motivated fucking Aaron Rodgers. Yep. We got a young team that's ready to go. Seems like it's going to work perfect. We are, we've already hammered. Yeah. It's, it's I mean, we've done. already, yeah. we, but we're believers. Just know that. Yeah. And obviously people are going to say, of course we are, but Peyton Manning talked to us. He said the big issue that happens with some veteran quarterbacks that go to a new home is they try to change the cadence or change the plays, change the offense, and the quarterback has to learn it all. And by learning it all, you have to unlearn all the shit that you basically had before, and you have to adjust. When he went to Denver, they said, hey, what is Peyton's offense? And then they mix some of theirs in, so it was an easier transition for him. With Nathaniel Hackett being the offensive coordinator, we all just assume that you know the playbook inside and out, you know the game and everything. Is that an accurate assessment? And how has that been just kind of picking up right from day one there with Garrett and the offense as a whole? Well, listen, that's the off season, so we're easing into it for sure. But I obviously have a deep familiarity with uh, Coach Hack's offense and everything he wants to do. So uh, there's a few new terms he's changed, actually, for the better, honestly. Just some simplification of some formations and change some verbiage around that makes more sense to him. So it's learning little things like that. But cadence is going to be my cadence that I've used my entire career. Um, so it'll be fun to, to, you know, I was doing it today in some of the – QB center exchanges, just testing those guys with different uh, inflections and long counts and short counts and and all that stuff. So uh, it's fun to fun to be here and be a part of it. Obviously, Garrett, you know, he's a talented guy, and man, it's it's uh, threw him a pass today and just kind of turned and was like, "Wow, that was <laughs> just his ability to kind of get in and out of his break." Because there's another 17 I played with for a long time who does it better than anybody, mm -hmm. and uh, but the explosiveness in and out of the breaks. Uh, to 17 here is uh, is pretty similar. Hell yeah, go ahead, AJ. Hey, what's what's been the coolest thing so far? I know you courtside everything. What's the coolest thing out of the whole experience? Uh, I don't know. I mean, there's been so many. It's hard to just pick one. The when we went to the hockey game, Tim and I. Uh, well, Tim was at Wicked actually. He was watching the Broadway play, but uh, Alan Brees and I went over and did a little shopping beforehand and saw a bunch of people out. It was a rainy day, but uh, just the comments from the fans just on the street was pretty pretty awesome. 
uh, just people excited. I mean, they wouldn't let me play, pay for my pizza, you know, little things like that, which is cool. But just the, the kind words. Obviously, New York is a great sports city. They expect winning as well. So as long as you're winning, you're going to be in yeah, a good great fruit, which we expect to. But but just those are fun interactions for sure. The excitement um, of just kind of everything being new and their excitement with me coming to town has been fun. But, you know, I get to go to work with – Zach and Zach and I have become uh, good friends the last couple of years and Tim and Tim and I are really, really close. And Chris is also in the room was a great dude and Hackett and, and Rob, the quarterback coach, who's a dead ringer for Evan Moore age. You probably remember Evan Moore tight end. So that's kind of funny. I look over sometimes and I'm like Evan, <laughs> no, no, it's Rob. Um, but just the communication has been great. You know, I was actually just in Joe's office before, I, before I came over here. So I had to push it back a little bit, but just to, relationship with him has been great and rob sala and old brick who age you know who's an awesome guy and just kind of getting to know everybody and enjoying it uh, mike uh, nicolini the strength coach has been great to work with he's been helping me out in the weight room and and uh you know yeah. we work we work like it's it's uh they're, Tell they're you what to pack on some muscle. You want you to put on 15, 20 pounds of muscle, maybe? You squatting, dude? We running a little bit this year more? I was, yeah, I was under the bar today, man. Any day that I squatted <laughs> is a good day. Hell yeah. Building back up, though. Building back up. Not the four plates yet. So just building back up. Well, uh, we saw you throw a little bit the other day, and it was a May ball. And I don't think we've seen a May ball out of Aaron Rodgers. Looks like the ball's spinning pretty good. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Was there any off season this year? Did you take a break? Have you been training? Like, is this year different than other years? And how has it been? I guess experiencing and learning here through OTAs. Listen, I think I think I'll be able to throw pretty good to him about sixty or seventy. I think that's just what. The Hell of, yeah! What? See those mountains yeah, over buddy. there, Paul? <laughs> Hell yeah! I mean, I bet you Dan Marino could pick up a ball right now and sling that thing around a little bit. So I, I think I'll still be able to throw for a long time. That's not a problem. Um, you know, with with Ryan, my trainer out west, we really focused a lot of the off-season work on single leg stuff. Um, and we do some testing as well to kind of check those numbers. And the, and the numbers definitely improved this year. So I'm thankful for him and his staff for all the work we put in. But, you know, I want to make sure I was ready to go once this, this started. Obviously, I've spent a lot of time in, uh, out west over the last few years in the off-season, which has honestly been incredible for me because – those workouts there, my body work guy Tommy out there, um, the structure is so incredible. I feel like that's what puts me in my best shape to be successful once the season starts. But I knew with a new team that I'm going to have to be here a little bit more just to get to know the guys, let them feel the cadence and uh, start to, you know, step into the leadership role that uh, is, uh, you know, is going to be up open for my, you know, seamless transition there as a quarterback. Um, so definitely wanted to be here uh, a little bit more. But I'm still, you know, going to take some time and and uh, get back out west at some point. But I'll, you know, definitely be here uh, for probably, you know, more than half of the remaining days. But I really wanted to be here the first week to uh, to get to know the guys and to uh, go through the workouts and, and be around. And, and then, you know, I have some things planned. I got to miss a few days. But, uh, but it's been good to be out here with all the guys. And I think... You know, guys feel the energy that uh, that I've been bringing and that I kind of bring on a daily basis, and I think there's a lot of excitement around here. I think so, too. And the relationship building is the biggest part of this whole thing for you, I'd assume. And getting to do that, you just listing off all the people you were hanging with, mm -hmm. got a chance to do this earlier today. CJ, who's on and I were just talking. I was in Joe Douglas's office before we came here. Like, it seems like you got to expedite that all pretty quickly so that when the season comes, we're already there. You're doing a fan. It seems like a home run here the first week. Everybody except for Packers fans are viewing it that way. Ty has a question <laughs> for you, Aaron. Yeah, unfortunately, Aaron. I mean, I, I knew it was going to happen. Obviously, you came on the show and told us that, you know, you your intention was going to be to play for the Jets, and I kind of saw the writing on the wall. Um, but, goddamn, when I saw you wearing eight in that Jets, you know, practice jersey, it just feels like a piece of my heart's missing. It's not easy to process. It's not easy to swallow. It's a lot harder than I thought it would actually hey, be. It's going to be okay. But, okay, okay. but I am jacked to hear that you're excited out there, and I'm very excited to watch you play this year. Now, listen, one thing I would ask is, you know, Rangers games are nice. Uh, Knicks games are nice. Could you maybe run it up the ladder to someone and be like, hey, I'd love to throw out a first pitch at Yankee Stadium and turn the fucking juju around there because the Yankees are in the basement right now. And I think if, you know, you bring some of that positive energy that you've already been bringing to the mana. practice field, some of that, mana, yeah, that great mana. mana, 
that that would really kind of put things over the top for me. So, I mean, is there has there been any discussions <laughs> about getting you out to Yankee Stadium and having you fucking burn one down the middle for the first pitch? Listen, I would love to. I really would. Uh, Ty, good to see you, by the way. Let me just say, I'm sorry I couldn't be on the uh, draft spectacular, but I saw some clips. Uh, <laughs> and you were fucking incredible. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. The fact that you battled through uh, a double ear infection uh, is pretty incredible. So kudos to you. Everybody was great. And all the clips I saw looked like it was a lot of fun. And you guys had some entertainment there as well with right. the woman on the uh, unicycle. <laughs> that was pretty incredible. Escape hero. It seems to get better, yeah, get better every year. But uh, but listen, the, the Mets actually reached out. Don't do it. Don't do it. Wow. Hell yeah. Oh. Have, them play the, have, have them play the trumpets. Haven't, haven't heard from... The Yankees yet, though. I don't know if oh, they tried geez. to do that or not, but the hell's I would uh, I would love to uh, to do that wow. at some point. So you- I want to go to Yankee Stadium and and, uh, and City Field as well, both of them. But um, I haven't thrown a first pitch out in a while, so um, not sure what it would be. But I'd be definitely trying to throw that tank pretty hard. <laughs> Remember, you got to throw through the catcher. Yeah, right. Because a lot of people skipping it because they think they got to throw it down. You got to throw it through the catcher, Aaron. Just you know. You need to know. Do you have to? Is there? Do you have to throw it from the mound? Or have can you throw, throw it. You throw have to throw it. Mm-hmm. What are we yes. talking about? Yes. What was the question? Mean, what are the rules here? Is, is everything okay? Open? What just happened? Is your arm hurt? Are you okay? Yeah, second I mean, base. I think Fouts even went up to the rubber. He did. Fouts yeah. wants yeah. the second base. Actually, your guy. Yeah. Oh. And he holds his nose when he jumps Strike. in the pulls. How's what? Does he remember? Does he remember doing that or not? Because I feel like his memory's been. Oh. Of course. You and Woody have any conversations on a daily basis, or how's yeah. that whole thing? How, how is Woody? Seems like he loves you, bro. Uh, we've had a lot of conversations. I think I think he's back. Uh, I think he's not here right now, but we had plenty of conversations, um, and he's obviously excited, and I'm excited, and appreciate him believing in me and bringing me in. And um, he's been great. Uh, his brother Christopher is an awesome dude, and we've had some great conversations as well, and had some dinner the other night together, a bunch of us. Um, it's been great. I mean, every, everybody's been fantastic, and it's been fun to meet to, to meet everybody and feel them out, see the personalities and how they fit in. And um, like I said, it's been a dream. Just been pinching myself every day, just how special this opportunity is, and it's fun. I mean, like change change can be great. Change can be great. It's difficult for sure. I mean, there's some weird, weird bittersweet moments. Um, you know, driving into one Jets drive a little different than driving into twelve sixty five in Lombardi every day. Um, but but I'm enjoying it and and uh, just really happy to be here. All right, well, I, I can't thank you enough for joining us on this particular day. What do you got the rest of the day? Anything? Yeah, I'm going to the Knicks game tonight. Oh yeah, with Sauce. I remember Hell, that. Yeah. You gonna stop by Wicked too, like old Tim? I'd like to. I'd like to definitely. I'd, I'd like to see some some Broadway stuff. I've seen uh, Book of Mormon. And uh, in Hamilton a couple times over the years, but I'd definitely like to see Wicked at some point. I, what about you? It's your birthday. What are you doing for your birthday? Right here. You're looking at it, pal. Doing a program. Well, you guys are almost done. What are you doing? What are you doing? Well, I'm going to piss for sure. And then I uh, I, I hammered a couple beers out of Lorda. What? I don't know. We'll probably have a good time. Vibes will be high. Hell yeah. I assume a couple, we'll, couple vitamins, maybe. Right. Maybe some right. vitamins in the house that yeah. Jesus built here, maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, That's who knows, nice. Aaron? We might do it. I enjoy, though. I've gotten into it. I don't know about you. The NHL playoffs and the NBA playoffs have been awesome. I've really enjoyed it. Have you been in that hotel? Are you watching that at night or are you out and about? Listen, one of the things I love about the West Coast is that all these games are on early. So the first game's on like at 4, the second game's on like 6.30 or whatever, 7.30 maybe at the latest. So, you know, when those get done, you still don't have to go to bed. Out here, you know, the Lakers game is starting at 10.30 Eastern. It's a little hard to to commit to staying up that late, but – I'm loving it, except for the Bucks Heat series in the mm. first round. That was a rough one for the Bucks. Jimmy Butler, Jimmy Butler yeah. just went absolutely crazy. I mean, what an animal that guy is! But uh, disappointed for the Bucks. But I love I love playoff hockey and and uh, been enjoying uh, watching the other series. I mean, how can you not love basketball? Watching Steph Curry play. I mean, that guy is just incredible. Um, what he did breaking the game seven points record and fifty points and. Uh, what a great series that was, and and excited to see you know the NBA. The NBA is better when you know when the stars are playing and having the Lakers in it uh, and the Knicks in it, yep. and 
and obviously the Golden State Warriors uh, playing so good is, is uh, great for the NBA, obviously great for the Radians, and I can't wait to see this uh, seven-game series with uh, with L.A. And, and Golden State. It's going to be pretty awesome. Yeah, you think the, they're definitely going to have that happen, the NBA? Yeah, they, they want to. Yeah, they're excited about it. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. I, think, I think there is – that feels like one of the easiest. Yeah, this has to go seven of all time. Yeah. And also, not only the NBA. You think LeBron or Steph are going to going to budge an inch? No, no, no way. No, no way. way. Draymond. No, no way. Uh-uh, way. Won't let it happen. Hey, they told Dylan Brooks, "You are not being brought uh, brought back to the Grizzlies ever yeah. under any circumstance. Under any circumstances. You know, they kind of poked the bear there a little bit. That's what happens to like you guys that get up into the yeah. the goat conversation or like." Don't piss them off. Listen, we just need to mm-hmm. not piss them off. Happen to Bron Bron. Happen to Bron Bron here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's some guys, you know, like like the Bron. It's not a whole lot you can say to him because um, he's done it all. But, the same thing with Steph. You start talking a little bit crazy, you're, you're asking for a yep. clutch performance. Now, Bron, you know, I mean, he might score 50 this series. He hasn't scored 50 in a while, I don't think, but – he dominates in other ways, ball control, passing, rebounding, both ends. You're watching them, like, blocking shots on one end, starting to break, and it seems like their team has really come together after the trade. And then with the Warriors, you know, getting uh, getting Wiggins back was obviously huge. And then the way that uh, Kayvon Looney, who I'm, I'm sure you're a big fan of fact. Cause Dog. He's, uh, 22 rebounds. By the way, by the way, you know who our punter is, right? Oh. He loves you. Thomas Morstead. Yeah, Man, he's a dog. He's a big, he's a big McAfee fan. He taught me how to punt my rookie year. That's what he said. That's what he said. He helped you. He didn't say he taught you. He said he helped you. Well, I'll fix what he said. He taught me. <laughs> uh-huh. He taught me how to punt. I had no idea. He figured it out, which led to Tim Maste being your guys' punter. Hey, he uh, he's got some pipes on him too. That boy, he enjoys enjoys working out. Bro, he'll do these hanging things in the uh, rack where he'll do and he'll just post them. And I'm like, hey, you don't have to do like a hundred of those. Like people do like twenty of those for like an exercise. He's doing like a hundred. He's become an absolute. He was just a nerd. Like he was a long legged, super intelligent, could bomb balls like nerd. And then he started working out. He's a specimen, Aaron Thomas Morstead. As are you, pal. He said that you back then were talking about parlaying your career into a WWE career. He said he talked about it way back when. And look at us it's now. Pretty huh? impressive. Look it's pretty us. impressive. You're manifesting things. Look at you. Hell yeah. You just got to say it publicly. years young. Just <laughs> manifest it your whole life, man. I'm an old but, man. I'm an old man now, and I'm lucky to have people like you inside of it. Uh, I appreciate you so, so much. And uh, thank you for stopping by, brother. Keep killing it in New York. Happy birthday, buddy. Thank Let you. me know next time you want me to come on. I miss you guys. We miss you too, man. Aaron Rodgers. Thank you. Yeah. When the lights went down, down in the Thunderdome. <laughs> no, no. Happy birthday, Not again, boys. To you. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Fire AJ, you have no idea. Oh, he's, AJ. Who made it? AJ. Did someone make that? AJ hates cake. Uh, who, no, no I like King of Cake Boss. Chocolate buddy. cake. Chocolate chocolate cake. cake, 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 cake chocolate chocolate chip. Cake Boss made it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, AJ, you're a chocolate you chocolate chip. You're too cool to come. Hey, that's. <laughs> hey, thank you. Hell yeah. That was very, very cool. I saw Val poke her head out over there, and I'm like, fucking Val's here? <laughs> and then I saw she was attached to a balloon. And then the whole thing, then the lights went out, and Aaron was giving a great answer. Mm hmm. <laughs> I love. It. I mean, I very much thank you guys for coming in here. Where's Chuck? Thank you. He would not. He would shit and piss all over the whole place. Yeah, Chuck. Uh, Chuck's oh, not no. mobile right yeah, now. Yeah, Mike, the <laughs> Lord Stanley Cup guy, actually said that Chuck's not allowed to be within fifty feet. Uh, here. Mike just doing the Stanley Cup. Yeah, it was a smart play with that particular dog. Because yeah. I do love that dog, but not as much as I love that dog right there. Mm-hmm. Me and that that dog is um, had to go through four cancer surgeries. That dog was uh, on the street, pretty much. Sam found her, and then she came into my life. Come here, girl. I don't know how you're going to get here. Uh, she's... Don't move Jabba. Yeah, don't move Jabba. Yeah, now do not, not Bruce. Hey, girl. Hey, come on. Come on. Hell yeah. Yeah. Nice. 
Hell yeah. Put that, yeah, yeah, put yeah. that Denardo shirt on her. <laughs> she, uh... Hey, Val. Oh, is, man, if she took a dump right now. No, Val, don't. She so wouldn't awesome. do that. Val wouldn't do that. She has had the runs over the last couple of days, though. <laughs> so if, if now was the time. She's beat cancer four times, four different surgeries. She's like the first dog that I've, like, you know... Mm -hmm. Connected with? Yeah, she's hey, my girl. Yeah, lay down, girl. You want to, or are you out of here? But that cake... Yeah, the cake's going to be so good. I'm so fat right now, AJ. Since Saturday, the wife put together a little bowling event on Saturday. They had great food. And I, um, I was eating it all. And then it's I, birthday yeah, week. Yeah. Birthday week, man. You can do it. Oh, I know, but I, I can't turn off the spigot. Oh, wow. Look, Look at that, that. cake. You oh. cheating? Nice. Huh? Cake cheating? boss came through. Dude, I've been cheating. Yeah, I've been eating bad. Oh, and with keto, good. you start eating bad. It, it, yeah. It's over. Cake it, boss. It, buddy? It, buddy came through? Yeah. I, I don't know if Buddy from Cake Boss came he did. through. He did. He did. That's, that's his work. I He's on it. DoorDash. All right, so let's do this. Let's take a break. Okay. All right, on the other side, we'll do phone calls and giveaway. Okay. Yeah. Big time giveaway. We've got potentially 30 winners of $500 on it. Damn. Whoa. Whoa. Could be 10, could be 20, could be 30 winners of $500. Okay. Our Stanley Cup champion will have to step up to the plate mm -hmm. and deliver a pickleball into a hole. Okay. He'll have three oh. opportunities, 10 winners per opportunity. Okay. Ooh. He goes one of three, 10, two of three, 20. What? Three of three, yes. which is possible. 30 winners wow. of 500 Come on now. Pew, 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 pew. All right, Just quick 15 grand, no big deal on your shoulders, Rupp. Hey. A lot of pressure, man. Big shoulders, tall shoulders. Yeah. Yes. yes. Huge head. Huge. <laughs> Massive dome. All right, be a friend, tell a friend. You are all way too kind. Take five. 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 Today has become a massive day in our program's history because just yesterday at about 5.15 p.m., I was sent a text that said, hey, I think it's time. And I said, what do you mean you think it's time? I think it's time to let the world hear where we're at. And I said, Aaron, you let me know if you want me to let the world know about you coming on tomorrow. And he said, yeah, let's do it. I put a tweet out yep. saying, hey, listen, you are cordially invited to Aaron Rodgers Wednesday, tomorrow, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, just 56 minutes 34 seconds away from right now, ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Rodgers. Yeah! What's up, dude? Good uh, afternoon. Good morning here. Good afternoon there. There's a lot going on in your world, bro. I don't even know if you know this or if you've been so locked in. This isn't a decision day. This isn't me deciding and announcing to the world that this is what's going on. In fact, that's already happened. You know, we're, we're, we're actually days past this. This is kind of clearing things up, I think, for everybody interested. And I'm going to get into this now, if you don't mind, Pat. I'm going to go for a little bit here. Hey, guys, there's 430,000 people currently, so a lot more people watching than normal. And they are all interested because you're a fucking dog. Oh, as a football player, so go ahead and do your thing, pal. The timeline, which I think is important, that's why I'm going to go through it, is that in 2020, they drafted Jordan to replace me. There wasn't replacement right away, but as is the case with the Packers and, and kind of the way they do things, they like to get rid of players like a year early instead of a year late in their minds. There's probably some people who believe that I was a descending player and that it was time to make a change. Everything that I was told in the week that I was in Green Bay was, take as long as you want. We want you to retire Packer. If you want to come back and play... Obviously, the door is wide open. I came out of the darkness, something changed. I'm not exactly sure what that was, but something changed. I got back to my phone after five days off of it. I realized that there had been a little bit of a shift. I heard from multiple people that I trust around the league, players mostly, that there was some shopping going on. They were interested in actually moving me. At this point, you know, I, I got to admit, I went in the darkness, 90% retiring, 10% pulling. My mind was, I'm, I'm tired of this. I hadn't got back into my workouts yet, and I thought that that was what was best for me. So I went in the darkness to contemplate a lot of different things, but one day I spent entirely on the reality I was retired, and one day I spent entirely on the reality that I was coming back to playing. When I came out, it was clear to me at that point that although the Packers were going to say the right thing publicly, that they were ready to move on. I don't know what changed that or what moved that. If they just said, hey, we need to make a decision here because he hasn't made a decision yet. Again, there's no victims here. I'm not sitting here as a victim. I love Green Bay. I love the fan base. They're incredible. I live for playing for them. A lot of love for the organization. I just think I wish that in the beginning of the offseason, that had been the conversation. This is a credible profession, but it's a tough business. You've said that and for a long time. Some of these issues were things I was talking about two years ago. It was how do we treat older players on the way out? And it's ironic that now I'm, you know, I'm that player. But I think that's the beauty in life is the sense of humor that the universe has. No malice, no bitterness towards the Packers. So I've shifted my focus to entertaining what the plane would look like. The Packers granted, obviously, permission for the Jets to come out and visit. We had a nice visit. At this point, as I sit here, you know, I think since Friday, I made it clear that my intention was to play and my intention was to play for the New York Jets. 
Okay. Uh, I haven't been holding anything up at this point. It's been compensation that the Packers are trying to get for me, kind of digging their heels in. So I would just, uh, <laughs> I think it is interesting at this point to step back and look at the whole picture. My side, love and appreciation, gratitude for everything that Green Bay has done for me. Love, so much love and gratitude and just heart open for the Packer fans and what it meant to be their quarterback. And also the reality of the situation. Like, it is what it is. Packers would like to move on. They've let me know that in so many words. Because I still have that fire and I, I, and I want to play and I would like to play in New York. It's just a matter of getting that done at this point. Okay, people in New York are doing this right now. People in New York are pumped right now. You sent a list of demands. Need you to sign Lazard. You need to sign Randall Cobb. I want Jordy Nelson out of the fucking yeah. ranch. Did that all happen? <laughs> It's so ridiculous. Hey, that's yeah. happening though. Like you need to oh, know. Yeah. Ask Schefter what I texted him when he somehow got my number and texted me. I didn't respond to Diana Rossini, I think her name is. I would say the same thing that I told Schefter. Lose my number. Nice try. Schefter tweeted the photo. He said, uh, Aaron did not lie. There it is. That's confirming. Lose my number. Good try though. I'll speak for myself. I'm sure there'll be people <laughs> that have their sources. From what I've seen, it's like I had a sheet of paper when I met with the Jets and I said, uh, sign these people. And that's not the reality. It's so stupid to think that I would do it number one. Now, did they ask me about certain guys that I played with over the years? Of course. Did I talk glowingly about teammates that I love? Yeah, why wouldn't you? Sue me, guys. don't actually. Like, my only demand is for transparency. And if you say some bullshit, sometimes it's not even worth it. But like I said, when something gets out there and then assumed to be true, then it can take on a life of its own. It can go from, oh, there's a conversation about 20 different players to, oh, he wants these guys to be signed, otherwise he doesn't want to come. It's like, come on, what are we talking about? Yeah, it's all in the delivery of the information. And I'm just really, really thankful. I got to be the starting quarterback of the Packers for 15 years. I got to be in an organization for 18 years. 18 years, that's a teenager. That's becoming an adult. And that's what I did there. And it was because of the people I met there and the places I went and the times that I had. I love you, Green Bay. Thank you. And I'm as sad as some of you are, but we'll meet again. Massive show yesterday. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. But Thank you, everybody. And that says that the peak concurrence were 496, 285, but I've seen a lot of photos from people that are 498. Oh. Nonetheless, felt like afterwards, looking back on it, everybody was hanging out with us yeah. yesterday. Obviously, Obviously not because of us, we know that. But Aaron, what a dog, dude. Since November of last year, the Chiefs are 20 and two against all other teams other than the Bengals. They're 0 and three against the Bengals. This team is beloved by that city for good reason. They're tough, they're explosive. What? Defense aside, they ripped the ball out of Travis Kelsey's hands. Oh, yeah. There's some dogs out there running around. Mm -hmm. It's a fucking miracle that the Bengals have been able to do what they've been able to do. They yeah. just got an indoor bubble this past off season. This is the first winter that they've been able to go in a bubble to practice. Yeah. Just in case, a fucking blizzard comes through Cincinnati, Ohio. This team didn't even have a fucking sponsor for their stadium until this year. They're running with P. Ryan right now. He's their second string running back. He's unbelievable. And yeah, you're T. Higgins. But they get Jamar back. They're getting Joe Mixon back. They're Hurst was so on the sidelines, I think. Uh -huh, Hurst. So hopefully he comes back or yep. whatever. We got a guy who's, he is an Ohio fuck. Yes. Playing quarterback who's incredibly tough, confident, and talented. He is obviously the leader of that team and how they go. And they're going to prove to be able to win for the long haul here because they got a guy at quarterback and they got multiple positions around them that are very, very tough. The offensive line seems to be figuring it out. Beginning of the year, we didn't know if this brand new offensive line where you got new security in town, ain't nobody gonna touch you anymore. If they were gonna be able to be worth a fuck this year, they seemingly are. Mm -hmm. P. Ryan coming together is huge for them. He has a different running style than Mixon. Oh, yeah. He's a different player than Mixon. They're gonna be able to probably put them both back there at some point. This team is fun to watch. They get a massive win over the Chiefs who I'm not. Listen, Travis Kelsey doesn't get the ball ripped out of his hand. That's not, that doesn't happen. Sometimes I don't know how you hold on to the ball. Like you got to get down as fast as you can. He, Kelsey started to try to get down. He realized, uh oh, this one feels like it's coming out. Okay. There, he's trying to go down right there. Trying to get that knee down. Bro, yeah, and he was real close too. They, they ran mm. a replay. It was very close, not close enough, obviously. The ball did come out. I think we all agree his on that. His arm is right in there. He probably pulled right the tip right out of there. Jeez. What, that guy's arm, you, you mm. get five points of pressure is like, hey, we need, need the hand. Obviously, the back end of the side of it, put it against your tit high and tight or whatever. Blah, 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 run with this. If if a guy has enough time to get his hand in you, like jujitsu almost, like pointing on your lip, oh, oh, and yeah. then like getting your hand in there, that's gonna be tough to hang on. If they get the tip, it's over. No matter how many points of pressure you have, it seems like the one that really matters is the fucking back end. If they get that thing, that thing's out. What a play. That was a miscue that we're not used to seeing out of the greatest tight end of all time, statistically, Travis Kelsey. Then Bucker misses a kick. What a game. I mean, we've been waiting for that type of game for a long time. Two teams living up to expectations, playing great football against each other in a fantastic environment. Oh, that was a playoff game we got to watch yesterday.
Hey, why? Let's go. This show fucking stinks. And the fact that you listen, we are very, very thankful for it. AJ, you never cease to amaze me with your toxicity, pal. You got a couple of these? God damn it! <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Fuck, fucking cop. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to our humble abode, the Thunderdome, as Rupper warms up for a giveaway on this Tuesday, May 2nd, 2023. Hour 4 starts now. Happy Happy Hell, Happy yeah. Back. Hell yeah, we did it. Uh, it is great to be back. It has been an incredible day. That's AJ Hawk, the Toxic Tables here at Boston Connor, and Ty Schmidt. One half of the hammer, Don. Don, Cowboys turn digs. That was a scooter right. that I will be using on a golf course near yes. you. Goes 28 miles an hour, what? has its own cooler and divot seed filler thing. Mm -hmm. It is a machine that needs to be seen, so I need to golf in that thing. Gift from the boys, as was a lot of other stuff that happened today. Peyton Manning stopped by. Surprise. Yeah. Sweet. He did. Nice. Jim Furyk didn't know. He no. did. Jimmy wasn't. <laughs> he Jimmy did. didn't know. Jimmy, Jimmy did. Jimmy did a Lordo stop by out of yeah. nowhere. Aaron Rodgers just stopped. We had Aaron Rodgers uh, Tuesday. Yeah. 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 It's been an incredible day. Yeah. Hell yeah. Rupper is about to win some money for some let's people here it. in a little bit, but let's answer some phone calls and then let's get out of here. All right. All right. I've got a big night ahead uh, with my bride and my dog. And yep. You guys watching right. Avatar? What's that? You guys watching Avatar? Oh. Smart. Maybe we finish Avatar. Good. Oh, yeah. Run oh. back and just watch Top Gun for the third yeah, night. Yeah, you in should a row. do that. Two nights in a row. Yeah. I've got it. The last 40 minutes of Top Gun Maverick. Just understand oh, good story to get here. Boom. Super mm -hmm. serious, super emotional. Great story has been built. Pop in with 40 minutes left. Yeah. We'll and go. strap up. Yeah. yeah right. Think about buying a seatbelt and then actually on your couch putting on that fucking seatbelt. Fights on, bro. Yep. Mm -hmm. It is awesome. Yeah. It's two different movies, too. You know, it's a two. Yeah. It's the mission, then it's the oh, yeah. oh fuckery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then that's yep. really you, you, you even watching 40 minutes, you tear up a little bit. Oh yeah. yeah absolutely. Oh yeah. Multiple times. There's a lot of different situations in that movie where you could get emotional, I feel like. Even yeah. in the last 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is so maybe you're right. What am I even yeah, thinking? Yeah, watching probably. anything else. Yeah, like mm -hmm. Run it back then again. <laughs> Not broken, Fuck. don't fix it. Hey, Miles Teller, good actor in there. Oh, yeah. Great. You missed his shimmy, though, if you only watch the final 40 minutes. Sure, okay. You don't get the rooster shuffle. Anyways, the wife and I are probably going to watch that and some other stuff. You know, and just Avatar. wait. Maybe the end of Avatar. Maybe. I mean, what's on tonight, sports-wise? Lakers going Lake to the thing. Oh, I'll be watching yes. LeBron and Steph. That'll be a preview. So everything will be leading up to. Yep. She'll fall asleep. She is pregnant. Yeah, sure. That game's at 10. So then I will end my birthday with. A gummy. A Bud. couple, yeah. But. Ride. Just one. Yeah, we're going to go to a state where it's legal. We're going to drive to Illinois for a night. Yeah, that's right. Got a house right on the border. I was going right. to say your house is right there, so who cares? Yeah, we just kind of head right over there. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, it should be a great night. I thank you all for being so incredibly kind. Let's go to the phones, and then let's get the hell out of here. Five Energy Phone Line has provided some incredible times mm -hmm. on this particular program. It's made it on the TMZ, yeah. the Five Energy Phone Line. Yeah. Just the other day, we had an incredible caller named Bob yeah. that led to a <laughs> singing of a song that none of us had heard in probably 20, 30 years. Long time. What will the five energy phone line bring today? Trent in he spelled Oklahoma O A K. Sweet. Oklahoma. Oh, what's, up, what's going on, pal? Hello, okay. Sound it out. Hey, I'm in Stillwater. Shout out Oklahoma State. Shout out. Hey, yeah. uh, go pokes. Yeah. Yep. Go pokes. Go pokes. Go, go pokes. Hey, I got two things for you guys. Okay. So my buddy's twenty first birthday is tonight. Hell yeah. I'm gonna smash a few briskies. Right. Can I get a birthday, Jake? I don't want to feel the shine from you, Pat. All right. Yeah, we. So this is an interesting situation because I have a big time. Can't be doing shout outs to people on mm -hmm. the thing because then that's what every single call turns into. Mm -hmm. But it is a birthday shout out, and it's my birthday. And he said, "Don't want to take the shine away from you." It, it's an interesting. This guy really put me in a in a yeah, it's quite, a, quite a bit. I will say happy birthday to this particular guy. Happy birthday to Jake. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Over there in Stillwater, turn 21, mix in some waters. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Have the time of your life. And pal. some boobs. We're pumped for you. Sure. Definitely. Can't have calls <laughs> becoming shout outs to other people, though. No. Yeah. You will no. get run quickly. But because that was a birthday, and it is a birthday, it's a good day. It's a good day. Yeah. Happy birthday, Jake. Happy birthday, Jake. 
<laughs> Did oh, not yeah. see that coming from Oklahoma. Yeah, OAK. Mitt knew something was awry. Let's go to Justin in Connecticut, the great state. What's going on, Yuck. Pal? Hey, fellas. How you doing? Keep it moving. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, Pat, uh, so we share a birthday today, so I want to wish you a happy birthday. The guy before me ruined for the, the shout-out, but it's all good. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Yeah, happy yeah, birthday okay. to you, Pat. Yeah. I, oh, I didn't know it was your yeah, birthday. I appreciate it. This is my birthday, too. Uh, happy I birthday. I appreciate it. Um, it's not my birthday. One other thing, I got a question for Rupper, but before, uh, I just want to say, very looking much forward to uh, the type of dad that you're going to be. I'm very happy for you and the wife. Thank looking you, forward man. to that. Very good. Uh, you. And you're going to be a fantastic dad. Hell yeah, um, I hope so. Rupper, uh, wanted to quickly talk about uh, Rangers-Devils. Uh, what the fuck happened to the Rangers? You know, first two games, put the beat down on the Devils, and then uh, completely turned it around. What did the Devils do to uh, neutralize the Rangers and uh, basically kick their ass for the rest of the series? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh no, oh, baby. Hey, oh, baby. No. Uh, no. We, we had a little. We had Mike, a little come, grab it, Mike. come grab the real one, Mike. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> And hey, y'all could have seen that dude face over there with the hair. It was oh, the right God. one. It was the right oh, one. God. It was the right oh, cup. Shit. Oh, shit. Baby oh, Lordo. Oh, my God. <laughs> Lordo's child has been murdered. It was such a good birthday. Oh, no. Oh, Still a no. good birthday. Still a hey, good birthday. Good Still a good birthday. Still a good birthday. Oh, my God. He's over there. What the uh, hell kind oh. of throw was that? Uh, I think oh. he, he, he held on to it because I looked away, probably. Yeah, bingo. It's classic miscommunication. It was. Hey, we still had a reception. Yeah. Still made a catch. Yeah, still a catch. Capitated him. There it is. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Some, I, get a glue gun or something. No. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. Snaps right oh. on. Still champion. Still baby champion. Yeah, the there we go. Same. What a yeah. moment. Jeez Louise. Uh, there you go. There you go. A little sick taps on that one. Okay, sick taps. Mike shit his pants. As it should. I, you should see what I did. You oh. saw his silver thing breaking in two pieces. Didn't know what it was coming Could from. Could you imagine his eyes? That's a little smaller than isn't it? What the oh, hell? Man, he oh, was no. ducking like he was getting punched back <laughs> there. <laughs> I started, my mouth started sweating. Yeah. As it was all kind of like <laughs> happening, you know? Yeah. I could do anything but sit and watch as it just kind of took place. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey, I think on that one, we got to have better communication. That's <laughs> my fault, too. Well, I mean, I went to go take the earbuds out to just go hand it to Rupper or toss it to him. And then you said, no, nope, give it to me. And then you looked at Rupper. Yeah. And I, well, that's because they made. said, I threw in, hey, he's they got said the next he's mic. Up. Yeah. So as soon as I saw that, I didn't even, then I look away. <laughs> Mike's in there. there. Microphone's already headed towards Lordo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Direct shot towards Lordo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What a moment! I couldn't even imagine from your angle. I know that's an that's an odd object to throw too. <laughs> it you know very top heavy, uh-huh. like tough to control. Balls. <laughs> We're gonna need it though. We're that's gonna right. need it. So it was not a okay. Not, no. Yeah. yeah, everything's Pulled good. Away. Baby <laughs> Lordo took a bullet for. <laughs> yes, for the baby big Lordo guy. did Father. take a bullet. Thank you, baby Lordo. Thank you, Lordo. You never know what'll happen when the moment comes. This baby here Ooh. showed up for OG. That's right. Yeah. Hell yeah. Sorry, Mike. I do believe it was my arm that boom, banged that thing. Oh, okay. While I was catching, boom, pow, almost did it again. Right to mm-hmm. the kisser. Because the, you know, the got your number book. Right. Had that son of a bitch sitting Propped high. up. Yeah. Chevy riding high. Yeah. Baby, baby Lordo was riding high and I banged that thing. Yeah. Pretty good little bruise here, probably. Sorry about That's it, Mike. Hockey. Sorry That's about hockey. it, Mike. Sorry, Mike. Mike, a new pair of pants. Sorry about it, Mike. Oh. Sorry, Mike. Oh. Nothing Mike. touched Lordo, though, if it means anything. It was perfectly placed. It actually... That dodged it. That thing bent around Jeez. it almost. Yeah. What a time. That's that's the type of aura, though. Yeah, that's right. That Lordo gives off. And that's why the NHL playoffs are so damn good, because people are willing to do anything uh-huh. to get close to right. this thing. Mm-hmm. Exactly right. And with that being said, Rangers just got cooked by the Devils. They did. They oh, did. my they God, Rob. Yeah. Not good. Not good Not for good. anybody. No, it was. Uh, hey, so I want to answer your question. I, I don't know, man. This is where it gets tough, because... How much do you – you guys got me, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, perfect. So cup. I don't know how much you can give to – I don't want to discredit the Devils by saying uh, that the Rangers kind of didn't show up for a few of the games. Oh, it took a snooze. Wow. No, but, 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 but I think that's due to the Devils, man. They were a buzzsaw. I mean, they, their speed is a, an issue. Uh, they, it has been an issue for the, for the Rangers. And I don't know, it just felt like that Rangers – when they, they live and die on that power play, when the power play is not clicking – it's lights out. And uh, mm. I give a ton of credit to the Devils. They earned that through and through. They were the better team throughout that series, without a doubt. I appreciate you wearing the bucket, Paul. Yeah. Always safe. We should put the bucket on the cup. So we should. <laughs> well, the baby. We're talking about the baby. Yeah, well, here's baby the replay. Cup. Let's see how close Lordo got. Here is the replay. Play. Yep, throw that thing. Oh, I'm going to look away immediately upon you throwing it. What's yeah. that? Oh, he's got a. Oh, we're good. 
Oh, we're oh, nowhere near. Close. How, the delayed head of the cup flying over there is. This should get. That was nice. You. <laughs> I thought Lord I was cracking there. I like, saw things moving. I like that you're praying to Joe. Yeah, well, Joe was looking out. Yeah. Because the Doppler had some storms ahead That's right. while it was all kind of. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then the Donardo Doppler, clear skies for the beautiful time. Mm -hmm. Lord, I was not touched. I mean, Ty threw that thing like a floater in Rookie of the Year. That was unbelievable. <laughs> I didn't even watch you there. Can we run that back one yeah, more again? Yeah, I did. did. Did you shot I don't know it? if I'm still on the line, but Rupert, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, great call. We appreciate that. Yeah, see, I was trying to say he's mic'd up. Nah, it was like a fucking option oh. pitch. <laughs> yeah. It got there. Good pitch relationship. You made that pitch, Coach. Yeah, hard step, read the tackle, <laughs> make the pitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here on this uh, ridiculous Tuesday. Uh, there was a um, there was a scooter gifted earlier by the boys. There was a Lordo presence. There was Peyton Manning. There was Aaron Rodgers. There was Michael Cole. There's been so many magical moments. My dog came out, my wife, my parents. What? Everything is really popping off on mm -hmm. this Tuesday, May 2nd, Even 2023. Baby, Lord's head. baby Lord. Lordo's head popped off. <laughs> yeah. Everything's popping here on this beautiful Tuesday in the Thunderdome. Only one way to end it. That's right. Let's mm -hmm. give away some money. Mm -hmm. How about it? To That's do cool. that, he's going to be Stanley Cup champion. Mike Rupper. Hell yeah. Come on, Rupper. He's got a bucket on. Obviously, this man won a cup with the Devils, played with the Rangers and the Pittsburgh Penguins. Mm -hmm. I assume other teams as well. I should know that. I'm a bad person. He hosts that <laughs> hockey talk with Nick Moraldo and Gumpy every single Wednesday night. Has kept us informed on the NHL season all year. That's all right. Year. Now, if he makes one of these pickleballs into one of those holes right over there, on, we'll Rupp. give 10 people $500. If he Damn. makes two of them, 20 people $500. Wow. If what? he makes all three of his shots, 30 people, $500 on this Tuesday, May 2nd, 2023. Let's go. Rupper Come on, from Ohio. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, he is mic'd up. We can hear a sweet Oh, you can too. Get a little. All right, right? Oh, oh dangles, dangles. Oh, oh go top me. Top chop. Oh, 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 yeah. locked in. 10 people, $500. Wow. That's all so you I need. So I got to go a different one or same one? You tell me, hot shot. <laughs> I like to go the same one. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, but a guy who maybe won a Stanley Cup would probably go for go, all three. All right, you know? fuck it. Let's go. go just, hey, just saying. It's for pasta. There you go. For, for pasta. pasta. Hey, you know let's what, Ruffy? Wait, you hey. know what, Roof it. <laughs> or the <laughs> same. <laughs> same. It's the same <laughs> one. Hey, hey, I'm, I'm calibrated. I'm calibrated to hit the net. That's it. Yeah, I'm not hey. picking corners. Hey, it doesn't matter. I mean, that's a win's a win. I'll go. Oh. Uh, good effort, though. All right, 20 people, $500. Same hole, though. I mean, yeah. Yeah, reach back. Same hole, I had a full thing. Maybe 15, but okay. 20 people, $500. All you got to do is retweet this video, say something nice to somebody, and let us know the most efficient way to pay you digitally, whether that's Cash App, what? Venmo, what? What? PayPal, what? What? the other thing, Zell, Zell, Zell. What? a bunch of stuff. Just let us know in that same tweet so we can pay you efficiently and quickly. It has been a fantastic day. I'm thankful for everything and everybody. Honestly, every time you turn another year older, you should probably think about where you are, where you thought you would be, what the last year was like. What? And I've had some moments where I've been alone here on planes and in other situations. So I've had a lot of me time, a lot of my thoughts, thinking about what life is about to be like when my baby girl arrives in a few weeks alongside my beautifully pregnant wife right now. She's mm -hmm. super pregnant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she is. She's super, super pregnant. So beautiful. There's a human in there, inside of her. There's three of us in bed at night. Yeah, that's you right. know? Crazy. Get used to With it, the buddy. dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Four four yeah. Yeah. Like my life is going to change. Never thought I would be at this stage, honestly, yeah. either alive or in everything else that's going on. So I look back and I am so incredibly thankful for fucking every human that I've ever encountered. I feel like I have good relationships in every single stage of my life every single chapter of my life, every single city of my life. I have people that have reached out to me today to send me a lot of love and everything like that. It has been so dumb. I am very, very grateful that I get to live the dumbest life of all time. I have no idea why I get to do it. I'm very thankful that I have a crew of people around me that are the best in the world at what they do, the coolest people in the world. But this next year, I'm really gonna try, you know, to enjoy every moment. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that is what I've always thought about. I like to be where my feet are. I like to enjoy life.
when I'm at things, I try not to have my phone out, which is weird because I'm a content creator on my phone normally, so it's an interesting dilemma. But I think if I could say anything to a younger version of me as a 36-year-old fucking human now, which is so old, dude, yeah, it would just be like, let's enjoy this shit, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Could die literally at any time. We have no clue what's coming tomorrow. I just want to try to keep enjoying it, and I'm thankful that everybody's allowing me to do as such. You all are the greatest humans on Earth. We'll be back tomorrow with a much better show than the shit it was today. Wow. Well. Okay? Too many happy birthdays, too many celebrations. The guests were fantastic, mm -hmm. but know that I love you all. I'm thankful for you all, and I'll see you tomorrow. Be a friend, tell a friend something nice. Goodbye.